my boy. My lad, son of mine. Oh, as soon as I pay you attention. <laughs> I choose big violence. And I can't stop you, even if I wanted to. Oh, hang on. Way, hey, there we go. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, where's the bloody camera? <laughs> How are you doing, mate? God, my beard is fluffy. I need to trim it, mate. I need to trim it down. I know, I know. It's on the grand list of things. Anyway, Bacon, how are you doing, friend? What ho and welcome once more! I know, I actually look like I got my shit together today. <laughs> fingers crossed, mate. Fingers crossed. Sorry, a bacon saying that they uh, they hope nothing catches fire before their work shift is over. And I can understand that. Uh, Varbles, what ho, friend? Hello, hello. Uh, bacon, shit, yeah, we're aiming for new content. And uh, as of our usual crew, there's only me. There's only me. So I reached out to a good friend of mine. Uh, who actually works over at Rare, and he's going to be joining me to take to the Seven Seas, or the... Actually, I haven't counted how many seas there are in Sea of Thieves. Probably a lot. Uh, Quasi, what out, friend? But yeah, so my friend has also not done the new content. Uh, I have no idea his, his pirate capacity, but honestly, I'm just looking forward to catching up. Uh, we worked together over at the Creative Assembly like a thousand years ago. Uh, and we haven't really spoken since I've, like, jumped to many jobs. Oh. God, good times. Good times. Oh. I I'm trying to remember if he was there when I got attacked by dogs. A plutonium shawl? Sun's over the yard arm, so it's fine, mate. It's fine. Oh, sorry, mate. I Apologies for assuming. But it is entirely fine. My personal rule is nothing, and I usually wait till like five or six o'clock in the afternoon, because any earlier is day drinking, and day drinking puts me to sleep. Like, mimosa brunch, great. You know where I'm going? For a fucking nap after that. What's he going to say? Uh, at Bacon, I've been mostly under the the million dags, and there's been a few interesting things. Um, I can't talk about them yet as well, but there's a lot of cool stuff on the way. And that's all I can say. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm on Pacific Time Plutonium, so I've, I've still got a few hours. Um, and I'm probably not going to be drinking tonight. Um, I've got Fearless Son hanging with me, who is looking after Amos and stuff, so I can focus on the... Focus on the seas. Focus on you lot. River, you're fine. Um... Cool, was I? <laughs> MDH, what ho, friends? Hello, hello. Coming in. Right. The puppies are having a great time playing with Squeaky Toy. Just gonna. Oh, shit! Don't mind me. Are you playing Number Wang again? Uh, also, fucking hell, streaks. Thank you. That's nineteen. That's one thousand nine hundred and twenty-five. Right, right. Bacon says, as future y'all, I demand a quick cameo. Yo, 
You can't demand future Yar. What if you get sniped? What if you get usurped? As a future Yar, I demand a quick cameo from Fearless with squeaky toys. You gotta win that Yaldin before you can make demands, friend. I'm sorry. There's the rules. Uh, also, friends, I've tweaked the audio. It should be better today. So let me know. If... And Kimble, how are you doing? Um, sorry, with the mania of the last few days, I didn't get to ask you how the new place is, how you're settling in. I hope you're doing good. <laughs> ah, yes, Strega flexing with the Jarl Infinitus. Okay, good note. That's lovely to hear. That's lovely to hear. <sighs> right. So, how are you all doing, friends? Um, was trying to think of a killer pun to start the stream on, but it appears I am at a loss for words. I want to cause a commotion. Oh, a new joke. What do you call a reef that's ready to fight? I don't know. A quarrel. Puns. P puns. Pun Mothra. Burger on a warm Saturday, Spectre. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. No. But thank you. I mean, friends, thank you all. Like Plutonium Shaw, uh, Vanderbeast. Like, thank you kindly, friends. Oh, God, of course the dogs are whining outside the door now. I'm still here. Okay, you're having a wine over there. All right. <laughs> oh, well, Dustin, that's feckin' lovely. Uh, I'm hoping they get to do a thing with Zalavir, because that's going to be great. And, you know, I'll, I'll definitely go back on that if they'll have me, you know what I mean? I need a bit more free time, but... Hmm. Anyway, how are you doing, lovely Mother Hubbards? Tell me your tales. Kimball's saying that the new place is super lovely. Some teething issues, uh, but generally good. That's wonderful to hear. Um, game news has been kind of interesting. Um, I think most of the weekend discussion is going to be about um, like QA contractors and things like that. I, I'm definitely the worst person to talk to about this topic. Uh, I was thinking about this in the shower earlier, because check me out, I'm so on top of things today, I actually took care of myself. Yeah, yeah, how, how'd you like them self-caring apples? I had a shower, I don't smell like feet. I know, flexing on camera here. Anyway, so, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, there's been a formal complaint from Nintendo contractors, by my understanding, specifically in like the QA department, and this hit the news cycle and people have been discussing it because like unionization is a pretty hot topic right now which obviously i'm for um but i was pondering this and i realized that like i have probably the worst take on it you know <laughs> that'd be like wait so do your feet smell like hands they smell like regret they smell like poor choices made consistently um, oh, and Pun Spectre, I'm lovely to hear you're doing better, friend. Lovely to hear. <laughs> Plutonium says it could be worse. You could have taught your cat how to ring a bell for a treat, and then they'd ring it all day. Uh, we taught Amos how to ring the bell when he wants to go outside, and he realised that if he wants attention, he can just ring the bell. So that's fun. Um, yeah, so the thing that I was... Alright, William Taylor, I need you to bring this down a B. There we go. Um, yeah, the reason why I found this a topic that was so difficult to comment on is that I basically got my start in the games industry due to the exploitive practices that are being talked about right now. And so on the one hand, I'm like, God, it would have been so much, it would have been so much better if back in the day I'd had a full contract, not uh, what I had at the time, which was called Zero Hours. Which, if we're unaware of zero-hour contract, it's where you're contracted with a company, but they are under no obligation to give you hours of work, and they only pay you for those hours. So, 
they might say, right, this week you're coming in, we need you for 40 hours, five days a week. Uh, or they might say, like, all right, we need you on this project five days a week. Um, oh, didn't we find a really good ambient sea shanties playlist? Fuck. Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. Thank you. Thank you, Robo Shanties. Uh, Fen Dweller, what's home? Welcome. Oh, yeah, okay, so. Zero hour contracts are very exploitative because you have to sign them, but you may have zero work. And whilst you're on a zero hour contract, uh, by my understanding, at least the time, like, you couldn't be claiming unemployment benefits or anything like that. So, it was a pisser. Being on a proper contract back then would have been amazing for me. Because it would have meant that, like, I had security and protection. I mean, in the UK, you do have the NHS. So it's not as bad as in the US where, like, getting sick could bankrupt you. But it's still not great, especially with cost of living. But when I think about it, because of the way it was set up, because of that exploitative practice, they were able to hire people much faster. And yeah, they churned through them, don't get me wrong. You know, I've told you this story before, but the philosophy was very much like... You are not here to fuck around. You are not here to tell us what you think of these video games. You are here to sit and to test. If you die, another person will take your seat. So much so, in fact, that you didn't have a logon for the computers. Because you could be sitting anywhere at any PC. The only logon data you had was for the, tracking, for the bug tracking software. That was the only thing you logged into. So, that's a whole thing... But I don't know if I would have made it into a studio because I don't think that I had the experience or the capacity to be a good employee at that point. I was only brought on because they were just churning through people. And because of that, I was able to kind of move into the industry proper. So it's like... On the one hand, I want... QA and juniors and fresh faces into the game industry to have far more protection. But am I pulling up a ladder behind me? Do you know what I mean? And that's where I'm having this like emotional conflict about what's going on. Because without that bullshit, I wouldn't have the knowledge to be worth sitting here in front of you lot. I'd just be yet another white bloke telling you how it is on the internet. Um, which I don't know if you've noticed. There's a lot of white blokes on the internet. Like a lot of them. I mean, Thraim, I, I get what you go. I, I get what you're saying, but like, the games industry isn't an awful place to be. We're at this point right now in the industry where we're talking about the bad practices. We're talking about the bad stuff that happens, but a lot of them are bad things that happen in companies worldwide. And people aren't talking about the good bits of working in a studio, especially the good bits of working in a big studio. Like being surrounded by world class talent every day never stops never never becomes old and god the camaraderie at least among the the lower levels it's this kind of i don't know it's like it's a campaign it's a theater production it's it's software all combined. Now, Strager, that's the other reason why I don't think I'm right to talk about this topic, because the other side of that coin is survivor bias. I'm one person that made it, but I couldn't tell you how many people washed out of, of QA. You know what I mean? Now, was it because those people didn't have the didn't have the capacity to work in games full time? They had a, a misunderstanding of what that would be, or perhaps it comes from Oh, someone with a vacuum. Oh, excuse me. Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. I apologise. But yeah, I'm also someone of survivor bias. Which means that my perspective on the whole thing is completely skewed. You know, if you, if you were looking at it in military terms, if you send 50 planes out and one plane comes back... 
that's not good, right? You know, and I often find myself looking at the people from Sega QA from my, like, little sphere and being like, oh, these were some cool fucking people. But then again, when I think about it, it's only the people who are still active that I see. Like, survivor bias compounded. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's one friendo who, um, uh, sh who goes by Shanghai uh, on Twitter. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give him a shout out because they stream uh, during, like, UK hours. Um, yeah, so this is their Twitter account if you want to give them a follow. Um, and they do QA over at, um, oh uh, god, the team behind Full Guys, uh, which I'm drawing a blank. Um, you'll notice immediately that they have style four days, which has been a consistent. And I look at them and I'm like, yo, that's a fucking badass. Boy, our generation of testers produced some badasses. But then wait, I'm just focusing on one other person. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, so Kaimbal, I do agree. It's just... If I don't go into talking about, like, the Nintendo stuff and um, those things specifically, it's not because I don't think it's important. It's because I don't want to... I don't want my weird biases to paint a wrong picture. Because, um, I mean, we did get training for Sega QA. It wasn't like they just sat us in a chair and went test or die. Yeah, we had a few days training... Though the irony was that uh, we did our interviews at uh, a really swanky business park in Gunnersbury. And we did our training at Sega QA uh, in London. But the actual testing department was an off-site, open-plan, grey office that could have been anywhere. So it always made me laugh. So, like, if I focus on those QA times and just tell you the good bits, it's not that I'm ignoring the bad. Being on zero hours sucked, because Plutonium Shore is talking about at-will contracts in the US, where the employer or employee can terminate uh, work at any time. Well, the thing about zero hours is they're kind of a cheat. Your contract isn't terminated. You just get what's called zero down. So there's no more work for you. You're still employed, but there's no work for you, so you're not getting paid. <laughs> uh, and MDH, Watto. Uh, I'm an hour out of blazer. Uh, I also have the weed tolerance of a baby baby. So one edible and it's space time for Will. So sadly, I did not partake of 420 this year. But only because I couldn't handle two dogs and be baked out of my head. Yeah, and Strager, that's a really good point. That's a really, really good point. Uh, sorry, Strager was saying they keep thinking about uh, something they heard a bit ago. Where some people don't have the privilege to do things like wait for a company to have hours for them. And how it paints the idea of those things as being opportunities rather than skewed that way. Yes. Like, I was already at rock bottom when I applied for Sega. You know, I'd been out of work for... God. Oh, actually, no. I was back in work because I was working for... No. God, I'm trying to remember the timelines now. Because I think it was Sega... I think it was Game Station, then Sega, then CA. But it could have been Sega, Game Station, CA. God, I'm trying to remember now. No, it was... Yeah, it was Game Station, then Sega, then CA. So I was kind of pulling myself up a little bit. But at that point, I had pulled my... I had pulled my depressy ass out of being unemployed for feckin' ages. And to put it into context, for those of you who don't know, like, I had been working full-time in film and television. Like, I was making buy-a-house money. <laughs> in fact, the... Oh, God. Horror stories, friends. All right. I'm driving this story off-road. So picture the scene. Me and my then-partner, we have enough money to buy a house. We have deposit. We have two paychecks that will handle a mortgage and then some. And we're like, fucking wee. Let's start looking for a house. So we find a place. And we we put in an offer. And at that point, we were like, you know what? There's no point renting for the next couple months while we while we do all the faffamancy. Like, that's two months worth of rent we don't need. And my partner's parents go, you know what? 
Just come stay with us. There's a spare room. You two can crash there for a bit. No worries. And then the recession happened. Everything hit in that, like, two-month period. So I went from being an independent person ready to buy their own place to living with my partner's parents. And, I mean, looking back on it, it's very easy to say. I should have just gotten any job. I should have just been pulling points, flipping burgers, stacking shelves, whatever. But I had my pride. See, I've been working full time. I'm making good money. So I'm obviously going to apply for the same kind of jobs, right? 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 I was unemployed for over a year and it was the worst. <sighs> anyway, eventually I got over myself um, and got a job in games retail. Because what I was doing was, I was, as I told you, was spending my mornings just... I'd apply for every job. And I'd walk into town and I'd get the cheapest coffee I could. And then I'd just mooch in game station until um, uh, my partner was coming back from work. Meet them at the train station. Um, sadly, like, as I got back on my feet, they then lost their job while I was at... I think that happened while I was at Sega. God, it was a whole thing. Oh, sorry. Jumping back, jumping back. Uh, Plutonium says... Um, with them, an edible hits them and they get couch locked. Yeah. Uh, one of the good things about living with Fiona is that she smokes a lot of weed. So she saw me the last time I got too high and was like, oh, honey, all right, you just got to ride it out. For some reason, I tried to put on Osmosis Jones because I thought that would help. One, Osmosis Jones is still a terrible movie. Uh, two, do not watch it when you are off your boobs high. When you are when you are to the clouds baked, don't watch Osmosis Jones. Um, and Aperios Watto, oh, you freaking terror. I see you've got the Ginyu Force double dab. Ah, and to Majestic Sammy, Watto, oh, and welcome. Ah, I mean, time's a human construct. Welcome back. Uh, I was just talking about my, my time at Sega QA. Uh, and just... I'm not going to be talking about the stuff around Nintendo at the moment, just because of my weird survivor bias. Um, but yeah, so I'm really glad to hear that the unionization stuff for Raven QA has got ahead. Um, I, I, I'm not going to get into my, my pro video game union stuff immediately. But I do think that it needs to be disciplinary rather than professionally. Because QA needs protection, programmers need protection, artists need protection. Having just a video games union is a complicated thing in the US. So. Oh, no! Sammy, no! Sammy's saying their dad crashed the car during the move to Georgia. So they're stuck at their dad's place in Texas till they can get a new car. No! Was your stuff okay, at least? Oh, plutonium shot. Do not make me get the hose. Ah. Aperio says, so hey, remember that thing that just happened in Brazil? Oh, Wow. So, friendos, this is kind of a harken back to yesterday's conversation. Um, but uh, there was a huge uh, esports match today, which resulted in a Brazilian team um, bringing home a massive win. And. Okay, and so the follow up is as it was also announced today is that Riot Games have signed a five-year deal with the bank uh, Santander. Uh, the agreement will cover the official League of Legends esports scene in Brazil. And I know that seems like a really specific thing, but a bank putting money into an esports league legitimizes it, and that injection of cash is going to grow that space. So, feckin' yeah. Oh, wow. Majestic Sammy, that's a hell of a drive. Sorry, on Sammy's uh, travel stories. Um, from the move, the stuff was fine. Glad to hear. 
Uh, another window's broke. Good. Uh, but apparently the axle was busted and wasn't safe to drive, even though it went from Arizona to Texas. Having started in Northern California. Yo. Again, I'm, I'm happy no one was hurt. Just glad you're all right. But yeah. It was just, it was so funny because, friends, we all had that big talk yesterday about, like, the Brazilian esports scene and how it's going to change things when it pops off. And then today it's like, big Brazilian esports win and a bank is throwing some cash in. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how much cash um, League and stuff like that get with Overwatch League getting a lot of its sponsors pulled. Like, I think a lot of the sponsorship teams around overwatch league are probably going to be waiting until there's a solidification of the microsoft deal <laughs> um okay sorry i lost my train of thought there um oh okay so little game news so do you all remember demon turf that really fresh uh, uh, speedrunning platformer from the people that did Slime Sand. Uh, it turns out they stealth launched a mini sequel. Like, I didn't even see this. And I'm, well, I say friends, I know the team behind it. Uh, and they recently dropped this uh, Demon Turf Neon Splat. And it looks like they just decided to have, like, it looks like they decided to take everything that they knew and just have mad bullshit fun with the level design. So, like, I don't know how many of you got the chance to play um, Demon Turf. I very recommend it. It's not a good game to watch, but it's a cracking game to play. Um, and just looking at the videos from uh, from Neon Splat, it looks fucking great. Uh, what was the other gaming stuff I wanted to chat to you all about? Uh, oh, yeah, the thing I was trying to grasp at yesterday was um, Perfect World Entertainment, which was bought by Gearbox in 2001, December 2001, is rebranding to Gearbox Publishing. So it looks like Gearbox is definitely trying to set itself up to be one of the big AAAs. How that ends up shaping up, I don't even know. But... It'll be interesting to see how it goes, you know? I mean, I'm just waiting for Pitchford to retire, really. Oh. Okie dokie, Lokis. Yeah, I think that's most of the, the Vigigamery stuff going on today. Um... God, I will say, did we talk about the um, uh, Sonic Origins pre-order nonsense yesterday? I'd love to say that I don't remember because I've been drinking. I just, I don't remember because everything happened so much. Did we talk about that? <sighs> well, if we didn't talk about it yesterday, basically... Um, so Sonic Origins is like a, a Super Sonic collection that's coming out. Uh, been rebuilt in the retro engine, the same engine that they used for Sonic Mania. Um, but there's a crap load of weird stuff in how they're monetizing it, leading to an exceedingly confusing graphic about the different versions. Um, Majestic says they've been playing a Minecraft mod cap called Stoneblock with their boyfriend. Lovely. Um, to keep the dogs uh, calm, I've been getting them to bed earlier and just putting on some like super soft anime stuff because that's what our youngest dog likes. He really loves uh, Mushushi. Uh, Eric put it on when he was staying here at Park Programs. And yeah, I just put that on and calms him out. But I've been playing uh, Minecraft on my Switch uh, just while the dogs have been settling. So that's been good. Uh, Mad Lynx says the Sonic pre-order is bloody shambles. It's... It's dumb and bad. That... The graphic is stupid. Um, the way it's being um, communicated is poorly handled. Um, and has basically turned nothing into something. Now, what they actually mean by some of those uh, monetized elements, 
I'm still not sure. But they basically created a not problem. Mm. Alness, I'm getting the same kind of vibe. That it definitely smacks of marketing being worried. Rather than, like, the dev team. But also, Madlink, what ho and welcome. If we haven't met before, my name is Will. It is lovely to chat with you. Wait, no, hang on. Madlink, you're going to be joining us in a bit. <laughs> Feck. Took me a second. Uh, in my defense, everything happens so much. Uh, but uh, not... Not ready to reveal your identity just yet. Aww. Well, Majestic Sammy, I'd be more than happy to keep you audible company. Um, we're going to be um, jumping into Sea of Thieves in about half an hour. Uh, I have a wonderful special guest pirate coming to join me. But I'll introduce him properly when we can get him on the line. I'm basically playing warm-up act. Um, also, it's lovely to see how many of you like uh, Mushushi. Season 2's weird. I, I feel like for Season 2, they didn't have the same kind of budget. But, I guess that's another story. Excuse me? <laughs> that's what I get for drinking soda. Okay, and I'm back. Uh, I haven't actually looked up the details on the new content in Sea of Thieves today, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and again, as an FYI, dear friends, if you would like to play some Sea of Thieves, if that's a thing that you would really enjoy doing, we have a bunch of people right now who are playing on the longship. Uh, I can't tell if we've got two brigs or a galleon going, but there are a squad of people playing. So if you feel like, yo... I'd love to play some Sea of Thieves, but I don't have a crew to hang out with. Highly recommend it. Although, weirdly, you know, I, I had a meeting earlier this week. Uh, the one I was telling you about where, uh, thankfully, the other person who had, uh, who had initiated the meeting also understands about Chaos Pets. Um, because I was like 15 minutes late because Amos, Amos was like, but what if Chaos? Um... I was chatting with him and he uh, I mentioned um, Sea of Thieves as being one of the games that I really enjoy because, I mean, I've talked to you all about this like 18,000 times. I am in love with the, the board game style of cooperative experiences where it's not about levels or equipment unlocks or skill trees. It's learning the world together. And it's like, it's something that I've really come to value and seek out in multiplayer experiences. And he was saying, like, if you want a relaxing time, just trundle a sloop around by yourself. And I'm like, that doesn't sound relaxing. That sounds incredibly stressful. I mean, I don't know what your all experiences are on that one, but... And... Can remember to do us... Oh, I don't remember how to grab. Uh, and Wolfcred, thank you kindly for filling the pie glass. Oh. All right, all right. Sorry, uh, I thought I saw us uh, skip a couple of skip a couple of frames there. I should be fine. Oh God. Wow, I just lost every train of thought that I had. Um, I was trying to, uh, to pull together, uh, a tweet and then everything disappeared from my brain all at once. Brilliant. Um, on the subject of trains though, um, there is a game on Steam called Trolley Problem Inc., which I don't know if I would recommend playing. <laughs> Pun Spectre, not like that. Like, like, trying to remember which way is up. But, thank you for the hundred bits, friend. 
Um, yeah, so... Uh, Yogscast Games published it. And it is a great big game of, like, moral quandaries. So, it starts off with the classic trolley problem. Which I am sure you're all familiar with, but just for, for context. Pretty sure I heard we'll beg for bits. I'm pretty sure you heard the exact opposite of that! Thrain, thank you kindly for the 200 bits. Um, but yeah, sorry, if you're not familiar with the trolley problem, it's a philosophical... It's a philosophical... Um, I'm trying to think about it. It's a philosophical problem that is often used basically as a, as a logic trap. So I'm not a big fan of it. Um, but it's the idea of there is a trolley hurtling towards a person. Uh, you have a lever. If you pull the lever, it will deviate from the one person and hit five. Or vice versa, where there's five people and you deviate to one. So it's like, do you choose... Is it because of your action or inaction? Is it better to to splat one person with a trolley than five, etc., etc.? Uh, Kybal says there's some really tough questions, but sadly not repeatable. I mean, true. I, I think that um, that's not necessarily bad. The Red Strings Club. Oh, boy. You want some tough questions. Oh, that was one of the hardest streams I've ever done. But I'm intrigued by the philosophy. Uh, philosophy. Blech. I'm intrigued by the concept. Because the Red Strings Club was hard going. But having a game ask me very serious questions directly. Like, what do you think? What are your personal philosophies? Now back them up. Like, it's not like old Molyneux games where it's like, Oh, are you going to... Walk an old lady across the road? Or are you going to beat her to death with a chicken? Oh, it's only good and evil. Or some of the newer ones where it's like, um... I mean, I think like the Commander Shepard thing where it's just like, Ah, if you do this clearly evil thing, you'll get an immediate reward. And nothing bad will happen. Wink. But if you do the good thing, oh, it's going to be hard. And there's no reward at all at the end. Wink. Like, welcome to telegraphing, I guess. I, it's rare for a game to say, what do you feel about a subject? Now back it up. Yeah, Alnus, the Red Strings Club is an actual ethical question rather than are you, yeah, are you Jesus or Satan? Well, if we're going for the Molyneux analogy, it's like, are you a farty little demon or an old bearded bloke on a cloud? Yeah. Yeah, my name's in the credits for black and white. Look it up! Look it up! <laughs> uh, and Nathaniel, what ho? Now, here's a, okay, here's a bit of a controversial opinion. Here's a... I think you can get away with harder philosophical questions in less... Uh, in more conflict orientated games let me rephrase that games that have an obvious gameplay loop shoot dude get loot um do gun bang i think those kinds of games would lend themselves very well to more philosophical questions if you can get the philosophies to line up if that makes a weird sense see the red strings club is a point and click game at its core there's three different segments to it. Oh, and if you haven't played the Red Strings Club, um, let me... Actually, is the Red Strings Club on Humble? I should really be... I should really be better at my job. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me get you the, the Steam version. If you don't mind me being a massive shill, this is the Red Strings Club. And it looks like every other, like post broken age point and click adventure it is not um it bats for a thousand and it's not a difficult game it does not challenge you mechanically it does not put you up against timers or clocks or what have you it's your story 
but it will ask you very direct questions. Oh yeah, and Nathaniel, thank you. But on uh, Humble, the Steam page and the Switch page are two different pages. Don't ask me why. Uh, anyway. One of the downsides to the game is that it is a point-and-click style. It is a, a visual novel. And it almost over-accents some of the, the themes. I don't want to go any further in that one because if this is the first time you're hearing about it, you do not want it spoiled. I promise you that. But what I feel is that with a game that has a much clearer defined game loop, like, let's take Borderlands. Um... And yes, this does come from a TikTok that I saw on a toilet, but trust me on this one. So we're going to take Borderlands, and we're going to take Randy Pitchford and throw him into the sea, because it's our fictitious situation. We'll give him a life draft. He doesn't... We don't want him... We don't want him dead. Just gone. Um, so <laughs> we float him out of sea. Um, the reason I wanted to pick something like Borderlands is it's visually engaging, and the gameplay loop is very simple. See dude, shoot dude. Get loot, equip loot. Use loot, shoot dude. Like, it's a real small circle. And so that does mean that it gives the narrative a little bit of room to breathe. I think that's where we saw some of the really good storytelling in Borderlands 2. Because the characters are basically talking to each other or at us. So the story can unfurl while we're just having fun just gunning stuff down. But, uh, whilst I was... Uh, Whilst I was on the toilet, uh, scrolling through TikTok, uh, as one is allowed to do, um, it showed me a little clip from, I want to say Borderlands 3, but it could have been the new one. And it was talk being like, um, God, it was something along the lines of, oh, this is the super death laser. laser. I built it when I was in a bad place. Um, like, I'm, I'm better now. I understand that the friend zone isn't a real thing and that, you know, valuing relationships only based on sexual encounters is wrong and bad. And I'm like, holy shit! This is talk. Like, delivering some real fucking shit. And I realized that so long as you could make it fit thematically, which wouldn't be hard. Because, I mean, it's often not really spoken about, but Gearbox's secret when it comes to the Borderlands series, isn't just the fart jokes and the butt slams and the butt stallions. There's a lot of butt stuff in Borderlands, now I say it out loud. But the secret is is setting up this mimetic environment and then BAM! Story hit. BAM! Story hit. Um, like, Handsome Jack is ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous in all counts. Until he's not. Like, when you are told Handsome Jack is the villain because he stole all your credit and is telling everybody that you're the baddies and that he's the goody. And when you see what made him thusly, when you see that moment where you get to see his, his villainy, and his villainy is because he truly believes he is the hero. When you see that moment, it's like, oh, fuck. He is handsome, though, Nathaniel. He is handsome. Oh, uh, Sky Aegis was just saying on the Red Strings Club they love the mechanics to coke info out of coax info out of people through drinks. Yes, and like mixing certain kind of drinks that you know will um, evoke certain emotions in people, I thought was re was really really good. But the, uh, and this isn't a criticism of the Red Strings Club. It's just there's a few times where it tries to play quick and clever with the story, but because of its visual novel esque storytelling with with minigame interactions, it's it's somewhat pronounced. Shooty gunbang games are shooty gunbang games. The ways in which we invite we interact with the environment are, if you think about it, pretty juvenile. See things, shoot thing, keep going, have fun, and that's great. I'm not dissing on that. But grounding someone in an experience with that kind of simplistic game loop. Asking them heavy questions and then making them back it the fuck up, that is clever. Hey! Yo-ho, friends! To the draconic dude, what ho and good evening, hello. I 
Draconic Dude, how was your stream? How was your evening? Tell me your tales, friend. Uh, we're discussing how to... I guess at this point we're discussing how to put uh, difficult questions in games. Oh, no. I thought I knew the devil, but now I know the master of the devil. Um, hello there. Thank you for following. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit extra today. Um, as I said, friends, uh, Fearless Son is over at the moment and is dog wrangling. Which is why I'm getting to have a non-stress-the-fuck-out stream. So, once I've once I've got money to do so, I am, I'm buying him a pint or several. Um, you just finished doing Demo Day. Ooh, anything that stood out? Uh, now, jumping back, so Nath uh, Nathaniel. I'm just picking on Nathaniel. It's all your fault, Nathaniel. Uh, and Madling, mate, thank you for the follow. Uh, we've got about, say about like... 10 15 minutes before we we get you on here so uh, if you want to go get yourself a, a cup of tea or a bevy or what have you uh, you have time and Navalis, what ho friend uh but wolfgrad was adding do i mean difficult questions just through story or also through gameplay like you might get hesitant to continue shooting things um that second part is much more difficult to do you would need a very flexible kind of game because um, I was talking with... God, was it? It was either a Perios or Deus or someone, uh, because... My days blend, friends. My days blend a lot. But I was saying that I genuinely hate The Last of Us Part 2. Um, I don't think it is a bad game, but I hate it. And one of the reasons is because it tries to do the hard question thing. But it always points it back at you. Even though you as the user are given more information than the character, we're still made to do the bad thing, even though we know better. And I really hate that. I really hate the, the spotlight being turned on us, the player, and being told, you're bad. This happened because of you. And I'm like, no, you put me in a situation where I could do no... I saw clearly telegraph this day what was going to happen. You, the creators of this game, made this happen and made me go through it. You don't get to turn the light back on me and say it's my fault. You don't get to play the uh, the the misery card at me, you know? If if these were if these characters were people, we didn't put them through this miserable setup. You know, you the the playwrights of this monster did. Sorry. <laughs> I feel very strongly about this one. Um and Spec Ops The Line is kind of the poster child for this conversation. And I know people have very, very different views on the matter. Um, but one of the things that it did do, if it was your first metagame, one of the things that Spec Ops The Line did very well... Um, oh! And to <laughs> Snowflake YOLO... Um, thank you. The beard is entirely unkempt and desperately needs a trim, but thank you. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yes. The one thing that Spec Ops did, which is worth taking forward into these kind of conversations, is that when it turned the camera back on you, I mean us, the user, the player, it gives you the choice to just put your guns down and go, no. Like, when it turns around and says, this happened because you wanted to be the hero, you know, you did this because you were bored. From that point, how you choose to react, that's your only real choice of freedom throughout the game. Do you know what I mean? Alanis, that's a good one. I can opt to switch off the game and end this. What's your, what's your excuse? Yes. And Thrain, the price point does also play into this. If you bought The Last of Us Part 2 at launch, $60 of your money, like, you're not just going to go, nah, I'm not really feeling it. Like, friends, I hope you all get to the point of affluence and safety fiscally, where you can be like, hmm, this AAA video game I have bought did not grab my interest in the first 20 minutes. Away with you onto the pile of shite! Like... I'm certainly not there. Also, this is officially my favourite Shandy. With the cables and the door. But I did not warm up my voice. Now, 
Now, the reason why this conversation is really good, uh, the reason why I love having this conversation, is that we're truly in a no right answer. Uh, Ezekiel says, chuck it up as a business expense. No, unless I start, um, unless I set up a an official games company. Uh, I was chatting about this with my accountant. As a streamer, expensing games is very tricky. And I'm sure people do it. But unless you can state the day that it was played on stream and provide it during an audit, you will have a nightmare of a time. Because it's purely an entertainment product that doesn't have a physicality. But if you bought a video game physically and put it in the background, it counts as a prop. <laughs> um, oh, sorry, jumping back. Uh, so Draconic Dude stream, they ended up playing Nine Souls, Greyick, and Little Misfortune. Nice. Uh, I'm trying to remember which one Nine Souls is. That's my brain's going blank on that one. Uh, Greyick or Garrick or whatever it's called. Uh, we tried that the other day. Uh, and Little Misfortune. Oh boy. What an adventure. Oh, yes. Nine Souls hasn't dropped yet. Okay. Um, Majestic Sammy, I have played To The Moon. I haven't played its follow-up and I haven't streamed either of them. Um, as brilliant as those games are, like you need a you need a whole run up into that. Like Yeah. You I don't want to say too much, but it's definitely not a game that you can just throw yourself at. Uh Fen says, what if you keep a little clip of each game for an audit? Uh I mean that's between you and the IRS. Like, it's one of those things that, if you feel confident, go for it. But the, the financial advice I've had on it has been, no. But, if you're making video games, you can expense video games as research. Even as an independent developer. So, that's a little bit off your taxes. Uh, Ezekiel was like, uh, print out a Steam receipt. Oh no, and I believe you. Like it's re it's research, but um, I I'm currently an individual, um, possibly moving to being a, a sole proprietor this year if I can get enough time to not die. But uh, yeah, I I'm lucky. I've got an accountant that knows how the Twitch backend stuff works, which is why uh, I don't look like a haggard nightmare every tax season. Sorry, uh, forgive me for. Going over this way. Let me bring it back. Let me bring it back. Let me bring it back. Uh, Magic Sammy, I have played Slime Rancher. Um, I'd be very interested to see where they take that sequel-wise. Because Slime Rancher was a very clever game. Very cute. Very fun. But it had a lot to show you and a lot to say because it was so adorable. Okay. Uh, and once again, friends, so I'm going to be bringing uh, my wonderful special guest on in just a sec. Um, if any of you... <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, if any of you would like to play some Sea of Thieves yourselves this evening, uh, we've got a we've got a handful of people currently playing in Discord. I think uh, Autrazinian puns. But if you all would like to, to pop teams together or look for people, uh, head over to the Arcade channel, let people know you're looking. Put a squad together. Live your best life. Go on adventures. Now's the time. I see, Ezekiel, I wholeheartedly agree with you. Because, um, again, no offense, Thraim. But I definitely think it's different dependent on disciplines. See, with writing, it's so obvious. <sighs> Sorry. The medium that it's created in is also the medium that you observe it in. The written word, right? Especially if you get into writing yourself, it changes the very way in which you observe stuff. Um, 
with video games, there's such a disambiguation between the creation process and the final product. Like, even having worked in video games for a decade, I still love them. And it could be because games are still evolving as a medium. It could be because, like, I was lucky enough to work on the kind of game that is a little bit different each time you play. You know, I, I got... Playing something that's, you know, tactics-based sandbox, it's kind of fun. Oh, and Twizlight, Watto, a good evening to you. Or well, afternoon. Fuck you, the sun! Okay. Complete aside, complete random question, because I asked this on TikTok and I got no responses. Um, is it legal? Is it legal for me to start a GoFundMe page to kill the sun? Because I've been thinking about this. Because it's got to go. Now, the chances of my success are almost zero. Almost. But... If I theoretically succeeded, the consequences would be dire. It'd be nighttime forever. Permanent night. Which, for people that really enjoy mornings, would be the worst. But is it illegal for me to do a GoFundMe page for this project? <laughs> is it illegal? And I don't know. Because, like, I mean, we all know the story about the person who made a Kickstarter for a potato salad. But he still made a potato salad. And that potato salad didn't threaten to kill the sun. <laughs> the Raven's like, pretty sure there's a Skyrim DLC about this. Uh, Sky, he just says, a midnight employee, I would donate. Okay, so I've got a few backers. Oh, Varble says, not illegal, but probably very against terms of service. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, the sun! Yeah, Ezekiel. God. Uh, I'm gonna call a wizard veto on Nerf to Discussions today. Not, obviously, I'm against them. But, uh, there's a there's someone I used to work with who's gone so hard. So hard. Down the, the Nerf to route. That they haven't said anything in a digital space that didn't contain the term Web3 for months now and it's so sad i worked with them in the past they were so cool to work with and just because they're in that kind of la scene you know they're there with all of the uh the would-be's and the believers and it's god it's terrifying ah see fendweller this is the real secret that no one's really tried you have to kill the sun at night because, yes, it is a nuclear reaction. There's an inordinate amount of, of gases and fire and heat all active all the time. But at night, at night, it's switched off. That's when you got to go for it. That's when you get that, that magic bullet. And see, Ezekiel, you're right. Black hole bullet, that's the maneuver. Now, there are two ways to create a black hole. Collapsing star, as we all know. The other is to create an impossibility. Um, if you can create a perfect impossibility, it tears open the fabric of the universe. It creates basically like, kind of like pulling the plug out of the bathtub. I don't think you understand the gravity of that situation. <laughs> Puns. Puns, thank you. Wolfgrad says, I think killing the sun is like murder in international waters. Yeah, it's frowned upon. Maybe if I launch the GoFundMe page in international waters. Oh, Fred says, what else has been on the docket today? Oh, so Fred, um, uh, the uh, conversation we were having about the Brazilian Esports League. Uh, so not only was there a big win for a Brazilian uh, League of Legends team today, but also, uh, a huge banking operation has announced they will be sponsoring um, the League of Legends esports scene in Brazil. <laughs> Ezekiel's like, I think you should enlighten yourself before talking further. <laughs> and Alma says, what I'm hearing here is never give Will money ever. Okay, Sky is killing it as an act of self-defense. If we scream, it's coming right for us. I'm pretty sure that makes it legal in, like, Texas. 
so the, here's the thing. How do we create an impossibility? Oh, uh, okay. J-Po says they think that's how you get vampires. Okay, yeah. Um... Like, I'd have to do it before, but in the, before pink, but in the process of being sunburnt, so I could say it was self-defense. Ezekiel says, if you're in Texas and the sun encroaches upon your property, you can legally kill it. See, where was this legal advice on TikTok? This is what I needed. <laughs> I used to make this joke a lot, and uh, Ket gave me a book, which was a uh, a book of scientific impossibilities, but what would happen if they did. And one was, what would happen if we killed the sun? A lot of ice cream, let me tell you. Uh, Nathaniel says, is an impossibility the same as a paradox? Essentially, yes. Um, though a paradox... Wait, are we talking about like a mathematical paradox or a time paradox? I'd like to draw special attention to the Yarl Health Bar number now. Yay! Yay! Uh, thanks to Wolfcrad and 880 bits, which by the way is a shitload of bits, so thank you. Um... The uh, Yarl Infinitus Fire Strager's health bar is currently uh, 142069! Nice, 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 nice. Can I do a nice? I can. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Thrame says that there are international treaties that regulate what you can do in space. We have to look them up. Okay, Thrame, maybe we should before I, uh, before I put that page live. Hi, I'm Will Overgaard, and today, I'm talking about killing the sun. That's right, that bastard up there. Look at my science. <laughs> Ezekiel's like, oh no, someone call the space sheriff. It's going to get all spacey up in our business. See if I get a knock on the door from NASA. Not even like a, please don't do this, but just a slap from someone at NASA being like, stop making up science. Now, Nathaniel says that murder in space is illegal, so murder... Okay, so murder's still illegal in international waters, right? Yeah. Halo Grunt says if we use lions to kill the sun. You know what? I should have just asked you a lot in the first place. Anyway, sorry. Where are my manners, friends? Uh, I got so into the nonsense. <laughs> sorry, Thrame's like, technically speaking, those treaties don't regard private persons. But the government might have things to say about you owning a Sunbuster weapon in the first place. <laughs> okay, Nathaniel says killing is bad. Uh, because that implies that the sun is an entity. And destroying that entity would be murder. And murder is bad. Point. Uh, and I do agree with that whole theory that the sun is the closest thing that we have to like a, uh, like a mystical, unknowable entity. Good times, good times. Right. So let's get the game booted. Uh, let me let me bang out a tweet, dear friends, and I'll get our lovely guest on the line. Okay, Thrame does make a really good point again, friends, which is if we, if, we, if I kill the sun, who will we praise? Praise the moon doesn't quite have the same ring to it. That seems a little bit more, you know, weird. What's the Simpsons quote? Like, flying a kite at night. It's not wrong, it's just unsettling. I mean, Halo Grunt, 
I won't stop you. I won't stop you. Because I would be Sun Killer at that point. Making me the coolest sounding Star Wars villain of all fucking time. Uh, I mean, Star Killer's kind of cool, but he was also like a vat grown, like. A vat grown emo frontman. Like. Ugh. I did no such thing, Thrame. It's more of a dynasty. Majestic says that the sun dies, the moon won't even off, give off light. Nah, -uh. moon glow at night. It's not hard. Like, like, look. <laughs> Sorry. I think I just made myself actively dumber with that sentence. <laughs> and Biggs, how are you doing this afternoon? Oh, hey, look, you're right. We could just praise the sea. Poseidon, witness me. There we go. That works. Uh, all right. Um. Uh, my the guest is very patiently waiting. Yeah. <laughs> Minus one intellect with own comment. <laughs> Let's kill the moon. That way it can't rat on us first when we go after the sun. Okay. Oh, excuse me for the cheeky tea burps. Right. Let's get the game booted. <laughs> Nathaniel's like, don't be silly. The moon isn't real. Do not look at the moon. Um, so yeah, so friends, I am going to have a very cool guest with us in a second. Um, just... I might even skip our usual tradition of watching the intro. Nah, who am I kidding? I can't. I can't skip that. It's it's a legal requirement at this point, friends. <laughs> okay. You know what? This is why I love hanging out with you lot. Um, so Wolfcrad says they checked. And apparently, according to the 1967 Outer Space Treaty, it includes a section about countries not harming celestial bodies. But hey, I'm not a country, so I'm in the clear! Let's, let's fuck the sun! <laughs> and Sage Bell, I live again! Even if I have been threatening the sun all afternoon. Sage Bell, how are you feeling, friend? Uh, I didn't get what you meant when you said uh, that you got very cold at SakuraCon. And I saw the pictures you posted and was like, Okay, now that makes sense now. Uh, okay, I, I, I get that now. Alright, hang on. To... Give me a second, friends. I've got to give this a, a, quick, a quick reboot. Ah, oh, Peebles! Uh, Varbles read closer into the Space Treaty, and it turns out that uh, the wording does say, a country or its nationals. So I'd have to renounce every nation, which is very expensive, by the way, uh, and would mean that I could only live in airports or international waters, which might crimp the whole streaming thing a little bit. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Wait, where is the rum? Why is the rum gone? Oh dear. It's on fire. Yes, the rum is gone. The chest of sorrows sunk the ship, you fool. Mr. T is not impressed. Mr. T has been uh, disappointed with me for most of my adult life. Mainly because I paid no attention to any of his... Um, 
I paid no attention to any of his warnings. Alright, so, sorry about this, just uh, dealing with technical problems. See if these has been updated. Oh, it is Friday. It is very Friday. All right. Let's see if this works now. So there's the tweet deployed. Uh, and if I could steal your, your powers, friends, to unleash upon this uh, piece of internet communique, I'd be very grateful. Because uh, that way we can trick Twitter into showing it to people. Now for a video game. Play. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Yay! And now, dear friends, all we need is a guest. So Ezekiel Dev, I'd actually, I considered making a GoFundMe to build Dyson Sphere. But I feel like people would expect a delivery on that one. Like, if I tried to kill the sun and failed, I don't think anyone would really hate me. If I tried to build a Dyson sun and failed, then I'd basically be failing at, you know, the next step in, you know, the progression of humans as a culture. Oh, I always get the pronunciation of it wrong. Is it the Cartagen scale? The Cartagen scale? Cartagen? God darn it. It's definitely not Cardigan. Uh, and considering as our guest does work... Uh, does lead up the cinematics team over at um, Rare. Let's watch some of their work before we invite them in, shall we? Mainly because I love this intro. So, Varbles, of the 62 countries that haven't signed, what are some of my top picks? And Red Burning, did I say hello? I hope I said hello. not get excited with this. I wish I had a cutlass to draw. Although being without a cutlass is probably the safest. All hail the spooky girlfriend of Ems and Kyle and maybe Fiona? I do have an axe but an axe is a threatening a threatening weapon that you, you hold and win. Whereas like a cutlass, the brandish there aren't many swords you can brandish. And some fanciful knives as well. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Without further ado, let's bring on my lovely... Lovely guest. Hello there, John. Can you hear me? Oh, I can indeed. Hello. Dude, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm very well. I'm very well indeed. How are you? Oh, dude, I'm doing fucking great. Thank you so much for coming on tonight. That's all right. That's all right. Pleasure. Um, so, dear friends, the disembodied voice that has come joined is... Uh, is a lovely individual that I worked with back at the Creative Assembly who put up with me probably when I was at my most excitable. 
<laughs> uh, friends, how is John coming through? Am I coming through loud and clear? Uh, the audio has been a jerk of late, so I'm just making sure before. Mm. Uh, you're also getting good compliments on your accent already. <laughs> well, well, there you go. That's <laughs> that's lovely. <laughs> okay. Uh, the friends are sounding good. So, John, would you like to introduce yourself to these lovely individuals? Yeah, sure. So, my name is John McMurtry, and I am the head of video production at Rare, who make the game Sea of Thieves. The game we're playing tonight! And, uh, yeah, that's me. I mean, what? No. Hello? Oh, we're just making noises. Um, dude, it's... <laughs> I mean, it's so good to, to chat with you again. Um, I I know I said this on Twitter, but I think it warrants saying again. I am sorry I didn't get into this game until recently because it's fucking great. You've you've joined at the best time, Will. You have joined at the best time. Uh, so, to put your stuff into perspective, while I'm getting the ship set up and you know doing mm. um, uh, greetings and whatnot. Sorry, um, invites. So. Which parts of the game are you responsible? Just to, to give context to these lovely mother hubbards. <clears throat> so, my main responsibility heading up the video team is... So, basically, any video that comes out um, from the Sea of Thieves channel um, has sort of had our team's touch on it. Um, I'm also the voice that you hear within many of the trailers um, on our channels. Yeah! That's my voice. <laughs> um... And we've recently, with the, these new adventures that we've been doing since uh, January, yeah, we've been releasing cinematic trailers for them as well. So I've been writing those trailers and working with a, a partner at real time. Oh, um, nice! To help make those trailers, which has been it's been really good fun. Um, so yeah, like pretty much anybody you've seen, we've had a hand in it, um, including stuff like E three trailers. Like there's there's so many good stories I can tell you. Well. Um, but I'm sure we'll get to that as we go. Oh hell's yeah! I I am down for for sailing slow and nattering nattering for plenty of time. Mm, yeah. Um, cool. just getting you an invite. I went and before, <laughs> as I was Most sitting here, like sipping my latte at then. twenty past the midnight in the UK. Fascinating at um, the same time. I was just um, spending all of my ancient coins in the Pirate Emporium, so... Oh, there's the invite. There we are. There we go. Join the game. I spent an inordinate amount of time uh, just fancifying up. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, Bacon was just saying that, uh, as I commented earlier that I was the most excitable back then, it infers that I've calmed down since then, and that idea <laughs> is frightening and fascinating. <laughs> well, um, my... my um, like the memory of that I have, the strongest memory I have of you, Will, is <laughs> when we did, um, I don't know if you remember that video, the Hun Boxing. <laughs> How could I um... forget? Oh, uh, <laughs> but okay, before we get into the Hun Boxing story, so, mm. uh, 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 I want to say Dalgon Ash, Dalgona Ash, would just added, John, you mad lad. So, oh, where is he? He's hanging out in chat. Uh, yeah, we'll have we'll have some rare peeps, I'm sure, in the chat. God, it, I, again, I feel bad because like uh, I think Kate's moved to another studio in the time since. Like, e yeah, just recently. Yeah. So it's like I finally get into this proper, and then I can't. <laughs> uh, oh. Well, I mean, if we if we play the, if we manage to play the adventure uh, tonight, well, that's still some of Kate's writing in there. So. Oh, way cool. Yeah, no, Kate's great. Lovely. Okay, so the unboxing your your <laughs> maximum will story. <laughs> So like, so I, it wasn't long after I'd started at um, CA um, that that was kind of on the cards, and it it was interesting. I remember I wasn't even going to edit it. I don't think initially as well. But anyway, yes, the unboxing was for um, Attila, um, and it was 
a lovely pun on you unboxing a collector's edition of the game, which you didn't really get to do, to be honest. No, I think um, that was as far as the slip case, and that was about yeah, it. Yeah, you're like, oh, it's a <laughs> lovely slip case, and then you started getting beaten up. Um, <laughs> but I actually watched that video before, like, earlier on this evening, and it it made me chuckle quite a bit. Actually, I was quite happy with it, considering it was, like, what, seven, eight years ago, something like that. Right. And, like, I'm glad it had your touch in terms of editing, just because, like, you can see it needed that snappiness rather than, like, my <laughs> kind of YouTubian style. Um, but, like, oh, get some extra rip just from hanging out. Um, <laughs> there's so many bits of it that still make me laugh. Like, um, I, for legal reasons, I've taken an arrow above the shin. Yeah. We didn't want yeah. to say arrow to the knee. Do oh, you know what the. the the what the weirdest part about it there was there's a shot right at the end of it where hey, you you get dragged up onto a horse and they ride away with you yeah it wasn't you like, no. um and i remember <laughs> having to construct some sort of monstrous um mask of your face to like track onto the stunt guy's face that if you freeze frame it, it's not great, but it was just good enough to make it look that it looked like it was still you at least anyway. Um, yep. Oh, uh, Dustin says found it because we worked with this um, uh, stunt company that specialized in uh, like horse archery. Like they could actually do mm. Hunnish, uh, like Hunnish uh, horseback archery. It was feckin' cool. Um, yeah. But they didn't want to risk me getting trampled or anything like that. So they had a stunt guy <laughs> who had the CA hoodie, like, up over his head and the helm and stuff. <laughs> and on one bit, they were supposed to, like, drag me onto the horse and, like, run off into the sunset. But they couldn't do that because they wanted to pull me onto the horse just in case the horse freaked out with me or something like yeah. that. So, yeah, so you had to CGI my face <laughs> onto someone else. Yeah, it worked out. It worked okay. Like, I, think it, I um, think it was good. Yeah. But no, my, my, like, I loved that day, actually, because it was interesting. We're out, I don't know where we were, like, out in the countryside somewhere. We were in like, Wales. But, um... We had to go to Swansea. No, no, oh, Swansea God. was the dogs. Uh, we were, God, I remember it being a long-ass drive, but it was definitely one of those, those weird, like, unknown <laughs> spots around um, the south of England. Yeah. Um, oh, also, just while we're getting set up, so feel free to, to tweak and customize the ship however you like. This is kind of our, our standard setup, but if you want to beautify it, go for it. Uh, I just oh, need to well, make sure. I have many ship sets here, so let's let's have a look. Hey, feel free to flex. Uh, I just have to make oh, sure we're flying the rainbow flag. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Um, um, oh, I do have, like, hmm. What are you a fan of, Will? Um, do you like. Battletoads, Banjo Kazooie, Killer Instinct, Conquer. Ooh, I'm definitely a fan of Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct, right? Let me see if I can find that set. Sage Bell just yells in all caps, "Make it shiny!" <laughs> Make it shiny. <laughs> Make it shiny. All right, let's chuck this on the Cutthroat set. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll I'm just just go do some Faffomancy whilst uh, it's getting set up. Oh, do you know what we need to do to start uh, today's um, today's quest of nonsense? What 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 do we need to do? <laughs> like what? <laughs> do you want me to come up with something, or like are you looking to play the adventure? Oh, I think we should play the adventure. All right. Okay. Yeah, I know how to do that. Um, although I will say, to fully complete this adventure, we're going to need to rope in some other pirates. We need at least five. We need five so we're gonna have pirates. To search, we're going to have to search the seas for some other crews. That may be that may be challenging. <laughs> Hello, scoundrel. I mean, I'm not against it, but that may be challenging. <laughs> uh, also, thank you. Actually, I can I can open the door. Uh, a, a very good friend of mine actually gave me some cash last week to buy fancy guns. So I've got the uh, nice. the eternal eye of uh, the eternal freedom eye of reach because the ah, only thing cool. I'm good at in this game is sniping. <laughs> um, but uh, just leaning over, I just wanted to say thank you again for the the, the gun money. 
I have a really cool sniper rifle. <laughs> Thank you for the gun money. Well, how am I supposed to phrase it? <laughs> it's alright, boy. You're okay. It's okay. Are you watching? Are you watching anime? Are you having a good time? Uh, it's our uh, our youngest pup. He is a lovely Aww. sweet, lovely sweetheart, but he's he's got a lot. He's of... a fan of anime. He, he genuinely is. Um, I will put on like soft anime in the evenings, and it puts him right to sleep. Uh, he doesn't like cyberpunk. He's made this very clear. <laughs> Trying to culture my dog son on, you know, the the great Blade Runner, and he's like, no, no, I don't like this. Stop playing it. <laughs> well. We're now in a storm, so the colours are just completely muted, so you can't really see how glorious this set is, but it is pretty cool looking. Okay. Uh, the one Plus, advice... people will fear us when they see us coming, so... Yeah. Uh, the one advice I was given was um, to make sure we stock up on uh, resources. So I'll buy us some... Yeah. Some cannonballs and the ilk. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, I have far too much gold so yeah let me hey um... then i will let you play uh pirate sugar daddy i'm entirely okay with that <laughs> all right what we got resources oh god oh that made me jump i got struck by lightning <laughs> <laughs> oh, i thought we'd just been ambushed there i nearly, <laughs> nearly freaked out oh i'm gonna put oh, this oh off. god i'm in the war Uh, so, do you know the one thing that's really strange about playing Sea of Thieves as we are right now, for me, is that I never play it like this. Okay. Um, because my day-to-day -day is having lovely debug controls at my disposal. Oh, so um, you've, you've got to play it like a plebeian. Well, well, yeah, exactly. Like, we have this storm right now, I'd be like, banish that to the um, the devil's roar, like, and like, instantaneously it would move away. Nah, you um, gotta, you gotta face it all. Oh my god. If, if Poseidon decides, then that's how it's going <laughs> down. Uh, I'm doing the thing of, like, stacking all the cannonballs in the top and stuff like that. Nice. Uh, uh, BYO Battleship is now giving us a follow as well, so... Hmm. Should, let me get our cannons all loaded. You want any fireworks? I mean, Let's get some fireworks. Fuck yeah! That'll be our kind of our, our celebratory or commiseratory. <laughs> what we got? Oh, see the damned firework crate. Villainous oh, foes. Let's have that. Actually, that was one thing I was going to ask. Um, mm. Like, how has this game been to play? Because I was talking to these lovely folk earlier about how working on Total War was kind of good, mainly because like it wasn't a game that I hated at the end of the day, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, Total War was one of those games I could play it, have a good time, uh, so I could work on it, and still like enjoy playing it in my downtime. Yeah, um, I, like, I mean, I'll be honest with you, I don't... This sounds bad. I don't often play Sea of Thieves because I, play, I like I am in the Sea of Thieves world so much of my working day. However, yeah. when I do play Sea of Thieves, it's always fun. Like, I love playing going through with new players as well. Like, because that's like that is kind of the magic. That first like realizing, oh, this is how you lit like literally do these things. This is how you have to lower the sails, angle it into the wind, yeah, all that sort of stuff. Like. Um, it's and always it cool seeing gorgeous. that sense of discovery. What? Um, so sorry, jumping back into chat. Uh, apologies for for leaping around. So Dustin wanted to say, wait, pump the brakes. Did the horse bloke actually clock you across the 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 face, or was that a stunt double? <laughs> oh, it was definitely you. Well, wasn't it? It, it was. was absolutely oh, it's absolutely me. You. Fucking lightning bastard! <laughs> Stop setting our shit on fire! <laughs> right, we've got some fireworks crates for, uh, for also, funsies. Yeah, I've got them up by the cannons just for, for enjoyment. Uh, also, the BYO battleship is a lovely individual I met at GDC who is making a ridiculous build-your-own-battleship game on Steam. Oh. Where the premise is you build these, like, 
like almost like glorious anime tier uh, battleships that you then uh, hurtle against your foes. Oh, got, got to get me dog. Although it's quite wet, so the dog's probably going to be sleeping in uh, in a bit. <laughs> yes, this is important. Um, so yeah, how are you doing, friend? Welcome I'm doing to my little... really well. Yeah, doing really well at the moment, actually. Um, it's always busy. I feel I feel like I'm very busy, um, but that's not a bad thing, to be honest. I mean, yeah, but, it yeah, seems you... like... I don't know. You were saying we joined at the right time. It's... Fuck you, Poseidon! Um, <laughs> we get lightning strikes. It seems like... Like, Sea of Thieves has done incredibly, incredibly well. And we've joined mm. it just as all, like, the, the narrative content seems to be dropping. Mm -hmm. Which, as yeah, we've the, just the, come off of... Yeah, a big like, focus on narrative, yeah. And which we've just come off of uh, the Blackout Club. It's just kind of hit us at, like, the perfect time. Yeah, no, it, it, it's funny. Like, we've... Obviously, we've been out for, well, four years now already. Wow, has um, it been that long? Yeah. Um... And, you know, last year, again, we, we, we've had amazing moments every year. Like, um, I mean, last year was a big one. Obviously, we did the Pirates of the Caribbean sort of um, crossover. Oh, yeah. Um, and, yeah, like, it's, it's, it, it just keeps keeps going. We keep on adding new stuff. And it's it's still fun to work on, which is great. Like, and I, this is the, the funny thing is, like, yes, it's been out for four years. I've been working on it for seven years now. Oh, God, yeah. Um, I remember seeing you in some of the early, early announcement videos, and I was like, that's my mm. buddy! I know that guy! <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's been... That, I feel really, really privileged um, to get to do what I do at Rare. Um, I remember the gentleman's tuck. Could, thank you. Um, because, yeah, we get given a lot of freedom to make fun videos the way we would want to make them. And, yeah, it's, it's, it's you know, Sea of Thieves and Rare in general is just, like, I've, I feel like I landed the perfect spot for my oh, tone. Fuck oh, me, I'm on fire. Boy. <laughs> I am super oh, and dead. you're dead. Let's get you back. Remember that time I yelled, fuck you, Poseidon, and then got struck <laughs> immediately by lightning and died? Oh! Oh! Oh, oh shit! Again. I'm cursed us! Oh, dear. Right. Poseidon, you, you okay? bastard! I said I was sorry! <laughs> right, let's go with this storm. This is yeah. chaos. Also, like, I don't know who needs the compliments, the water in this, the environment and everything are gorgeous to a level mm. I have not experienced in a game. The, there are some very, very talented artists at Rare. Um, like, yeah, gen genuine. Like, and the cool thing is, obviously, as you know, well, you've, you've been, you've looked behind the curtain um, yeah. yourself, so it's like you always see cool stuff every day. Like, um, but yeah, no, there's some really, really talented folks there. Nice try, dickhead! <laughs> Wait, that sounds like we are taking on water. You, you keep, you keep going. Yeah, I'll, I'll try. I'll try and get us out of this this storm. Uh, um, We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, and uh, my good friend uh, Deus Jay Z in chat. Uh, I invite him to come join us. So if he's able to, I hope you will, Deus. Uh, but he's also the person that did those wonderful videos of our exploits. <laughs> oh, really? You put the edits together? Like... Yeah. Oh, awesome. Uh, yeah, they're great. They were really good. Somehow we're at the three paces trading post already. Uh, <laughs> fuck going in the water in this. <laughs> or just actually fuck going in the water in general. Uh, Dustin is losing his heck having now finally seen the... Uh, uh, the unboxing. The unboxing. It's a great video. Like, I really enjoy it. Like, is this the guy we're supposed oh, to be finally. talking to? To start this? No, 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 no. Don't worry. Like, I, I am going to take us to the right place. We sh what we should have done, we should have spoken, uh, spoke to Lorena at the tavern. Yeah. And she would have she said, oh, Merrick's looking for you and uh, go here. Oh, fucking Merrick. And the here is um, M12 on the map. Oh. So where 
I'm literally taking us in the wrong direction. So, uh, yeah, that's great. Uh, we came through a storm. But yeah, so long as Merrick doesn't want to talk about Homestuck, like, he just keeps on going on about it. And it's like, Merrick, look, we get it, but, like, that hasn't been relevant for, for like, five years, mate. <laughs> like, we get it. You have a troll Sona. Like, whatever. <laughs> Sorry. Um... um. But no, it does sound like you're having a, a crack in time over there, and I'm real happy for yeah. you, dude. Yeah, no, no, thanks. It's, it's, it's great fun. Like, I mean, enjoy, I really enjoyed my, my time at CA, because that was my first proper video game job. Like, Oh, shit, um, I forgot. Because before that, I'd just been doing sort of short films, music videos, stuff like that up in Scotland. So it was finally merging the two things that I loved the most. Um. So I, I was I was over the moon when I got that job at CA. Right. That's way cool. Oh, so to just jumping back into um, uh, into chat. So uh, to BYO backer ships. Hello, hello. Um, this is ju that's just a an ambient storm in Sea of Thieves. It will strike you, especially if you're at a high point. It will light things on fire. <laughs> it will bust a hole in your hull. It does not give a fuck. Um, <laughs> and Andorf was asking. Uh, if the rest of the crew are going to be taken to the seas. Sadly, no. Uh, Fiona's at PAX, uh, Kyle is at a thing, and I believe Ems is either at a thing or under the weather. So it is just myself and John for this evening. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't know if Deus is on the long ferry or if he is coming to join us. Uh, mm -hmm. The long ferry is not a euphemism. He's on a ferry that takes some time. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, and Sage Bell's just got enthusiastic fish. Nice. Um, Always good to be enthusiastic about fish. Yeah. They're great. Well, so I tell you what, do you want to tell these lovely uh, individuals kind of like your, uh, a little bit more on your path towards video games? Because you started in mm. more traditional like film and television. Oh God, misfire. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, if you want to go right back. Heck um, yeah, let's do it. We've I got, went, I went to, <laughs> I went to university in Scotland, uh, the University of Paisley. And that was to do a degree in filmmaking and screenwriting. So it was very much, you know, I was thinking, well, I'm going to be a writer director. That's yeah. going to be my path to fame and fortune. Um, and, <laughs> you know, then you, you then reality hits and you go, right, OK, I'm going to just do what I can to earn some money. Um, and we used to do little music videos. I had a, like, a group of friends that were all like into the same sort of stuff. So we'd do like, cool. music videos for fans in Scotland. We entered short film competitions whenever we could and won a few. Um, was one, we used to enter, there's a competition that's oh. still running now. Like, so Incoming! Oh, oh, I know oh, we're good. It's skeletons with shy aim. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Where where are we, actually? Let me check the map Oi. a second, because we must be getting close. Nah. Uh, yeah, we need to go directly west now. Uh, well, Deus, if you want to come join us, uh, we're going to be going for a good while. Uh, I have to take a little break at about 6 o'clock my time to feed the Degs, uh, but that mm. is not for another, like, hour and a half. Uh, also, Deus was adding that the fame and fortune was also their goal as a cinematographer. <laughs> I'd be very surprised if anyone, uh, many folks studying film didn't say that secretly they wanted to be uh, famous uh, at the end of it. People will tell you they're doing it for the art well, but... Mm. <laughs> I mean, obviously that's yes. why I got into video games, was for the big bucks, you know? For the big bucks, exactly. <laughs> Oh, I want to say that you got a fort over there. And it's, it is um, ripe for the plucking. Okay. I said plucking. <laughs> um. I mean, this is officially long ship after dark, so swearing is allowed. <laughs> um, uh, Dustin is rewatching the me getting attacked by uh, dogs. Uh, Sage Bell was actually asking, uh, whereabouts in Scotland are you from originally? Just they're trying to, so, to to pinpoint the accent. To, to pin me down. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I. <laughs> no, please. Um, I am originally from a t oh, just outside. Uh, I lived in the countryside, but just outside a town called Ayr, on the west coast of Scotland. 
So it's about 45 minutes drive away from Glasgow. Okay. Uh, Deus was saying that it was in for the art, but also for the money. Uh, and <laughs> Thrain would like to point out that um, art is the name of their offshore bank account. <laughs> exactly. Yep. What is that? But yes, went to university, did all that sort of stuff. Yeah. And loved playing Total War. It was the, the game that I played. I played Shogun to, like, I, I, I mean, everyone says this about Total War, but it's like, you know, I'll do one more turn. I'll do one more turn. And then you, yeah. wait, you look at the, you, you look at the curtains and, oh, fuck, it's morning. Like, um, and you've been playing for like 10 hours straight. Uh, John, um, as, you, uh, as you're our guest, that means you do get to be guest captain. Uh, guest captain, uh, we have a yeah. galleon. Uh, play a galleon due, due west of our position. They appear to be oh, docked. Really? Ah. Oh, I, is, it a, is it a player galleon for sure, 100%? Uh, if it's not wrecked, there's no lights on it, so it's got to be players. Mm. Um, oh, Thream's also loving Shogun too. See... The thing was, Shogun 2 was the first project I worked on in-house at CA, so I feel a little tinge of pride. I, I was on... It's a great game. It's I, a great game. Yeah. I was on Empire and Napoleon, but that was off-site, so... And that feels mm. kind of different. Yeah. Dustin's like, um, plant a chest of sorrows, sink the boat. I mean, we could play Saboteur. <laughs> well, I'm going to take us right for this supposed player ship that you've spotted, Will. Okay. Um, um, what are your what are your orders? Murder, my order, friendship. My orders are like ready yourself for an adventure. <laughs> Don't think that's a player ship. But... Aye aye, Captain. Acquiring <laughs> things that set fire. <laughs> Let's get some fire bombs and some chain shots and a lot more <laughs> cannonballs. And... Um yeah. So after um like you know I saw that um rule come up for. At CA, and I was like, oh, I'll take a shot on it. And so I sent in what I sent in with my application was uh, a trailer made like using footage I just captured from. Um, it wasn't for, it wasn't from Shogun. It was from Rome, Rome Two. Um, if it's made not, a little Rome Two trailer. Oh, sorry to interrupt. If it's not a, if, if it's, it's not, not a player ship, what could it be? Right. It seems to be partially <laughs> fucked. Let's go check it out, Will. Rifle at the ready, Captain! <laughs> Alright. Uh, do you want me to uh, pull mainsail? Yes, let's get the sails up. Let's start slowing down as we come in here. Yeah. Um, one of the few house rules that we have is uh, mm. anchors are illegal. <laughs> anchors are illegal. See, I... Like, I'm. I tell, I tell you, well, like. Oh. Um. So, if you want a little bit of lore behind this, well. Please. Because. I'm gonna assume you haven't watched the latest cinematic trailer. I um, actually. That I, oh. Actually, I did. Oh, you did. All right. Okay. That was that I worked so slavishly over. Um, I shared it with the, the rest of our usual crew, and their first reaction was basically, uh, Ghost Girlfriend still hot. <laughs> Alright, me. Nice. Alright, we are, we are harpooned. I like it. Let's get on board and, and check some stuff out. So as you saw in that cinematic, well, yeah. um, Bell um, raised oh. the killer whale from the depths, and for anyone who's really into the lore, they'll know that the killer whale wreck was actually used to construct the Reaper's hideout. So how can it be? How can it be um, here now, like back from the depths? Well, if you've been following the lore, you'll know that the memories from the Sea of the Damned can be brought through into the the Sea of Thieves. So this is actually Bell has brought this from a memory from the Sea of the Damned back into the Sea of Thieves. Well now, well that is fascinating. <laughs> so, so we've got American Bell here. I'm just uh, stealing all of their ghost food. Uh, cause yep, you're, you're going to need it. We don't have a lot of food on board. I won't lie. Get these cannonballs as well. 
Yeah, I'll tell you what, let me, let me steal some more uh, snacky snacks before we uh, get the, the story initiated. Yeah, I'm going to just take all these cannonballs back to our ship. In fact, uh, I'll bring the crate over. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I don't know if this is testament to your work or otherwise, but the thirst for ghost, girl, for ghost girlfriend is, uh, is audible. <laughs> are, we, are we spinning slightly? We are spinning slightly. There we go. We are spinning slightly, yeah. That's my bad. Right. No need to apologise, Captain! <laughs> you see, you, my usual crew, well, they, they straighten the wheel for me after I leave it, so... Ah, uh... uh, you're used to a higher class of criminal. <laughs> I should have got a food crate. Why didn't I get a food crate? I didn't put my food back! I just straightened the... Oh. I'm so sorry, Captain. Um... <laughs> Oh, what am I doing? I think you can do this quicker now, can't you? I, let's see, this is the thing. There's also a little quality of life. Yes, yeah, see, I can just take all here. Why did I not do that? Uh, I don't think we have a, a food chest, but... Um, do we not? Oh, damn. Yeah, as, as BYO Battleship says, yeah, we'll just casually swim with a crate of cannibals. Jobs are good. <laughs> We, uh, do you know what? We actually made a joke about that way back in our E3 2017 uh, trailer. Um, like, the player character picks a cannibal and it's like, hmm, surprisingly light. <laughs> the one I keep thinking about, do not ask me why, but the one that keeps coming back to mind is uh, the Polygon video where uh, <laughs> Griffin tries to eat a banana like the trailer. Like, skin <laughs> yeah. like from the skin or from the top. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's pretty difficult, I'll give you that. Like, uh, it's it, not a pleasant experience. So. It's just, that's an effect you had on another human. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of th thirst for Ghost Girlfriend right now going on. Uh, I am too British to comment on it directly, but don't think I don't see it. Don't think I don't see it. <laughs> get, that, get them good pineapples. Do you know we actually found... The actress that uh, plays Belle. Yeah. Her name is Annabelle. Right. Oh, very cool. Um, so let me let me kick this off with Annabelle, if that's okay, and then we'll go from there. Uh, sorry, Dustin's pointing out our flag means death, and having watched that series, I've had to come to understand that in the world of piracy, I'm probably closer to Reese Darby's character than anybody else. It's good to see you. Setting. I still haven't watched that show. Uh, I need it, to. it is as good as everybody says it is. So it's like, what are you doing here? Veil of Ancients, Artifact, a certain Flameheart plans to claim it for himself. That guy! Yeah, I meant to apologize to you, dude. Uh, we were playing this game as normal. We might have unleashed a gigantic uh, skeletal demon across the Sea of Thieves. I, <laughs> I probably should have led with that. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is the Flameheart guy you're hearing about. We might have let him out. I just just wanted to apologise for that uh, formally. That's okay. All right, let's. You know what? Let's continue this adventure. Okay, Aw, see. Okay, so which megalodon? So sorry, fucking what? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? As an employee of Rare Video Games Incorporated, explain to me. Explain to me what we are doing here. You're going on a meg hunt, Will. Come on. Fuck! Where's Deus? I'm going to... Going to be great. You'll notice as well, Will, um, on the table to, to Bell's uh, right, somebody's actually already done a little bit of work for us. Oh, have they? So, on this table... There are, you have we to have place to effigies, as you can see here, onto each of these little plates. Okay. And somebody's already done the first one. So somebody That's has actually awesome. already went and hunted one of the Megs, captured its soul, infused it into this effigy, and placed it on this thing for us. So one down. Uh, one down, three to go. Um... You do know I I have a, a violent fear of sharks, right? <laughs> this is not going to go well then, Will. 
You're going to get to see me cry. I'm just going to add this to Twitter real quick. Uh, just with a... No one told me it was a Megalodon hunt. <laughs> Megalodon I'm a bit late with these hunt. emotes, but the, 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 here are the, the Easter emotes. You will answer for this at rare. <laughs> <laughs> That's another fun thing we get to do, as we did at CA, actually. Um, all, the, all these emote animations, oh, um, the reference. Are you trying to kill me? All right, I, I, I'll, just, I, I'll just stop then, Willa. I've got bad trigger discipline tonight. <laughs> why, need, why, have da why have emotes when you can turn into a barrel? <laughs> um, all of these emotes... Um, we get to it's usually one of like three people who gets who does the animation reference either me or john mcfarlane the other scottish john um at rare and uh there's actually a few people now actually but yeah we used to we were the two of us were doing them for ages Oh no, sorry, that's fucking cool. And I that's one of the things I did love at CA is the amount of times we got to do like mocap stuff just because they need yeah. Oh, uh, we've got Captain! Captain Sloop coming! Got? Sloop coming aboard! Good. good, good, good. This is a good th Oh he's a he's a leg Alright, okay, well, hold on a second. We've got a pirate legend coming up here. Now, do you have the ability to talk to players? Because I've got mine turned off. Just to I so don't annoyingly uh, because I've had to the way I've hooked this up because I'm on Discord on the on the laptop but I'm playing on the Xbox. I don't. So we'll just have to I try use playing our non a tune. Non -verbal. I knew what Oh he's giving us a wave. I didn't want to ruin the surprise. This is good, this is good. Well. So uh... the cool thing is, well, at the, <laughs> we also released um a brand new voyage called Veil vale of the Ancients, which is exclusive for Pirate Legends. Ooh. So this fine gentleman, if he wanted to, could take us on that voyage as well. Oh, he's, oh, he's having a great time. Look at him. Right, what have I got to say to him here? Uh, what can I say? Uh, just to avoid anyone saying things uh, on stream without our uh, permission, I've got it turned off. So yeah, that's fine. I wonder if we can. I could. Mm. <laughs> no, I can't even think of how I can connect this that I would be able to speak to him. He's he's a friend. He's Good. a friend. Uh, I've got to remember how to say stuff because I'm on control. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, Everything is so, okay. So I need help. Let's let's get him to help us. Yeah. I also need help. And then I'll look, can I do? Can I point at these effigies? Um, I think I can. I think I've still got point. Yeah. Here we go. What am I doing? I'm, I'm lying sure. down reading the book. <laughs> I don't know if this is helping! Use turn on your keyboard to type out the message. There you go, right? I'll tell a story about how we need to hunt a shark. Okay. We're swimming away from the shark. Yeah, so, like, it's we need a Pirate Legends. Yeah. Um, also, Bacon told me how to type a message. Um, uh, also, Bacon, thank you for the bits, and thank you for not telling me it was a Megalodon hunt. They, I, I bet my lot have been waiting for this. Uh, I am on the island! This guy knows what's up. He's playing the, the yep. shanty that we need to play later on as well. Summon the Megalodon. Oh, that's the Meg summoning music. I didn't. I thought that was just a joke. <laughs> right, let's let's go right. hunt a Meg. Well, come hello. On. We are without voice comms, but we also seek to murder a Meg. Yes. So, and then I'll sense. be like, uh, and then I'll be like, make friends. Mm. Uh, let's see if he's oh, able to he's, type back to us. He's lining up with you. I think so. I think so. It's a beautiful moment. You've got the su I'm watching you both Megalodon here, and you've got friends. the sunset behind you. <laughs> I, th I think I think you might be about to kiss. I mean, it would not be the worst thing that's happened today. Um, now, uh, oh, look at that. I think 
he sending me a friend request? He is indeed, yeah. Uh, okay, congratulations, zombie dude. Uh, his his icon is the logo from the band Corn. This could get weird. <laughs> uh, also, uh, uh, Dalganash. Uh, yeah, Dalganash was saying, "Sing the lyrics, John." He wants me to do sing the lyrics. It's going to be a night. This is going to be a whole night. Um, <laughs> so, so just so you know, that's um, James, um, who is a lovely member of our community team. Um, he is, he CMs is the, for life. the mad, yeah, the madman behind um, the Sea of Thieves Twitter um, and many other things. Hey, I mean, uh, Dal, if you need some, if you need some quality content for posting. Um, all of my great failings have been edited by Deus. The videos are great. My failings are well, well documented. <laughs> um, right. For, for the moment, it does look like it's just going to be. To Summoning the shroud oh. ghost is no easy Whoops. task. You must Go on, Will. Can I have a look? Kill. Oh, I'm, so... I'm so fucking scared. Once each is dead, <coughs> use an effigy so like this scared. one. To trap the beast's soul. When you return all four souls to me, we will be able to call the shrouded ghost and retrieve the veil of the ancients. It's quite brutal. We've got to go no time to... steal their souls. Like, not just you... kill them, rip their souls out of them. Usually, I'd be like, you know what? That's a pretty mean thing to do. That's, you know, that's not kind. These are my greatest fear incarnate <laughs> in video game form. Okay. I'm going to try and communicate with him by shoving this effigy in his face. Yeah, yeah, we, all right, yep, looking at the table, yep. Kill the Meg. Kill Jester. <laughs> <laughs> right, so if you look on your quest um, menu now, well, yeah, we've got this. you'll see that you've got the effigy. You've got a summoning flare, and you've also got a map. Okay, so the map is where we've got to murder our first fish. Um, Catfish Wadadon says fish are friends, not soulless husks. Yes, Megalodons, however, are exempt, because they come under a different class of animal called bastard. <laughs> In Latin, referred to as that fuck. <laughs> and apparently we're going to go fucking on. Great, cool. My greatest Fucking fear! <laughs> right, it's so cool though, West. It's really cool. Alright, so this is the map. Uh, I don't recognize that. Wait, no. No! You should recognize that island well. Fuck! God <laughs> fucking damn it! <laughs> Fuck every duck. Alright. If if I had the cash, I would just be like, I'd just be like DoorDash a box of wine. Let's fucking go. All right, so showing showing Zombie Legend where we have to go. He's just standing there chewing, going, "These guys are so slow." I can't wait to watch these two fucks fail. <laughs> oh, also, right. So that's that's Thieves Haven. Oh, it's a skeletal sloop. It's Thieves oh. fucking Haven. So we'll we'll get back aboard our brig. All right. So let me just uh, one last polite bow. He's got his shotgun out, which I honestly uh, <laughs> I, I don't I don't blame him. <laughs> All right. So long, so, zombie dude. Sail well. I'm really hoping he's going to follow us and help us because. Uh... Oh, he says one of my friends want to help me. Uh, help them after I get done. I will help you. Okay. Ah, right, okay, okay, cool, cool. Well, we'll go Thank get you. The, the souls while we can. Sail well. May the souls of Megs <laughs> sing the... Sing thy to sleep. And he left before I could say! Uh, uh... Um, also, whilst we start that, Jack Strider just brought in a raid. So, Tom Joker, Jack, what, oh, friends? We're going on a fucking shark hunt, apparently. <laughs> uh, wait, no, is that? Or is that him leaving? Oh, a some, it's a skilly sloop wants to start yeah. some shit. I mean, 
I'm not against it. It's just. Oh, oh I, I assume that legend didn't have any loot on his ship. Nah, I don't see anything floating up. Like... All right, what do you want to do with these Explosive bastards, Captain? Therapy at its finest. Let, well, <laughs> I, I, hold, hold fire just for the moment. Trip, like they might just be having a little look. Yeah. All right. I, I there they go. See, there you go. Oh, they fucking right that. down. <laughs> I, I pressed the get rid of AI ship button, and uh, <laughs> there they go. Um, Asari put literal money behind saying, just think of it as exposure therapy at its finest. <laughs> uh, these are the lovely Mother Hubbards that keep me alive, John. I, I do not know how I got to have such a lovely bunch, but I'm so grateful for them. Uh, also, the gentleman who just brought a raid a uh, raid in blah, blah, a raid in <laughs> is Jack Strider, fellow game dev, who made uh, Kakatakoi, a 2D Smash style game where you play as cats, but your Ooh. move set is denoted by which fish you fish up from a central pond. Oh, so it's cute cats. That with actually a kinda, sounds pretty cool, right? Like almost a bit of a, a killer queen vibe, if you know what I mean. Hmm, okay, I, I, I get you. I, I can kind of kind of see where you're, where you're going there. All right. Oh! Half Zombie Dude has joined our crew! Okay! I like we've, it. We've got a random pirate. That's great. Hello! We have um, a legend. Uh, just going to be like, uh, not to worry you, but you are... Slightly live on <laughs> Twitch dot tele television. You're on the telly. You're on the big telly. <laughs> uh, random friend as a crewmate to bells. <laughs> oh, that's our other house rule: is that everything is two bells. Two bells, okay. Sensors online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Oh, this we're, fog we're, can we're bloody do one. Pig fun dot I know. JPG. <laughs> and for some Again. reason, Jack threw in uh, a 17 month sub with just pig fun dot JPEG. Pig fun? Yeah. Sure, why not? So, uh, who knows? We might get sunk by our new legendary friend, or we might kick ass. Who knows? <laughs> See, here's I the think... other thing. Like, unless he types something in chat that's upsetting, in which case I apologize in advance. Like, he hasn't got voice comms, and there's nothing mm. we can lose. Like, it's not like we're we're laden with gold that we'll never see again. Yeah. We 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 have nothing to lose, Will. That's the attitude I'm going into this one. <laughs> I mean I'd save my dignity, but you'd then get about <laughs> twenty comments being like, nah, it's, he's that or yeah, that went I lost already. That years ago, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, no, it's great hearing you having a good time over at Rare. Um, I kind of fell into this whole streaming malarkey, uh, and mm. I fucking love doing it. It's cool. Like, it's funny. It's 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 something that you, I, like I said to you uh, on in, on Twitter, like it's something that I think you're perfect for in the first place. Oh, uh, warning! Mean, warning shot from skeletons. Oh, 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 that was pretty close. That was way there too go. close. So, the engineer who programmed this targeting for the skeletons is a uh, is a lovely person called Jess Baker, um, and I think she got the balance spot on, making them just just that perfect right amount of shit. Uh, uh, just where you're like, could they? No, nah, they won't. But they could. Maybe they. Oh! Did you get them? Fuck yeah! You are pretty good at sniping in this game, then. I mean, it took me three shots, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm actually loving that we've just got this random pirate legend. Right! Just hanging out at the back. My, my... Just observing, making sure we're not, not completely fucking it up. But... Right? But my goal is to become a pirate legend, so one day I'll be that cool. <laughs> Hang on, let's get that an instrument. He's he's playing a really sad song though. Yeah. Hey. Uh, there's the classic. So a little note on the the music and the shanties and all that sort of stuff that's in the game. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, how it's... do you start singing shanties? How do you? All right. So once you've got your instrument out, yeah. If you then, if you are you on controller at the moment? Yeah. Yeah. So hold down LB, and then you'll see B has it should now have shanties uh, in the yeah. middle there. So you can press that, and then select one of those shanties using the right thumbstick. Uh, let's go for beclaimed. Becalmed. Becalmed. That's better. Yeah, that's a that's a beautiful. But you won't be able to play it until he stops playing, because you're basically always going to join in oh. the track that's currently active. Oh, uh, if... Captain, rocks ahead! Rocks ahead, Captain! Oi! Okay. Oh, well, look at I, that. Adjust the port that. ever so slightly. Um, you know what? I, I think I might have to give up the, the role as Captain, because that pirate legend has just jumped on and saved us anyway. I He's mean, you, you're still Captain. A good part of a captaincy is delegating. Well, <laughs> well that's fine then. So I, even though I didn't say to him, it was definitely my decision for him to jump on the wheel and avoid the rocks. Exactly. Hire people who are better than you. Like, that's the goal, right? <laughs> um, a BYO Battleship is just complementing the water as well. You haven't seen half of it, friend. I do not know how they get the water to look this gorgeous, but it is absolutely incredible. Oh, and yeah. sorry, I missed um, uh, Dal saying that they love some Killer Queen. Yo, we are spoiled. Because... There is a bar, a pog's throw from where I live, that has a full killer arcade arcade cabinet. You know, like the full, like, ten... It's either eight or ten player. <laughs> All right. Um, here we are. Do you hear that whistling, uh, Will? I do. What's that? Well, that's that's him playing the drum, and we, we had a little... Uh, the audio team had a little whistling, but do you know who is whistling there? Who is whistling? Is that, that you? Me. Oh, yeah. that's freaking cool. <laughs> um, I mean, as this lot knows, my great claim to fame voice acting is being um, Willemus in Sonic All-Stars Racing. That's cool. Uh, oh, actually, I did get to do some VO stuff for uh, a Dreadx game, which I really enjoyed. So I I'm not trying to be a voice actor because I know it's a very... Ooh. Uh, it is skelly. Let me see if I've still got it. Ah, piss balls. <laughs> One more shot. Sails up, boys. Sails up. Aye, aye! <laughs> Sails up to bells! I quite liked watching you slide down there. <laughs> All this right. was that was smooth. That was that was some some. Oh oh. Hey, hang on a second. Our legend is a an anchor down boy. Oh. It's all right. No one's perfect, but he is pulling it back <laughs> up again. There's oh, no way for him to know. He, why did he put it down? There's no way for him to know. I guess just to give <laughs> us a nice uh, a nice hard stop. Right. Yeah. Okay. So let's have a look at the map. So it's on the, the south side of the island. <sighs> Fuck this place. Look, I didn't know, alright? Everyone just told me, oh, don't pick that thing up because it's sad. <laughs> and... Oh, also, we got a red mermaid statue as well. Oh, we could, yeah, we could take it out. Oh, oh, he's fired himself up there. Ah, smart. He's going to start this encounter without this, Will. That's illegal. And then then you'll be in the water with a Megalodon. Fuck. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Fuck you, statue. Yeah, let, let's, let's leave that. I feel like he had the better idea of firing himself out of the cannon, to be fair. I don't know why I'm slowly walking across the island. Don't rush too far ahead, new friend. <laughs> Let me being diplomatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you could, if you could just possibly wait, just two minutes, like. Take the elevator up. Oh, actually, are you? No, I. Are you down here with me, or are you? You're. Oh, I am okay. gonna. Wh which elevator are you taking? Oh, you're on the other side. I'm all right. Well. Yeah, you can take that one if you really want to. Well, if you want to go the wrong <laughs> way or whatever, you know. Like... Look, I have, I have bad memories of this place. All right. 
Uh, and you know what, friends? Feel free to drop the uh, my failings as a video. <laughs> but I do want to get some more ammo. Okay. Uh, zombie dude's like, found it. Found it. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to go up and over. Because I remember what happened last time I did that. I got beamed in the face by a feckin' trap. It was a right, bad time. Um... I'm over with a zombie. All right, I'll be with you in just a second. Captain! Climbing up the Zombie. <laughs> um, but yeah, I... Like, I didn't dislike working in video games, of course. But it was kind of mm. a thing of... I, I moved out to Seattle for a work thing that turned out to be a disastrous nightmare. Um, and then it had a it had a streaming component to it, we'll say that. And then after that point, I kind of found that I really enjoyed it. Uh, I met a lot of the lovely people who are hanging out with us this evening. And it's just, yeah, it's been a thing since then. I've been doing this for four years, if you can believe that. Really? That's cool. That's awesome, actually. Yeah. And, I again, I really enjoyed doing... I really enjoyed doing stuff at CA. And sadly, all the stuff I did at Improbable will never be released. But it was really good stuff. Mm. Uh, yeah. We had like a fake radio show. It's really cool. <laughs> oh, okay. So he's letting me. Yeah. Quest. So if you want to get this summoning flare, load the meg signal flare, and then we just. It'll auto fire. Yeah. Oh, fuck a duck. <laughs> I thought it was going to bean one of the parrots then. <laughs> oh. oh, that is not cool. It just, Battle begins. They just bore a fucking hole in the sky. There's no one else worried. <laughs> oh, there oh, look, go. there's the fuck. <laughs> right, we need to get to our ship, Well, Oh, I can't even use this hunt. cannon. No, that would have been good. <sighs> aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> oh, fuck you. How can a shark get cool music? All I get is happy birthday. It's not even my birthday. <laughs> yeah, no, like I said, I think you're perfect for streaming though, Will. Like, so it's it feels like you've found your found your groove doing this. I, I'm definitely enjoying it. And the other thing that kind of uh, I've been really enjoying is just being able to support whatever game. Like, yeah, I I often found at CA that I kind of I wanted to do more to help support other video games, and mm -hmm. I had to. I had to be very careful about like what games I was supporting and stuff like that. Yeah, because you, know, you were the face, like for a for a like, s for a small snifter. Yeah, it was it was myself and Craig. Um, yeah. Though I did feel a little bad because um, during uh, while we were touring for Rome Two, like Craig changed his look very drastically. <laughs> uh, so we were doing these videos, and then we went out on tour, and he grew a beard and got rid of his glasses. <laughs> uh, so people didn't recognize him when we were in the field oh and it was so bad because he, like people were like oh you're that guy and i'm like hey and i'm like and here's craig and they'd be like wait who <laughs> not because That's they didn't not... know him but because he looked completely different yeah oh, oh yes right. you, you do have a pretty distinct look well so you've got that in your favor Zombie dude says this. And I mean that in the nicest possible way. Right. I understand I am both audibly and visibly very distinctive, and I'm okay with this. <laughs> uh, Catfish Water Dancer adding that I have an army of equally glorious followers. I mean, like, I'm not trapped in here with you lot. You lot are trapped in here with me. I don't know. <laughs> you may be, may be referred to as followers by the system, but it's certainly... <laughs> I feel like I kidnapped you lot. Touch down um, in that front seat. There we go. Lovely. Thank you. All right. Now, I've always avoided the oh, shit Christ. out of Megalodons. So... Uh, that's, is that... that's not the plan today. So what will we need to do? Like, pull sails to a certain degree? Do battle? Yeah, I think, honestly, the... with the Meg, the best thing is get, get close to it and then... It's always going to attack you, so you may as well almost like sit still and then just pummel it with as much cannonball fire as you can. Aye, aye, Captain. 
Uh, Ness there is just is. adding. You see that fin? But the... no, no, I don't see that fin. <laughs> Uh, Ness, I believe, is a lovely games individual uh, as well, but was adding that the Megs are fun! Did you know this yeah. was going to be a Meg? Oh. Where are they? Directly ahead. Uh, Captain, permission to seek a new career! <laughs> permission to become an accountant! Permission denied. Get on that cannon. Dragon Lash says harpoon it. Fuck it. Fuck it. That is madness. That is mental. Like, it is fun. All right. God, I wish I was drunk. <laughs> it's like five o'clock in the afternoon here, and I want to just snorkel oh, a box right. of wine. I need to go get. I don't even have cannonballs. What am I doing? Right. Hang on. Hang on. Ah! Oh, fuck! Oi! There she is. Did you harpoon it? Yeah, that's what that's what dragged that to drag. That's what Dal said. He, he's he's talking nonsense. Oh god. Oh, it's it's coming for it! It fuck! Oh, that was good. That was good. Good shots there, guys. <laughs> See, I hate everything the fuck about this. <laughs> We you you gotta just hold your nerve when that happens and fire cannonballs in its face. Like. Don't fire until your jeans fill with piss. <laughs> Let's play some Sea of Thieves. I'll have a cool guest. It'll be fucking great. <laughs> it's fancy. Oh, there we go. Eat my entire ass and not in a fun way. <laughs> Shots, good shots. Oh, I, this, see, this is why I, I don't have pets in the game. I can't stand that noise, like of it whimpering, and I'm like, it just makes me feel so bad. Oh, All right, here, here we go. Fucking go! Come on, come on, come on! Ah! Oh, well done, well, well done. Still well done. That was extremely close. How do I unpiss my jeans? <laughs> Get more cannibals, Cam! Nice, 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 nice. We've done it! It's Did dead. we? Get to fuck! <laughs> yes! Get in the fucking bin, you great big <laughs> nautical shitlord! Yes! Well, there you go, our, our legend is off to capture its soul right now. We should go and there's some loot out there, so let's. Um, We'll take the ship round slowly and harpoon it on. I'd say I, I believe in you, Captain, but there is there is nothing you can say that will get me in the water right now. <laughs> did he drop the anchor? He did drop the anchor. All right, okay. I guess he didn't hear the anchors were illegal. <laughs> he's got the he's got the unenchanted effigy. It's like, well, mate, enchant it. Hurry up. Yeah. I mean, what are we gonna do with an unenchanted effigy? That's just, that's just a weird doll. <laughs> oh. Look at my shark doll. Um, I was too panicking there. Crux threw in two hundred bits to say. Um, uh, Crux threw in two hundred to say uh, Booper Snoot, uh, and Jpo said one down just to let me know that there's more. <laughs> All right. That's right, you know. Right, I'm just gonna slowly take us in towards our legend friend. Alright, I'll try and I'll try and bring him across. FYI, the longer the megameters in the water, Whose parrot the is this? Is this your parrot? It's not my parrot, shower. I thought it was your parrot. Oh no, it must be. It must be our legend friend. We have plenty of megalodon, he says. Oh god, we're actually picking up speed, right? Okay, seals up. Are we going to go past them? Are we all good? Oh, We're good. Uh, we are just... Um, I've, uh, I'm full up on food. Uh, though, just to fuck with me, uh, Bacon Avenger would like to inform us that uh, the longer the Meg meets in the water, the more regular baby sharks. <laughs> Alright. Right, I'll harpoon if you want to... Oh, God, we just sailed a little bit too far past it. Let me just spin us on the spot. Aye, aye, Captain! 
also, because mm. you're here and I'm not with my usual crew, uh, I'm mm. allowed to have tea on board, which is great. Um, as they're very insistent that all tea must be thrown off the ship. Because oh. they're all bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Giant shark, doot, 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 doot. There we go. Now, what's this? A uh, crate of exquisite spices. Oh, yeah. It's that, that stuff the British Empire acquired for completely legit reasons. <laughs> you are. Oh, God, I messed up. Totally legit. Look at that. Oh, I just harpooned our friend. Look at that. Why can I not get that? Come on. We just updated the auto aim on this as well. <laughs> so what you're telling me is that the game is fine, it's just your aim is off. My, yeah, I'm, I'm that bad at aiming that even the auto aim is like, nah, nah, not today, sorry. Wait, is there anything left in there? Am I, oh no, there is something there. Oh, it was, the, I was trying to, I was trying to harpen the remnants of its soul. We can just ignore that. We've got everything. Have you <laughs> noticed how cool this figurehead is, by the way, Will? Oh, the Fulgore one. Yeah. It's so good. I mean, the glowing Robin... blades kind of announce our uh, our presence. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it announces our intention as well. So we're here to take names, and uh, that's about it. <laughs> here um... to take names and eat ass, and I don't <laughs> know how to read. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Uh, um, Robin Beanland, who um, is the mastermind behind all of the music um, in Sea of Thieves, yeah, um, who won an Ivor Novella for um, the Sea of Thieves music. Oh shit! Um, was also the one of the composers, but he like he was a composer on Killer Instinct as well. Oh, fuck! We were actually just talking about that yesterday because like the. The new Killer Instinct soundtrack is incredible. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, it's really good. God. Let's just see what... Uh, see what the internet is yelling at us. We have... <laughs> We're going to head north again. We've got to go back to, um, to American Bell and place this effigy on the table. Uh, so we've got to do the effigies one by one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you could, if you knew what you were doing, you could have left one. It would be very boring for one of us if, if you'd left this one person behind. You could have started the next one and then blah, blah, blah. But yeah, we'll go back and do it one at a time. Okay. So let's get let's get the, the sails down and off to the, the port side, please, Will. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, gentleman's tuck. Thank you. Oh, and uh, our pirate legend's already... Is that enough of a tuck for you, Captain? That's pretty good. That's that's that's, that's nice. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I forget who it was that told me that it's referred to as the gentleman's tuck, and I like that. <laughs> All right. Uh, cannons are reloaded, Captain. Ready to set sail. It's a well-oiled machine. Well, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's be honest. We've got we've got a proper pirate with us. Uh, <laughs> uh, drop in front all. Gets a little bit more. What's that on the horizon? Hang on, let me have a look here. Ah, uh, we're okay. All right, I'll uh, I'll pop up in the nest, Captain. That's where I do my best work. Uh, plus, Good it means idea. I get to show off how gorgeous this game is. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of mad, isn't it? Like, I, like I remember we we filmed. Uh, we did a bunch of sort of behind the scenes stuff like uh, in the, when the game just came out and I think it's oh god I can't remember who it is it's like a couple of tech artists like have done this amazing work on the water but the cool thing about it is as well as when you think about it is like yeah. all of these waves are synchronized as well across the network so it's like you're seeing the same waves as everyone else it's not just like pretty waves yeah. it's the same waves that everyone in this on this server sees as well it's like, um, which... uh, sorry, for those of you who don't know, friends, is that usually with, like super, super pretty water in video games is something the engine handles on your side. Like, for mm. most games, the water is a flat plane with a fancy visual effect over it like, on your rig. 
for some, there might be some moving and flip, uh, moving and there might be some movement, but again, a lot of that is local client side trickery. The fact mm -hmm. that the water is server side and that everyone is experiencing it the same, that is mind blowing. I, I don't know yeah. if BYO Battleships here, but they're a they're also a solo dev putting their project together, and mm -hmm. I I know they will get how big a deal that is. Yeah, it's it's so cool. Uh, again, there's, there's there's loads of stuff in this that I'm just like, oof, how like how have you done that? Like, I... oh. Hey, remember that time I invited you on my show for funsies, and it turned out to be a fucking make hunt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and to Jr. Great, thank you for the follow. Uh, and I guess to those of you who have found us this evening, welcome to our, our weekly Sea of Thieves nonsense. Uh, I'm joined by John, who works over at Rare, as the head of the cinematic team. Mm. And Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> and we are getting ourselves into trouble. It's good trouble, though. Um, uh, the BYO Battleship uh, individual is saying that... Um, uh, they had to basically duplicate the vertex shader in C sharp so that ships could tell where the water was in their project. Well, that'll mean something to to someone else, but yes. it sounds fancy and I love it. Just like, just the visuals on this, like watching the sun come up after a night hunt. Um, I know it infuriates one of the people we sail with, but I tend to not faff with the sails unless we need to get away from something. Because yeah, I just take your time. Yeah, I, sure. I enjoy being out at sea in this game. Aside from the yeah. big toothy bastards currently trying to murder us. <laughs> go Meg or go home. Jafar James, no! <laughs> Crook's Hollow. Have yeah. you heard about the ghost of Crook's Hollow, Will? I have not heard about the ghost of Crook's Hollow. Mm, well, some say that if you're here around midnight, there's a grey lady that haunts this island. Lady, you say? Mm. <laughs> 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 you pick on that lady, you say? Mm, <laughs> Just, grey. I don't know what zombie dude was saying no to. It could be any number of things, but... He was saying no to the grey lady. Are you are you picking up on the lady part of it, Will? Sir, sir, please don't try and sex the ghosts. <laughs> Nice try, skeletons! Need to go slightly northwest now. Uh, did he? Did the zombie dude fall off? He's. I think he's heading off to the island to just gather resources. I mentioned you mentioned one hot ghost lady, and suddenly our new person's like, bye. <laughs> Does hot it work now. Hot ghost girlfriend to bells. <laughs> oh God, Dea says the spirit of Kyle's horny remains. <laughs> Don't make me get the hose, friends. Don't make me get the hose. So, if you look off the straight off the front well, we're headed back to Bell and Merrick. Aye, aye, Captain. The wreck, the wreck of the killer whale. It's weird, Cam. It's called the killer whale, but our mission is to kill sharks, not whales. <laughs> Don't think too hard, Will. <laughs> That's what the burning smell is. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, just Andorf said, sorry, all I heard was sex the ghosts. Uh, and Fred adds, well, I'll take interesting things to come back to for 200. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, no sign of another mast in sight, Captain. It's good, it's good. For the moment, it's good. Like I said, we do need five pirates eventually, but for now, it'll do. Although, did our legend friend not say he was going to try and bring his friends in later? Quite possibly. I mean, he's he's been cooking up some meg meat below, so, like, props to him. He's a good lad. He's a good lad. Uh, also, the sheer amount of abuse I'm getting on Twitter, uh, people <laughs> saying, like, we told, you, we told you it was sharks. <laughs> I just thought they were being facetious. 
All right. Uh, join when you said sharks, I didn't know you mean meant you meant sharks. I get threatened with sharks a lot. Uh, an unfortunate professional uh, curse. Uh, pull in mainsail, Captain. Thank you. Thank you. But you, you see, well, here is the magic of Sea of Thieves. This <laughs> random dude just joining us for an adventure, saving our skin. Someone who knows what they're doing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, we're not quite close enough for harpoon, Captain. Yeah, yeah, that'll be that'll be the water you're trying to harpoon there, Will. It knows what it did. <laughs> I'd use cannonballs, but they're expensive, can Oh, barrels to the left, Will. Uh, to, the, to the port side. Oh, Sorry. aye, aye! Lovely stuff. Let's have a, have a look in here. Oh, there is actually some... Cannonballs. Nice. I'll take that. Uh, there's, there's something glowing in there. Isn't there? Oh, there's a shiny. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's have a look. I'm going to get in the water. Opulent goblet. I'll, uh, I'll pop that in your here. in your in your quarters, Captain. Thank you very much. Oh, a message in a bottle. I'll have that. What does it What does it say apart from just fuck sharks? <laughs> fuck those guys. Ooh, it's a oh gosh, it's a bounty quest to but it, to go into the devil's roar. So we'll we'll ignore that one. Aye aye. And some more cannonballs. I'll have that too. Thank you. There's four left in this barrel if you want to come and get these, Will. Are you asking me, Captain, my Captain, if I want to swim out into the place where my nightmare <laughs> fuel lives? <laughs> Having met it face to fucking face. <laughs> uh, that's an order, Will. Uh, oh, although our friend is saying last megalodon. Eh? Wait, is, is there another effigy down on the table? Cannot be. Uh, no, it's not. What's he on about? There's only one down. The soul of the ancient terror. Thank you. Oh, are you joking me? What? Well, what? I think we just, I think we just um, did the one that was already on the table. No, we've still got to do more. Oh God. Right. Okay. My renown that is was... increased. That, that okay. was the ancient terror, so let's do the hungering one. They're all fucking scary! <laughs> ancient terror, my... That legend is going to be so mad worse. He's like, oh, come on now, lads. Well, one's Dan. I love that it's like, yeah, yeah, whatever, Bill. She's just standing there chatting to herself now. Yeah. Right, no offense, but there's no time to waste. Okay, so if you look at the Don't new map, we've got, brother, well, there are more over there. Fuck off, Bacon. Fuck off. Sorry, <laughs> Bacon's like, "Don't worry, little brother. There are more." All right. Uh, I don't recognize that as much. Mm. What island is that? Do you know what island that is, friends? <laughs> it's Pikachu. Let's go have a look. Clefair oh no. Um, that'll be Mermaid's Hideaway. Mermaid's Hideaway. Devil's Ridge, Albright Fortress. Top left. Our, uh, our new friend's having a look. Shipwreck Bay, Dagger Tooth Isle. How, how can our new friend. What is it? What's he doing? Come on. Just He's a legend. He should know this like the back of his hand. I think this is like someday, you know, when you're trying to explain it to a child. <laughs> so if you look around the map, there's all the different islands. You see? You see how I'm zooming in and out of the, the map? <laughs> and, uh, oh gosh, this is actually painful watching this. Sir. But this is the wrong area. None of these islands look like the island on the map. <laughs> now, kids, can you see where the problem is? Crescent Isle, Sailor's Bounty, Smuggler's Bay. Now I'm about to do the same and just be like, where is it? Uh, actually, um, there. props to Nessa 
who legit just knew it. All right, so it's just uh, due west of our it's location. Exactly. I think I just said exactly there instead of exactly. Gonna make sure I've got pineapples on hand. And... All right, got regular cannonballs. The rest saved for mischief later. Nice. All right. Should we lower sails, I feel like cannon? letting off a firework. I feel like letting off a firework first. All right. Um, let's let off. The glittering rainbow oh, firework. That me, sounds nice. Give me two seconds, dear Captain. Okay. I want to make sure. Uh, one, because uh, I'll. If you're going for the glittering, uh, mm -hmm. I will twin it with uh, Wraithbone's riches. Oh, nice. I'm just gonna put my cannonballs away. I had too many of them. All right, fireworks loaded, Captain. And my fireworks are loaded too. And in three, two, two one. one. Ah. Ooh. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> what? The legend's not impressed. So, no, I'm sorry. No. Let the Meg no fear. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, yeah. No. Oh no, he just fell overboard. Oh. He's like, <laughs> I'm beginning to have doubts about this legend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's some good ones. There's a Captain Briggy firework, Siren Queen, Gold Hoarder. Captain Flameheart's own fireworks? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, let's light up some Flameheart, uh, Flameheart fireworks. Uh, I say let's wait until nightfall, Captain, so we can really yeah. make, it, make a scene. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, right. We are headed towards Mary's hideaway. We've got a little bit to go. Okay. Oh, Bacon says if you light off five at night, it's an achievement. Yo, I will do. All right. Let's have a look. Do we uh, let everybody Can, know where uh, we are? Adjust these sails slightly. All there right. Horizon's clear. Two bells. <laughs> Everything's two bells. <laughs> Dude, we've been playing this to the extent that I was walking around a GDC, and I'm walking down mm. the hill to go to the uh, the convention center, and the little San Francisco tram goes past me and goes ding ding, and on fucking <laughs> reflex I went two bells. <laughs> Much louder than I am confident, like I'm comfortable admitting. Yeah. Oh god. Do you know it's funny? I haven't been to an event in so long. Obviously, understandably, for yeah. the last couple of years. But um, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to hopefully going to Gamescom this year. Ooh, that'll be fucking. That'll be intense. Yeah. Uh, well, Gamescom is always very intense. Like, yeah. Oh, sorry, to our, our lovely viewership. So Gamescom is a an event that takes place in Cologne in Germany. And mm -hmm. in previous years, it has clocked in at like 360,000 people over five yeah. days. It is intense. It's very loud. It's very flashy. <laughs> and it's, yeah, it's a lot of people. It does end up... It does end up being a battle of like audio. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so jumping back in, uh, oh, Kurt, Ness the writer has 400 hours in this game. No, that's why you said you like this. <laughs> um, <laughs> Krypton says, got... I'm going to be honest, I don't know what two bells means, and at this point, I'm afraid to ask. It's everything. <laughs> you know, Kyle's thirsty on main, two bells! You know, it's a self solving. <laughs> um, oh, uh, BYO Battleship says they're going to bring me a handbell for next GDC. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Will? Listen for the bells. You'll hear him before you see him. <laughs> uh, there's some goodies to the starboard, but it takes us a bit off course, Captain. Yeah, we'll leave him. We'll leave him. Our pirate legend has just adjusted the wheel to his liking, so uh, <laughs> yeah, let, let's not upset him. Like, 
It's it, well, basically we're taking like a VIP with us. It's fine. Yeah. Um. Uh, and the some ones was just adding that they love the idea that everyone's just chilling on a ship like a lobby, just waiting to get going. And someone beams a firework through the window, and it's just colourful explosions. <laughs> you can actually. There's a there's a low percentage chance that if you let off a firework. Like, if it explodes near someone, you can stun them. They'll get, like, a sort of white flash oh, wow. stun effect. So you can use it tactically if you want. Okay. Oh, and Baron Sheep, a good evening. A what ho, friend? How goes it? Um, welcome to Sea of Thieves. Uh, the disembodied voice you hear this week is my good friend John, who I worked with at... We, we served together at the Creative Assembly. <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, Hello there. <laughs> Uh, and who now works on Sea of Thieves as the uh, head of cinematics. Oh, um, port side. Uh, we're going to be trundling past some goodies at this time. Oh, how close? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're pretty close. We're uh, able grapple to range. Them. Oh, we're right on them. Uh, yeah, gem and shinies in the water. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Oh, twice. Bye bye, gems. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, Baron says, hi, John. Hello. Yes, it's like it's funny. I wasn't at CA for very long, but my time there was really enjoyable. It was great, in fact, mm. like really good. It's just it's so fascinating to see it's such a huge thing now. Like mm. CA was never tiny. I'm not saying like it was like an indie operation when I joined, but like I still remember when CA was one floor, like. Part console, part uh, PC, and now it's like multiple, multiple buildings, multiple studios. Yeah. And, God, like. Alien well, I mean, Isolation it's interesting. Is like, oh, sorry, go for it. Yeah, I was going to say. I mean, CA is like in terms of numbers is is fairly um, like substantially bigger than Rare is. Yeah. Um, and. Yeah, it was interesting. When I was there, obviously, it was just that it was the two floors of the building. Um, so I never saw it when it got oh, uh, know, any Captain, bigger than that. Uh, hmm? Skeletal pirate ship dead ahead. Uh, they have not moved dead to intercept. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, our legend I says say we north. keep this core. Yeah, head. All right, okay. Oh, he's, he's annoyed that I've moved the wheel. Why? Why head north? Hang on a second. What was he trying to do? Yeah. All right. Yeah. No, he's right. It's northwest. <laughs> <laughs> Again, from his perspective, I'm sure this is a slightly um, <laughs> tedious. Uh, However, idiots in charge. Two bells. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking more the stream than yourself, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, Deus was saying the recent handoff of Halo Infinite to them. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, Deus. Sorry. Uh, probably just because mm -hmm. I'm a little brain dead today. Um, Halo Infinite to CA. I don't it, think that's a thing, is it? Is it? I mean, if it is, it might have snuck past me because I've been a little bit of a... A little bit of a dingus. I mean... Un uh, unintentional two bells! <laughs> Just trying to climb down. <laughs> oh god, this, this legend's going to get mad at me again. I'm touching the wheel. That's alright, I'm going to set off a bunch of fireworks. So let's Have you been down to the, the oh. siren shrines, Will? Uh, I've been to a couple, but like, mm. um, I, I no, sorry, it's I okay. Well, you can speak your mind. You can, you can tell me the truth. I've not been down. Doesn't it feel better to tell the truth, Will? I have not been down under the water. I just send everybody else. <laughs> Here we go, the Kraken Killer. Oh, 
Hey! Commendation unlocked. Nighttime spectacular! Uh, I will say that galleon is keeping pace with us. They're not yeah. coming closer. I'm gonna. Mm. I'm gonna level out the cannons. <laughs> <laughs> gonna level out the cannons. It's almost like gonna... Spectres of the Old might have taken offense to me and my, my fireworks <laughs> display. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, he's in a bit of a bad spot for where we're about to fight. So uh, hopefully he, you know, could be an interesting off. challenge. <laughs> this could be a very interesting challenge. Um, join our pool, mainsail captain. Yes, please. Yes, please. Let's kind of slow us down now. All right, let's get all sails up. Uh, okay, not to uh, to pull to throw shade at the writing team over at um, uh, at Rare, but Dustin has pointed out that you missed the opportunity to call it uh, Fiverrworks instead of Fireworks. To call it what? Fiverrworks instead of Fireworks because you have to fire them five times. Oh, wow. Yep. But okay. <laughs> All I can all I can do is formally apologize for, for my crew. <laughs> uh, we still have some momentum, which is odd. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's that's good. We're all good. All good. We've got some shinies on the island here. Let's just have a look. What's this? What's this? All right. Crate of rare tea. Oh, bring it on! <laughs> it's gonna get all soggy as a I have to swim through the water, unfortunately. All right, don't tell the rest of my crew, but I did just uh, lower and raise the anchor. <gasps> yeah, I know. I know anchors are illegal, and I'm here breaking rules. <laughs> Gonna have to banish you to the brig. Oh, and the ghosts are out already. Oi! Oh, phantoms. Right, okay. Sniping from the boat often feels like a panto, like yelling, He's behind you! <laughs> With all the <laughs> fucking ghosts. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Galleon circling, but they don't seem to be causing trouble. Alright. Yeah, I think we're good at the moment. Swimming's for nerds! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at this uh, map, shall we? Ooh. So south side of the island again. I can. Do you have the summoning flare, Will? I do have the summoning flare. Good. Look at the moon. It's funny, yeah, a lot of, talking about the look of this game, Ryan, who's the art director on Sea of Thieves, Ryan Stevenson. Yeah. Like, he... It genuinely, like he set a lot of this. Well, he he did. He set the sort of the tone, the the feel, the like the the kind of color palette, all that sort of stuff. Like obviously, lots of people work on it, but oh no, I there is a vision there from Ryan, like that's genuinely quite amazing. Like, oh fuck you, ghosts! No, it's oh. so good. And I mean, we've talked a lot about this recently. Of like, you know. I'm very glad that our industry is moving away from, like, this obsession with, air quotes, realism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because the stylization of this really allows a lot of the artistic decisions of the game to really shine. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't mean to eat that pineapple. Darn it. <laughs> um, and whilst we're chatting, um, Baron Sheep is reminding me of one of the great sins, which is... Um... All right, I'll fire it. Uh, one of the great sins, which is the time him and I uh, used um, cider as a mixer with gin. Oh. And it was tasty, but the next day we hurt in a way that I haven't hurt since <laughs> and wish not to hurt again. <laughs> oh, no! no. That... Here we go. Here we uh, go. Ah! Come on. Fuck there you! <laughs> All right, right I'm, back to the ship. All right, I'm going to ask our lovely viewership if they're going to come up with a name for this particular fucko. Because I'm worried that if we don't name this particular creature, I'm going to call it something, and then Mr. Twitch is going to knock on my door and say, Sir, nah. you can't use those words on the internet. We didn't even know that was a swear until you said it. 
<laughs> and now we wish Ten to never words you again. can't say on the internet with Will. <laughs> That's my podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we've got an uh, crate here. I <laughs> that. Oh, yeah, I set it up for you, Captain, so we got to, so I can miss more shots from the deck. Uh, so Dal <laughs> suggesting John. Um, just John. Just but... John. Uh, Battleship saying Frank. Crux suggests Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina? Ag nice. Agon Anarchy with Cranklebum. <laughs> <laughs> Cranklebum. I like that one. All right. Cranklebum it is. <laughs> oh, let me put that crate of rare tea in your in your cabin, Captain. Thank you, thank you. All right. Okay. Uh, do you need a? Let's get you a, a gentleman's tuck on the front. There you thank go. You. All right. Right. I'll try and get it on our starboard side, well. Aye, aye, Captain. All right, cannibals ready. That sounds bad. Okay, let's. Let's slow ourselves down ever so slightly. Let's get the seals up to touch. Aye, aye. In fact, let's just get them all the way up. It's right here. Let's get into this. Right, can oh, fuck me running! Crinkle bomb <laughs> spotted! Uh, uh, port side, Captain! Okie dokie. Come on, it. Come on, give me an angle. Beep. Oh, what's he doing? I don't know! I fired because I was nervous, Captain! <laughs> Legends drop the anchor, okay. Why is he it. like this? <laughs> uh, I don't see Crinkle Bum anywhere, Captain! Oh, it's starboard side! He's coming Damn out. it! Hold on to something! Hold oh, on! Oh. Fuck! <laughs> Thanks, I fucking hate it! <laughs> okay, he's off the port side. Are we taking on water? Uh, we will be, at, and I'm also needing some uh, some uh, health. Let me just get rid of this water. Oh, I got him, Captain! Nice. Keep the fire on him. I can't. He's always in the pit oh. where I can't shoot him, and he's a lot <laughs> closer than I'm fucking comfortable with. <laughs> Another hit. He's using the fucking waves for cover. Like a bastard! <laughs> Told thought, you! Yep. That's that's He's off the back. That's the designation right there. Oh, Get right his shot. fucking eye! <laughs> oh, no! here we go! Here we go. Oh. Race! No! Oh, well done, well done. What do you mean, well done? <laughs> I didn't piss myself! By the end of this, well, you will fear no Megalodon. By the end of this, I'm going to need a fucking drink, and I will have even <laughs> more of a complex. <laughs> the only thing that gives me strength is trying to shoot him in the fucking eye. <laughs> oh, God, my shots were terrible there. Oh, nice. All right, he's coming around to stop. Oh, no! Oh, oh shit, grab onto something. <laughs> Nice, 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 nice. Alright, I'm gonna go downstairs and do a bit of repairing. Oh, oh, hi, Captain! Oh, there are many holes. I do not have eyes on. I do not have eyes on Crinkle Bum. Okay, Crinkle Bum, port side! <laughs> I'll be there in a second, just repairing the last hole. He's, he's going round to stop it, Captain! Okay, right. You and the legend are on it. Where is he? I don't know, Cat. Oh, it's quiet. I don't like that. Oh, starboard side, oh. moving round to the, the back. Yep, yep. Oh, I've got me in the... One of these days, I'm getting this bastard right in the eye. I'll be a <laughs> one-eyed fucking Meg. <laughs> oh, this poor dog. I can't stand it. Look. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll put me, I'll put me dog. Put him back he? in the chest, that's much more humane. Get inside this tiny chest. Alright, starboard side. Incoming! Oh! No! 
Oh, nice. He's under the fucking boat! <laughs> He's under the boat. Um, yeah, where is he? Oh, yeah. Um, front port side. Top an angle. Come on, now. This one's taking a, a little bit more of a beating, I would say. Hey! Hey! Get credit. fucked, crinkle bum! <laughs> get to fuck! Alright, let's spin it round. Let's get these sails up and then we'll spin on the spot. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye. Oh, I got raised anchor. <laughs> this is why anchors are illegal! <laughs> Uh, Catfish says one-eyed Meg definitely suggests a ballad. That's one of those ballads <laughs> that changes drastically dependent on the company. <laughs> Sorry, I should have been helping you there. Wee! He's having a he's having a little moment before he fades right. away. Oh, Captain, if you could bring us to. Uh, shit. You want? Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll get. Stay, stay on the starboard side. I'll turn it back around. So. Aye, aye, Captain. Are we close enough, or do we need to go forward a bit? Uh, forward a little. Okay. The, give you, the swells. Give you a little bit. The swells impressive. <laughs> All right. I, aye, thank you. My little whippet, you are lovely, but we're gonna, we're gonna put you back in the chest for now. <laughs> so you don't stress everyone out. Yeah, that should be close enough now, surely. Oh! Zombie pickle is... Oh! Did he die? He died! Yeah, to actual sharks. Oh. Oh god. I still got a bit too much momentum. Hang on. I'll spin us around again. Everyone's like, Will, jump in! I'm like, fuck off! <laughs> Do not. Just harpoon the shark on board, Will. <laughs> <laughs> I go. will be I will be filing that particular comment under a fuck and no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, John. Oh, this is embarrassing. There we go. Craig of exotic silks. Which I will use to replace the underpants, which I've clearly shat in several times. <laughs> oh, I got some. Yeah, that's yeah, Ashen there. Bounty as well. Oh, that's a bad mess. Oh, better Meg meat. Aye, I can. Oh, come I on. may have just accidentally I'm eaten gonna... the Meg meat. <laughs> gonna spin us a little bit to the right again. Uh, Dustin's asking, who's zombie dude? Just a person we met. <laughs> they don't yeah, have... A... Oh, no! Zombie oh, dude, no. get out of the water! Save him, Will. Save him. There's two fucking shot. All right. <laughs> I don't quite have angle. I don't have angle with the cannons. You could have harpooned him out of the water. Oh, yeah, I didn't you think could that. have been his saviour. Instead, he dies. I mean, if you, sure. want to, if you want to go Late. in and get him, you're welcome, Captain. I'm going to do it. Well, I'm going to go steal the treasure that he was carrying. I'll let him just spawn back. He Ryan is Fredo absolutely no shark. going to leave us to our own devices soon. Oh, oh, God almighty. When you said not afraid of a shark, did one just bite you? Yeah. <laughs> there are so many in the fucking water. I there don't like this. <laughs> Captain, Captain, I don't like this. <laughs> Come on, Will. Get a grip of yourself. Like you got a grip of this, sir. Uh... Oh, you got a grip of this treasure, Captain. <laughs> uh, have we achieved the, the shiny effigy of victory? We have indeed. Its eyes are glowing, see? Ah, oh, good, good. Okay. Um, our legend friend is back. I am going to eat a banana or a coconut, rather. Just chomp on down, skin and all. There we go. 
And we need to head back to Bell and Merrick. Oh, like so the, the long sail back to M12. That is sort of north, northeast. Okay. Um, uh, my household of varying uh, animals is currently snoozing, so I am with you. I don't have to take a break just yet. Nice, nice, nice. Let him, let him, let him sleep. Let him sleep. Oh, are we sailing against the wind? Yeah, annoyingly. Ah. I mean, as I said, I genuinely enjoy sailing around on this. Hmm. Uh, I'll get the I'll get the shinies below deck, Captain. Sounds good. We I must do... have quite a bit of loot now, surely. Yeah, we're doing good. good. Yeah, we got we got an okay amount. It's all right. The, the spooky lady's going to be very, very impressed with this. Oh, 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 I'm about to run us into this island. Sorry, my bad. I will correct that right now. Uh, we're all we good, we're all okay. good. Okay. There's a mean looking skeletal cat in there. Just ah. chilling up to his neck in the water. Eat shit, Cat Holmes! <laughs> <laughs> is that a player gal in, in front of us or is that a uh, skelly? Uh, uh, skeletal galleon, Captain. All right, that's okay. The legend's just looking at me on the wheel, going, "What is he doing?" Okay. So, as Catfish says, two megs in one day. Way to go, or should we say, way to live? <laughs> Like, uh, like, it's when it charges. That's the bit mm. where I start losing my shit. If it starts <laughs> charging towards this, that's when I'm like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> that's that's, that's a, scary. Fucking right. And especially like, I mean, here we know it's coming. Like, we summon them up, they come to us. Mm -hmm. But usually you're just trundling. Um, we had a session, a session last week. Um, someone joked like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if the Meg Goddess on this tiny short dash back to the aisle? And sure as <laughs> shit, the pink Megalodon's like, hey kids, what's up? <laughs> um, play a sloop. You see that? Yeah. yeah, that emissary sloop. Is that an emissary sloop? Yeah, they've got the emissary flag up. Uh, no. I don't know what trading company, but they've got an emissary up. Oh, I. Oh, no, I was thinking of the Reapers. I was about to freak out some more. Yeah, no, I think, well, I'll, I'll check the map. I don't think it's Reapers. But... God. Yeah, no, they're not on the map. But... Alright. Uh... <laughs> not a bastard, two bells! <laughs> <laughs> it might be. I, I'm curious to see where they're going. Because, like I say, we do need to eventually get some folks to help us. So we need two more pirates. Two more pirates, yep. And there could be two pirates on that sloop, so... It could be. But we have no way of communicating. No. That is an issue. I mean, I could try firing a firework of peace and friendship at them, Captain. They're raising... They're, oh, they're, they're stopping there at that island. What is that? That's, um... What island is that? It is Wanderer's Refuge. Oh. They are pulling up their sails. Uh, sinister up music. Uh, sinister music sounded, Captain. Yeah, and, and I don't know what's causing it. Um, what are we heading towards? Uh, I mean, the skeletal galleon's given us a look, but nothing we need to worry about. Perhaps that sloop crew. I'm just going to take us over towards that slip crew. They may be doing an Ashen Lord and they've already activated him so hence no tornado in the sky but he's still alive potentially. Okay. What what, what does that mean for us, Captain? What, what that means is that this, this crew have travelled towards the glowing red vortex that you sometimes see in the sky right. and 
they've 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 brought this horrific Ashen Lord into the world. But for us, it means we're just going to take a little sneaky peek, and we'll see what's happening. We'll see what's happening. <laughs> we'll see what's happening. Um, there are some. Well, then that's the storm. There are some clouds gathering above us. All right, yeah, let me know if you want me to do anything with uh, with sails or otherwise. Yeah, just stay as is at the moment. I just want to see what our friends here are up to. Yeah, they put. Wait, what's going on? Ah, it's just skellies. Very close, that shot, though. Yeah. Skeletal bastard. Uh, oh. Hey. Hey, none of that. Uh, I would say there's a dinghy on the beach. Maybe we should grab that, but I don't think we want to... Oh, they are... Oh, they're, they, they are they're setting it. off. No, we're friendly. Fuck. Uh, Oh! Ah! Oh, you dirty! All right, I got him, and now oh, I'll go God, patch the holes. Ah, oh, why are they leaving? <laughs> why are they leaving with our uh, cutthroat ship set? Um... Yeah. <laughs> They were like, okay, we're just going to chill on this little island and... Oh, shit, that's a brig. R time to run. <laughs> Let's have a look. They... Oh, wait. Oh, all right, okay. They are um, also pirate legends, even though they're rocking the plain default sails. Which they often have... says to me, like, they are prepared to wreck face. Yeah. <laughs> so they've got the Athena's Fortune emissary up. Um, and okay. they've already got it up to... They've already got it up to five. They I, they could potentially have tons of loot on board, but we're not going to steal it off them. No. But I understand, and I now understand why they're running. So. Because they are probably loaded with cash. Yeah. Um. Right. Okay. We just need to keep going <laughs> exactly the direction we're going. So it'll feel like we're chasing them. We're not. But. <laughs> so they so get to have a spot of brown trouser time. Oh, wait, we've, we've got a border! We've got a border! Oh, shit. That's a lake as well. Oh, oh shit, God. we're down. No! Mate, we weren't even trying. No, we're not attacking. Betrayal? Oh. <laughs> we were even flying the rainbow flag and all! Oh, I, I, think, I, I think I heard a bit of voice comes from there. I can't believe they've said. done this. <laughs> I can't believe they've done this. He better not. I genuinely see if he sinks our ship. I'll be. I'll be so mad. But I think he basically said, "I'm not going to alliance with you guys." So he's not up for any cooperative shenanigans. He's not up for friendship. Fuck. Not today. All right. Where's the Where's the gun locker? <laughs> It's like, mate, I'm not chasing you. I'm really not. Alright. I don't He's hear... dropped her anchor. Alright, I don't hear fire. And I don't hear anything broken. Uh... Yeah, I think Oh, he's still he, on board! He still on board! Is he? Yeah, still oh, on board. Oh, God! Uh, and he's down below on me. He's using the blunderbuss, so watch yourself. Uh... Oh, he's off. He's off the ship. But ah, oh, damn! I should have revived you, Bill. Sorry. No, it's all right. It's all right. Just like get us away and get us underway and away from this bad word. Oh, he's he's back. He's back. Yeah, he's gonna right, keep okay. doing the leap off the ship and leap up the other side, isn't he? We have a legend. How come our our legend is not as uh, well versed in the ways of combat? Right. Okay. Uh, Twizz like saying that stove is on, it may catch fire. Alright, I'll think try and I'd, put that out. I think I just managed to grab the meat off it before I died. I'm not sure if I did or not. Like, I died while I was doing it, maybe. What? Yeah. Alright, we're good. 
they're definitely getting bounced around, but I'm not stealing our stuff. All right, me and Zombie are down in the hold. Okay. All right, I'm just going to try and get the ship moving and hope hope that we can just run away bravely. Right. They've taken nothing, so this was just a this was a threat. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Our legends just like, huh? We weren't attacking. We're low on Megalodon. It's not my main concern right now. Alright. Okay. Where were we? Heading east. That's what we need to do. Where did he go? I mean, obviously his ship kept on going. So he'll so. be cashing in all his loot. Like, Oh, he might have... Would he have been heading to Reapers? No, he's not at Reapers, is he? Doubt it. Yeah, you know no, nah, he's not there. I'll go up to... I'll go up to Nest, see if we see anything, Captain. Sounds good. Um, so, to those of you confused by that interaction, so what that player did <laughs> was made sure the ship looked like the absolute basic baby ship as to <laughs> deter... Yeah, uh, so i got eyes on them, Captain. They're currently uh, due north of our current position, and they are ah, right. they are booking it out of here. Yeah, all good. I think they were uh, a good... A good offense is a good defense maneuver. Yeah, for sure. But we lost nothing apart from time. No treasure gone. Two bells! <laughs> I mean, they could have just set fire to our ship a lot. Oh, they could have right cuss there oh yeah uh, also visibility's gone to shite so I'm coming down <laughs> make sure the cannons are loaded I'm gonna re-angle these sails try and get us a little bit faster aye aye I think they unloaded our cannons I mean, that's a smart move. Yeah. What we saw there was a true legend, Will. Yeah, not like the budget legend that we got. <laughs> that was a true pirate murderer, and here we've got Wish.com's pirates. I'm sorry, you know what? Zombie dude is putting up with us. It's not the other way around. I know. <laughs> Oh gosh. I am right, let's <laughs> check the map here. Oh, I got a lot of stuff coming up, Kev. I do love um our legends commitment to cooking. Yeah. I'm impressed. Well it's one of the things that uh Tobias was very, very keen on was just making sure uh that there was enough food stock. Because I didn't know about the healing bonus from cooked food. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I guess to those of you that haven't played a lot of Sea of Thieves, because I only found this out uh, a couple of weeks ago, is that you need to... Cooked food will give you an overheal that will then give you, like, healing over time, which makes it great for getting into a scram. So, we're, we're heading straight back to the, the hunting grounds, right? Yep. Back, right. To, back to Bell and Merrick. And then we'll be out for our next Meg. What if... <laughs> I'm just, just as a suggestion, Captain, or Captain, uh, what if we uh. did anything else? <laughs> oh, uh... Oh. Sorry. Uh, we've got... Player ship stop... Uh, player ship stop? No, that's where we're headed. That's where we're headed. Fuck it, Spooky. Although, there, is there another ship on the horizon there? There is. There's another brig due... There's another brig due east, but a ways off. Oh, there's another emissary as well. That's interesting. <laughs> the emissary's on the server tonight. Everyone's coming out all fancy-like. We've got to see this through because the ultimate reward of this adventure, well, is to see the rarest Megalodon of them all. No! Oh, that's, <laughs> that's not a treat! That's not a reward! That's a threat! <laughs> oh shit, goodies in the water! Um, oh, oh, it, it, oh, it's an anchor! It yeah, that's a good show. 
I like that approach. Like, I know anchors are illegal, Captain, but... <laughs> I'll allow it. I saw shiny red and I was like, yes, thank you. I'll have some of that. <laughs> we do need some resources, so... Ooh. Fire bombs, I'll have them. Oh, this one's already been picked clean, so... That's worrying. <laughs> Gonna unload these. nest for a second because i realized it's made a lot of noise uh catfish is <laughs> suggesting that perhaps the zombie dude is a mum. you know what if i was going to <laughs> as if i was going to play online as a femme presenting individual or a mother of several having an avatar that is corn and the name zombie dude <laughs> is a great way to throw everybody off yeah i need to store some cannibals there's another six in there that we could use Good. Uh, then. Oh, come on now. The, there on, we go. On plus side, Captain, like, Horizon's pretty clear. No sign of sloop, and the brig could be on the other side of this fuck you rock, but. <laughs> if they are, well, that means they're going the same place we are. Yeah. I mean. I'm hoping this basically our voyage has to result in making friends with somebody well, so beyond our current legend friend. But we sadly lack the capacity. <laughs> what within our souls? What? I mean, partially. We also lack the capacity <laughs> to communicate with them. Because what we do usually is like um, Kyle or M's and people they have voice comms uh, on push to talk. In the game, yeah. yeah. So if needs be, they can go, uh, they can yell at people and be like, hey. Like we had one time, and I think there's a cracking clip of it, where we were about to broadside the shit out of this sloop. And then we saw they were flying a rainbow flag and ended up chatting with them and hanging out. It was great. Mm. <laughs> like some people say that the pirate, uh, the reaper flag is the PVP flag, but I'd say it's the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Feels yeah. up, boys. Alright, pull in front saw. Yeah, I'm gonna do a hard left here. Hang on. Hi, Captain. Captain Bonio, Eco Warrior. God, we <laughs> keep coming up with different pirate names for me. <laughs> Try and hook us round for a little. Ah, uh, a Ow. That was a nice attempt. An attempt was made. <laughs> Oh, are you kidding me? So we've done the hungering one and the ancient terror. So we've got two more to go. I was going to say who names these things, but I know exactly who names these things. Pirates! The <laughs> hungering terror. Alright, sales are up. Aye, aye. Right, let's get on board. I forget how to lock the um, the harpoon. Once you like, so now if you just if you got, you're on controller, like yeah. so, lock, harpoon on. Yeah. And then just press B. Okay, cool. <laughs> the legend's like, I'll just go on with this thing. Well, he better pick the fucking right one. Sorry. Um. Which one did he pick? All right, so two are down. We need two more fish oh, for no. the sea. Oh, no, you just placed it down, right? Okay, cool. All right. Um, so, Shadow Maw, next one. How about no? We have work to do. <laughs> Summoning the shrouded ghost is no easy Bell! Task. Bell, what do you mean? This, you what's this we? We have work to do. All you've done here is no. look hot and say spooky one shit. We don't want to kill a fucking <laughs> fish out there. To trap the beast. Uh, you must go out and do all the work while I stand here being spooky. Bell has all right, Bell has no flaws. <laughs> uh, I did like that impression though, Will. Good. <laughs> Wait, is that our ship flown away? Don't, uh, don't worry, I'm on it. I'm on it. 
No, uh, we got another brig incoming. Oh, right, okay, okay. Um, let's hold here a second then. Let's see what's happening. Swimming back to the ship. Where about is that? Oh, right behind us. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's, um, I'm going to put on a nice friendly emote. All right. Um, um, maiden I'll voyage. The... That's good. I like it. It's a legend. It's another legend. Why do we keep finding them? Why are this? Oh, don't do this to us. They're already firing. Please, please, be nice, be nice. All right, they're not. They're not aiming to hurt us yet. Yet. <laughs> All right, they're definitely. Oh, they're up. Oh, they're firing. Come on, guys. Get us out of here, Captain. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Anchor up. Oh, gro uh, bomber ball. Jeez. Why? We mean no harm. We're simple pirates with a simple mission. Kill all the Megalodons. Oh, come on, guys. No! Oh, and they're on board as well. Yeah. Yeah. This could be the end for all our loot well. Ah, oh, I have been taken! <laughs> <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy. You, you open your heart to someone and what do they do? They stab you in it. Shenanigans. Shenanigans! <laughs> I see them taking our tea out. I love that, that I'm getting the prompt to, like, you know, you can you can scuttle your ship if you want. Yeah. It's like, it's you like, don't. Oh, no, no. You don't. You don't have to put up with this. <laughs> Got a shotgun. We saw how quickly you died. Yeah. Your your chances were. Your chances are limited. We even played him <laughs> a fucking song. <laughs> I was doing a nice happy more. And what did we get for our troubles? Fire, misery. All right. So I got my shotgun. Uh, if you want to swim on over and cause trouble or something like that, I have a feeling if we're not sunk already, we'll be in the process. Yeah. I have a feeling the ship may already be gone. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's taken so long to, to load on in. Yeah, we're back in the tavern. Right. Uh, all that loot. Well, at least... At least it didn't ruin our adventure. Yep. We've still got our um, effigy. We know where we're going. We're actually now in the right sea to, like, it's actually uh, saved us a bit of a uh, sail. Oh wait, no, this is the that's the Devil's Roar we've got to go to. Uh, we're still closer. Yeah. <laughs> Get, I'm getting so much, um, so much from my usual crew. Hey, come over here. <laughs> I have a favor to ask. Oh, so her favor is going to be tell us to go do the thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy an empty crate before we set off. What's up, Captain? That's a good show. Yep. Uh, fact, we let's can, get more resources. We can hoover up all the goodies. Uh, all right. Browses, browse, resources and commodities. Uh, storage crate. I'm gonna grab the fruit crate. Until next time, Captain. Because that will help next time we uh, we hit the the meg area. Yeah. Has our legend just went? Nah, I'm out. Uh, I don't know. Um, or is he? Could he still be alive back there? Wrecking their stuff. Still fighting it out. Some say the legend never stopped fighting. Some say he's still <laughs> out there to this day. <laughs> Swashing and buckling, to in and fro in. <laughs> I like to believe that he never stopped fighting. He's out there fighting for us all. <laughs> all right. Well, cannons are loaded, Captain. Nice, nicely done. Okay, I think we can take on a Megalodon without him. Uh, oh, he'll, he'll, he'll come to us when when he's ready. You know? When he's ready, yeah. when when we least suspect it. Um, all right, okay. Where are where are we actually going? Let me have a look at this. 
Devil's Roar. Some sort of shape. Alright, okay. Let's have a look here. I don't know the roar as well. Oh, zombies back with us. Hey, hey right. Ruby's fall. Did you oh, okay. fight well? <laughs> he died well. All right. So yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stack up the um, uh, the barrels under, but I'll keep the crates on top so we can just hoover up all the goodies. Yeah, it's a good shot. So we've got to head southeast to get us underway. Uh, I did, um, uh, after we got killed, I just checked my DMs. And I had a message mm. from Zombie saying that uh, his friend, oh, sorry, I shouldn't assume their friends uh, were mm. being mean. And that's why they decided to come join us. Oh. Ah. Right. Front sail ready, Captain. Lovely, lovely. Uh, okay, I'll avoid this rock. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna sail through the center. <laughs> I could I could do it. Do it for some Thread fancy sailing. Let me get a nice good view. So, well, how much of like the different sort of narrative based uh, uh, like tall tales and such have you played through? Um, so we did um, we did the island of Baja Blast or the island of Snoop, if you will, which I think was the start of the current thread. Where you go to the island and everyone's gone. Um, right. We did the stuff around the uh, the Spanish ghost fortresses. Yep, yep. Uh, we did one which was a haunted painting with... Seabound Soul. Yeah. yeah, we did Seabound Soul. Uh, that was really good. But other than that, like, that's... Uh, one of the things that I've been doing is specifically rationing how much of this I play. Cause yeah, yeah. I could play so much of this. Also, fancy sailing, Captain! Through yeah, the needle. pretty nice, eh? Um, as Crystallian says, we're doing well, two bells! <laughs> um, but yeah, so I haven't played the... The Pirates of the Caribbean stuff. Uh, I haven't mm. done, like, a large proportion of it yet. That's cool, yeah. So you've got, you've got loads that you could, be, uh, like, to, to see still. So yeah, you've got all the Pirates life. We did the Shores of Gold, which was nine tall tales, um, and then there was another tall tale as well as the Seabound Soul called the Heart of Fire, um, where you go into a sort of underground dungeon where there's like fire traps and other things like that in there, which and is really sounds, cool. That sounds fucking fun. Um... Yeah, that's. If you ever fucking... want to, if you ever want to know how to start them. Um, if you go into... Where is it? Well, I tell you, yeah, like... see this. For the... Oh. Uh, Captain, that's a sunken ship. Huh? Uh, heading, Whereabouts? uh, east southeast of our position. That's a sunken ship, right? Let's have a look. Well, it's, it's an upturned ship, I should say. Oh, yeah, a little shipwreck. Yeah, let's check it out, get some resources. Aye, aye. Take us over now. Shipwreck ahead! Two bells! <laughs> <laughs> Fearless in the other room very quietly went ding ding as not to waste uh, the box. <laughs> <laughs> it is, but they're settled and loving hanging with you, so I don't I don't want to disturb them just yet. Okay, doke. Let's get the sails up. Oh, we're gonna overshoot it, I think, a little bit. Alright, pulling front all. It's gonna spin us around slightly. Aye aye. Nice, right. right. Let's jump in and have a little have a little uh, rummage. Aye. The wreck of the feared dragon. That sure does sound like something happening underwater. <laughs> oh. Got some mermaid gems. I'll have that. Thank you. Uh, captain, Captain. Hmm? Right, hmm? There, 
we go. Spin her a little bit more. In there fact, what I'll do is I'll drop the loot in a point where you can harpoon it. Just let it float up. Hi, I can. All right. Wheels locked. Nice. Ah, we got a skull. A couple of skulls. You should be able to get that if I drop that there. <laughs> uh, Sage Bell's asking if my uh, friend brought wine over. Uh, they did not, but that was at my request. I don't think I can <laughs> handle the dogs with a hangover. Although I'm very tempted having handled a shh. Oh, Captain. Oh! Captain! Don't worry. I fought sharks before, well. This is not your first rodeo, is it, Captain? <laughs> I, however, there, yeah. wish to fight. <laughs> oh! We got a little firework crate. You can hop through the shark, that's fun. Oh man, we lost all our fancy fireworks. Well, I just found a fireworks crate there, so you can use that one. You got a lovely seafarer's chest as well. The fancy is the wall. Moose is in. Evening, Moose. Taking care of the dogs with a hangover. The dark Ooh. souls of dog ownership. Bark souls, if you will. So Moose, Moose has uh, been supporting my dumbass doing this whole thing for a great length of time. I don't need to read you what he just posted because it's sort of a crime. Yeah. He said taking care of the dogs with a hangover is the dark souls of dog ownership. <laughs> Bark souls, if you will. Oh God. Ooh. What's what's with the mermaid song? I think we've got some sirens. I think I've spent too long hanging out in shipwrecks. Yep. Oh. Sirens. I see them! They're trying to start ship, my captain! <laughs> then you know what to do, well. Take that, you nautical fuck! <laughs> I, I, need, I need more bullets, captain. <laughs> There's actually a trident down here, which I'm going to grab. Is a fancy... Where did it go? Ah, there it is. If you sing, that means I know where you are. Oh, also there are sharks, and we're... And it's night time. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is, like, my personal horror movie. <laughs> As he's sirens are playing. Yeah, the Meg just shows up and is like, Hey, what's up, you guys? <laughs> <laughs> I heard we were starting some shit over here. I'm sorry, I should be levering in our loot. There we go. I stole one of their fancy sticks. Ah! Are they weak to their own fancy Whoa. sticks? Look at cheeky wee buggers. Right, okay. Let's... Let's bail. I can. Fuck you, uh, fish people! <laughs> We need to head. Ah, uh, yeah, still southeast. BRB, okay, legend. I'm gonna set that down. Giving the sharks something to worry about. <laughs> Judy, bye! <laughs> God, there is a term I haven't heard in a thousand years. <laughs> <laughs> Cheery by you fucks. <laughs> uh, catfish says, who's steering? Uh, John's steering. I'm steering. Oh, let me give you the, the gentleman's tuck. Thank you. I shall pop our, our ill gained glowing riches. I shall pop them in your uh, pop them in your cabin, Captain. Pop them in my what? I beg your <laughs> pardon. No 
one knows how cool we are. Ah! <laughs> I still uh, like the yeah. canonical theory that Zombie Dude is actually somebody's mum. He's just taking the evening off. Yeah, it's it, kind of nice, isn't it? I mean, it's funny. I mean, he's now just obviously uh, AFK, but uh, I'm, I'm imagining that he's just staring at this uh, barrel, pondering his decision to join us. I could have seen his there. I was a pirate legend. I've sailed these seas with great <laughs> crews and galleons, and I thought, no, I'll take some time out. I'll help these two. They look like they could use it. And now I'm stuck on this fucking ship with these idiots. <laughs> the internal monologue of Zombie Dude. Yeah. <laughs> it was just the fact that their avatar is the logo of the band Korn. I'm like, that's too obvious. <laughs> Actually, let's not, let's, let's not announce our, uh, our murder. <laughs> oh, we could, we could let people know that we've been murdered. Fly the purple. Ooh. Please don't kill us, we've already been killed. <laughs> I see no way in which people would take that personally and come kill us. <laughs> <sighs> so we got two megs two megs to go. Got this. Two megs to go before the big finale will. Assuming we can find enough people. <laughs> yep. Assuming that we can find another two people who are willing to join us. Like. And not just kill us in the face. <laughs> Welcome! I, God, I wonder if they will perhaps either find the stream or the VOD or something and be like, Oh God, these two are idiots! <laughs> <laughs> Here's a question for you, Will. This is a fidelity over performance question. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm playing this on the Xbox Series X. Oh, nice. And and I could be playing... I'm playing it 4K60 at the moment, but I could be playing it 1080p 120. What would you choose? Ooh. I mean, for me, like, anything above 60 is more of a flex than a necessity. Mm, yeah. Um... And I'm currently playing this on PC, so I, <laughs> I, uh, and we're only streaming at uh, at 720. Well, well, there you go. Uh, so just, I think the answer is, let's just keep it as is. Yeah. Well, the reason <laughs> being, and I know our lovely viewership have heard this a bunch of times. Um, uh, unless you are a partner on Twitch.tv, uh, you're not mm. guaranteed to get the the trans codes that like uh, auto adjust yeah. your your stream. So I try and keep it middle of the way so that people watching on mobile or on shitty connections can still like watch and hang out and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I can't help but know this, Cam. There is a big mm -hmm. island in front of us. And that this it's big island, off. it is, it is exploding fire from above. <laughs> oh, don't and... worry. Oh, sorry, go for it. No, I was going to say, don't worry, we're, we're, we're all good. I'm, I'm an expert when it comes to the Devil's Roar. Plus I've got the turn off volcanoes button at the ready. Oh, yeah, no, just turn those volcanoes right off. <laughs> Abuse those powers. We don't have that power. No, we don't have that power. Um, Wish I did. All right, so apparently Moose is now awake and looking to cause damage. Uh, with, wait, if Zombie Dude has kids, are they the children of corn? <laughs> oh, goodies off! <laughs> goodies in the water port side. Oh, yeah, we should stop them. I'm, I'm going to do the the unthinkable. All right, do the do the forbidden maneuver. Right. I got a cam. Got... Oh, cannibal crate. crate. Nice. There's another one. That's a rare tea for you. The cannibal crate is empty. So, what? Yeah, this is the wreckage. 
Oh, oh, oh. Well, that's got some planks in it, that barrel. Um, let me store my other planks. Uh, Moose was just adding that uh, uh, work has been busy for them, so they haven't been able to bring the punder. Uh, <laughs> so proud of yourself. <laughs> oh, and we got. I got that one. Yeah, it's all good. There's a oh, there's, there's a, a shiny in the water. Yeah. yeah. Why can I not get this? Come on. <gasps> This nice. isn't is our wreckage, is it? We didn't we didn't just come across our own corpse. <laughs> Did we? No, no, we didn't. We never came out to the Devil's Roar. Right, like so. Oh, yeah, I would have remembered the volcanoes exploding. <laughs> got I'm just gonna go deposit some food so I can take more out of that barrel. Mm, banana with the skin on. Fucking just <laughs> like it's a family recipe that one. Uh, there's only one banana left. All right. Okay. Cool. Let me see if I can get the, the gold shiny. Got it in one, can. Nice. It's a fanciful silver cup. Lovely. Door it below. Aye, aye. Uh, currently, we're putting most of our stuff in with the gold hoarders. Because, uh, but my goal is to one day reach Pirate Legend. And I think you need any three factions, right? Yep, any three factions above 50 or at 50. Oh, just this is. I'm sure this has been covered, but just as a personal question, like, so the current legendary pirate content, like, that'll still be there when we get back, right? Uh, yeah, sorry, when so we make the, it. Yeah, yeah. So the the the, well, the stuff that existed for Pirate Legends is in the game forever, and then the new stuff we just added on uh, Thursday, yesterday, um, that's in the game forever now as well. Okay. Uh, right, where are we going? I think it's still just straight east, isn't it? Let's have a look. No, it's southeast. Just keeping the uh, the water Getting... barrel filled. There's two volcanoes going off at the same time here. All right, Thankfully, this is this one's. This is the time for you to flex your sailing skills, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh shit! Oh god! That's fire! Right, okay. Uh... <laughs> that, that's gonna need a lot more water! <laughs> Legends on it. Yeah, alright. Yeah, the sound design in this game is fucking phenomenal. <laughs> Yeah, no, the audio team do, do a great job. Uh, although, John. I do have a bone to pick with... I don't know if this is design or the programming team. Ah! Hang on. Oh, my God. My umbrage will wait. <laughs> Let's just There we go. You were saying well. I was saying... Sorry, stifle a sneeze. Uh, I was saying <laughs> that I have a bone to pick with someone. I don't know who, but someone. Because someone was like, you know what would be a great idea? Do you know what would be fucking brilliant? Is if we allowed users to vomit into a bucket and then throw <sighs> that sick on other people. <laughs> that is truly the content we crave. <laughs> someone needs to answer for their crimes. Yeah, that I, I think that is um, Andrew Preston who came up with that one. Um, who's the lead, one of the lead designers on, on the game. He's he's like a huge fan of all the sort of role playing things. So he he was the one who pushed to have like dice emotes for all the different uh, sided die uh, die and all that. And yeah, he loves all that. Even like, his setting was his idea as well. I mean, joking aside, I think it's fucking brilliant. And like having having a simple set of things that the user can do just as a character, like outside the ship. And then having those actually react is feckin' great. Right, let me actually let me be useful. Usually I'd be like, yeah, we can faff around on the seas, but there's a lot of fire here. 
<laughs> it's a lot of fire. Okay, the island we need is right in front of us now. Yeah, it actually looks like a giant bird dead fish. <laughs> yeah, do you remember when we were fighting Megalodon, Well, Do you remember that? How could I forget? <laughs> um, oh, Captain, we want to be heading uh, around. So we want to be heading port to come round to the. Uh... Oh, to the lower end of it. Yeah. Sure. Yep, yep, yep. Look, sometimes I can be useful. <laughs> it's been known to happen. Ruby's full. All right, we're pulling front all. Nice. Dropping, I... pushing the illegal button. Yeah, pushing the illegal button, please. Uh. Oh! oh! And break turn. That was actually, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> All right, sales, uh, sales aren't quite pulled, Captain. No, nah, let's get that. There we go, and to stop the ship spinning. Let's just straighten this up. There's, there's some says so some angry clams on the uh, the beach cam. <laughs> All right, and let's get the uh, let me get that anchor pulled, just in case we need to fuck off in a hurry. <laughs> I still can't believe it though. The last session we had, uh, people being like, "Wouldn't it be hilarious if the megalodon showed up right now?" Because we did our first vault. Yes, yeah. Those are so fun. I, I really like the gold torter vaults. Uh, vaults. Yeah, they're cool. Oh, oh, fell off. Oh. Uh, hold, hold fire for me, Captain. Uh, I found us a ch another chest of legendary fireworks. Hey. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Getting party on deck. <laughs> right, I'm gonna fire myself out of a cannon. Let's see if I can, if I can land this. You know, I'll be pretty pleased with myself. Unload this. Right. What change? Wait, hang on. Are we? Are we at the right island? I hope I haven't taken us to the wrong one. I don't Northwest. Think so. North. Wait. All oh, right. This end. Okay. All right. I'm gonna say like there. All right. I believe in you, Captain. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, I'm gonna go for a slight up here, adjustment. Up here with our legend friend. Slight adjustment. Yo ho! <laughs> Fucking we! Yeah, there you go. Didn't end up in a volcano. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, he's oh, he's he's just getting on with. Yeah. Fair enough. Can't, okay. Can't blame him. <laughs> oh shit! Treasure found. It's right next to the ship. Is it? Back to the ship. Uh, but I saw a shiny chest of treasure, Captain. My pirate senses. Okay, shiny chest of shiny chest, shiny chest of treasure. I'm not made of stone, Captain. <laughs> I'm quite susceptible to shiny thing. How do I fucking get to it though? Oh, that's bullshit. All right, we'll hold here for you since you're getting treasure. Uh, but please do know that there is a giant megalodon in the water in front of us. You know what? It's, it's going to take some serious tactical jumping and fuckery. Oh, fuck you, spooky skeletons. <laughs> Ashen skeletons have taken exception to my existence. Thank you, Kong. <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you. Oh, and C triple two. A what ho to you, friend? God, I do like that being both a spotter and a, a crack shot is better. It is my only useful function, but I'm good at it. <laughs> it makes me feel because Ems, uh, one of our regulars, uh, has worked out how to like navigate the seas and find treasure like a pro. Uh, yeah. Kyle's on like repairs and cooking and the whole shebang. 
All right. Um, so, Captain, where did you where did you say it was again? Dead ahead. Fuck me, running. <laughs> uh, oh, Finn spotted. Slow and poor. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm gonna bring the seals up ever so slightly. I'm, I'm assuming the legend is about to drop the anchor, though. All right. Yeah. Port side. Port side. Very port side. Oh, Whoa. fuck me! It's right there. Okay. Yeah. Let's get this anchor down. All right. Pushing the illegal button. <laughs> oh, cool. This one's edgy. Black <laughs> and red fucking shark. Ah! <laughs> oh. Right, I'll go down and repair it. I don't know where it went because I closed my eyes. <laughs> it's going back again. <gasps> no! This one's ruthless. I took so much damage there. Alright, I, I don't have eyes on. Oh, starboard side! Okay, we're all patched up. Emptying out the water. All right, starboard going round to port. Yeah, I'm on the front. Come on, where are you? Smile, you son of a bitch. <laughs> it's fucking hiding in the it? waves. Oh, back of the boat, round to starboard. Ah, okay. Oh yeah, I see it. In the words. Oh, give me Oh, here oh. we go. Oh, no. I Shit! Ah! Oh. oh, I'm dead. I'm dead! No! Shame Come back me. to life! <laughs> if I have to go through this, so the fuck do you? <laughs> it's not compassion! Uh, port side, port side! Oh, no. Port side moving around to the front. Yep. Alright. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming starboard. Nice. Oh, God. No. oh balls. Ah! We're not having a good go of this one, Captain. <laughs> oh, we have holes right at the back. Excellent. All right, it's round the front coming to starboard. Why am I fighting the fucking... <laughs> In her teeth, aquarium's fish. Alright, I'm coming back uphill. Oh, no! Where? Zombie's gotta go! No! Oh, we are in so much shit. Uh, and we are still pissing water. Zombie, no. Why? Captain, do you have eyes on? Yeah, off the port right. side. Because we are going to need to patch some holes. Got a hit. Oh, shit. Oh, nicely done, nicely done. All right. All right, I'll go patch us up, Captain. I hate being in the bitey part of the ship. <laughs> Every creep makes me want to pee myself. All right. Good for the oh wait, are we really sinking those rats on the, the top deck? Are we? Oh, we're, we're okay. Yeah, I got us. I got us. Now where is that fuck? Front left. Oh, swim fast. Aye. Ah! Oh! Ah! <laughs> fuck this okay, game! Right I need fruit. Where are you, you big bastard? <laughs> come on, come on. All right, he's going under us. He's at front at the moment, heading to port. Come on, awesome. you son of a bitch. Cool, we're all... Oh, Jesus, we're... Port side, port side! Oh, get fucked! Oh, Just... amazing. Ah! 
Get out, you piece of shit! <laughs> Do you want I'm to do the honours of I'm not extracting going its soul? Well, the fuck I do. <laughs> All right, I'll do it then. I believe in you, Captain. <laughs> Sorry, that was very rude of me. Do you want to get that? The fuck I do. Fuck I do. <laughs> <laughs> Come stare it right in its glowing eyes, well. Or, and here's a suggestion: I could do anything the fuck else. <laughs> it's just, and again, I know it's a, a, a design choice. It's impressive, but it's the fact that I'm getting out of the water. <laughs> I've got the enchanted yeah. effigy. Got you, Captain. Oh, thank you. That was awesome. Ah, gonna be vaguely useful sometimes, Captain. Some siren sirens just popped up there as well. Just to fuck with this. Cheers. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, the waves are getting too much, so I can't really see what's going yeah. on. Yeah. Let, let's let's bail on the loot. We've got we've got what we came for. The soul right, of a, a megalodon. Oh, and a fucking trident. <laughs> hey, how you like me now, fishman? <laughs> oh, you got Eat right. shit. <laughs> Hateful bounty skull. Uh. Right. Okay. One more to go, well. Just one more. Just one more. So we gotta go. We gotta go west. Aye, aye. Go west. Got us uh, a crate of exquisite spices, Captain. Lovely. And a few skulls. I'll, uh, I'll Even pop, better. I'll, I'll pop them in the skull hold. <laughs> um, we have we have a skull hold. Yeah, it's your <laughs> it's your captain's quarters. It's full of skulls. <laughs> um, now, uh, Captain, my Captain, uh, I understand mm. that I invited you onto the show, um, <laughs> and. But this is as much an us catching up as a talking about like working on this and things like that. Because let's be honest, yeah. we've only done a little bit of industry talk. It's mostly just been me screaming. <laughs> um, uh, because it's me solo this evening, I need to go uh, feed dogs. Because yeah, I've got to yeah. make Amos's food up special and things like that. So basically, I'm going to be leaving you with my lot, the long ship. All right. Yeah, um, sure. So to so those of you who have just joined us and are, are watching... Uh, the disembodied voice, uh, if you haven't met him already, uh, is good buddy John, who actually works over at Rare on Sea of Thieves. Um, specifically in the cinematics department, you know, running it. Um, so if you have any questions, thoughts, feels, comments, or just want to chat industry stuff, now is your time. Um, and John, I'll be back with you in just a second, mate. Yeah, no worries. I'll keep my eye on the chat then. It's like it's not eat, like hard enough to sail a ship at the same time. <laughs> yeah, sorry for sorry for putting this on you, good friend. But to be continued. That's all right. That's all right. I'll see you when you get back. Well, chat. It's just it's just me and you now. Just on a lonely voyage together across the seas. Welcome, says Sage Bell. Happy to be here, Sage Bell. Happy to be here. Looking forward to... Uh, do you know, it's funny. Even though I work at Rare, I actually haven't played this adventure yet myself. This is the first time I'm playing through it properly. So we've got one more Megalodon, Megalodon to go. And then we get to summon the Shrouded Ghost. And what a sight that will be. Okay, I'm going to try and get the ship moving a bit quicker here so we can get back to Bell and Merrick. Orzine says, greetings all, hope all well. We're, oh, well, yeah, I'm well. I'm very well. 
although it is now three o'clock in the morning in the UK. So it's quite past my bedtime. We can make it like two or three megadons. <laughs> That is a bit late. You're absolutely right. I should be tucked up in bed right now. But when Will calls, I answer. So, uh, Which way is the wind going here? All right, okay, I need to re-angle these sails. I have the need for speed. What was the name of the island that had the ghost lady? <laughs> uh, so that's Crook's Hollow. You might hear her whispering behind you as you explore. Get speedy, yeah. Gotta go fast. The, the the ghost of yeah, Crook's Hollow. Crook's Hollow. <laughs> well, I'm sure you do have a hollow somewhere. I'll find it. Yeah, the the ghost of Crook's Hollow. Um an elusive uh, creature, but some say, scour the island at midnight, you might catch sight of her. <laughs> right, how are we doing here? Let's have a look at the map. We're going a bit off course. I need to go due west. In fact, I can go a little bit west-northwest. If you all have any questions about the inner workings of Rare or what goes on behind the scenes at sea on Sea of Thieves, I can do my best to answer if you've got any questions. Or any random questions completely unrelated to Sea of Thieves or Rare as well. I'll try my best to answer those as well. My story about so you can see me chatting. <laughs> Fa favorite dish. Uh, I, I saw the, the nuts and bolts question there. Favorite dish. Hmm. It's funny. Um, does it really good? Um, like we've got a Chinatown in, in Birmingham, which is near uh, where I live, and one of my favorite Chinese uh, meals is uh, beef hofan, which is basically stir-fried beef with kind of flat noodles. Really, really tasty. Favorite Sea of Thieves shopkeeper? Um, well, I do, I think I do the voice for, it's one of the, it's the gold hoarder on one of the, the wilds outposts. I can't remember which, what his name is, but that guy. And Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, why? You know, there's some parts to Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts that were a little bit ahead of their time. And I know it's not everyone's favorite Banjo game, but I still liked it. 
It's really prey as well. What ho, friendos, says Caffeine. Hello, my friend. You've joined us at the point where Will is off to feed his dogs. So you're stuck with my disembodied voice for the time being. We are on the hunt for Megalodons. We're heading, we've captured the soul of another Megalodon. We're taking it back to continue our adventures. What's the process for making one of the cinematic trailers? Um, so we work with an external partner. Um, we do have a video team at Rare, obviously, but we actually work with an external partner to do most of the cinematic stuff that we um, release. So we work with a studio called Real Time, um, who are based in the UK. And it's basically, you know, we'll send them a script. We'll send them the characters. I mean, it's all that's the thing. It's all done still within the engine, so it's just all rendered within Unreal Engine. Um, but it's their animators. Um, but it's it's actually you know there's a lot of stages to it. We have to record the voice actors, and so usually it'll be myself and the creative director Mike Chapman who are in those VO sessions directing them. Um, once you get that, obviously that informs the performance for the animators. Um, We'll do the edit of the cinematics at Rare, um, and then obviously our in-house composers Robin and Chloe will do the music, and then our in-house audio team run by John Vincent, they'll do all the sound effects for the trailers as well. So yeah, big team effort for every single trailer. Am I going the wrong way? Hang on, let me check this. Oh, I'm way off course. Oh, jeez. Right, gotta go directly north. Yeah, I've been working at Rare now for seven years. Joined just before um, Sea of Thieves was revealed for the first time. Oh, what's this? What is your favorite alcoholic beverage? Um, I know it's a bit, maybe a bit sort of annoying, like people who order this are like, you're like, it's a bit, a bit hipster, but the, an old-fashioned is my favorite drink. As long as it's sweet, like they put enough, um, a little bit of sugar in there. But yeah, an old-fashioned. Yeah, been working at Rare for seven years. Joined just before the E3 2015 reveal, and that was the first thing that I worked on, um, which was awesome. And then we've you know, been doing Sea of Thieves ever since, amongst other things. An old fashioned is a really good drink. Um, I, I don't know, I, it just sits well. I, I can't drink. Um, oh. <laughs> Will has. Oh no, I was oh, just too late. You were just too late. You were. You were oh. Fuck. Don't worry, you can rejoin session easy enough. Okay. It won't uh, discount us from. Uh, dude, and thank you for chatting with these lovely Mother Hubbards. No, no, it's all good. Um, my, it's a pleasure. My friend who's staying over is, uh, I was hanging out this afternoon, is not only looking after Dags, but is also taking them out, so. Ah. Uh. Yep. Uh, now, Deus says they've just finished, so we might get an extra gun. Now, if, oh. we, if we jump out of the session altogether... We would lose our progress because we wouldn't be guaranteed to come back onto the same server. Okay. Um, But, you know, you can invite another. We've, we've got room for three on this crew, so... So it's play, and it is... 
Uh, so play, adventure. <laughs> now I need to join up a friend. Well, no, so Deus, we've got uh, room for one more. It was just, it was one of those like speed ones. Uh, so uh, <laughs> we have two people now. We've gone from not enough people to too many people. Uh, as Nessa <laughs> has also volunteered to jump in and join us. So uh. now, how do I do this? I think I go to the Xbox and then join off of you, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Profile. My friends. Uh... Wait, why does it say we're not friends? That's bullshit. Nonsense. <laughs> you unfriended me, Will. Or, or do you have to do you have to super friend me or something? Oh, hang sorry. on, let me check. Yeah, hang on. Uh, well, wait a second. Have you added me on, on Xbox? You must have done. Yeah, because you... Wait! Because it's saying that... It's like, it's saying Deus has joined me, but then it's not saying... Deus JC. There we go. Add friend. Okay. Um, and then I've still got yours from conversation and nonsense. Uh, so, you know, uh, Nessa has very kindly um, uh, given the seat to Deus. Nessa, that's real kind of you. Thank you. Um, so now I'm just playing uh, sort the thing whack-a-mole while we make it happen. <laughs> okay. So it's on here. So like friends. There we go. Uh, are you? Uh, uh, are you set to like invisible online? Because it says Ooh, to me, me you're Ooh. offline. Let me just double check that. Yep. Let me just check. E no check now. Or give it a second and then check again. Yeah, the new system I I've I, I felt like a very old dude trying to learn how to do this. <laughs> there we go. So now Sailing on the Sea of Thieves. Come on, let me join game. Shenanigans! <laughs> Shenanigans! <laughs> no, I don't want to exit to desktop. The fact that I was just two seconds too late. Why am I late? I know. Because uh, then once I get you in, then I can invite uh, Deus in from there. Mm -hmm. Sorry, once I join you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so sailing on the Sea of Thieves. Yes, I know I have Sea of Thieves installed. Thank you. <laughs> right to party. Party, party, party. We're going to the party. Uh, <laughs> what? It, maybe your crew settings? Maybe you've got to invite me in. Okay. Um, hang on. Uh, and Ness, we shall have fun with the Megs, and by which I mean fuck those things. But also, Ness, I'd love for you to join us in the future as a as a guest pirateer. All right, I've sent you a game invite. Okay. There we go. Play here. Joining a game? Do you want to continue? Fuck yes, I do. <laughs> Uh, Deus says they've discovered the banjo in this game and have the inclination to learn them all. Yeah, <laughs> gonna be a lot of that. Oh. That's another really cool thing. Every instrument when you're playing the shanties, that's someone in the rare audio team playing that instrument for real. Uh, okay, that's feckin' cool. So it's not just like one of the audio team just using like the effects of it's actually the the because i only found out that the hurdy-gurdy is real recently that's a new thing yeah captain my captain sorry about the fuckery oh. yeah about time 
and then... Oh, Jason, I had to mute the actual stream. <laughs> Double Will is not... It's not... Doesn't make for a good time. No one's ready for that. <laughs> and in but a moment, here we go. Uh, Deus will be joining us. So, uh, John, Deus, Deus, John. Um, the gentleman who Hello. just joined us is responsible for making me look much cooler than I really am through the medium of <laughs> video. <laughs> the other one creates is a part of creating the game that makes you look so cool. Yeah. Oh, and I got <laughs> in and look at that. Like goodies off the starboard already. Not We're gonna one. need those resources, well. Oh no! Oh no, Captain! I'm sorry. Uh, Deus, how are you doing, mate? Thank you for coming to join us. Doing all right. Uh, enjoying the fact that it's just begun the weekend. So, ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. The weekend. Oh, <laughs> there were seagulls, but there was no goodies. That's weird. Perhaps there could be something below the waves. Well. You know what? And there may be, and yet we'll never know, because fuck <laughs> going down there. <laughs> oh, and we're just into right, it as well. Get... Yeah, let's get this front sail up, Will. All right, pull in front, so! Oh, uh, hang on. I, I, there's a request has been made. Yeah? A request has been made. Ladies and gentlemen, the weekend, two bells! <laughs> two bells. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this effigy onto this fucking table. All right, using the forbidden anchor. <laughs> oh, got to straighten the ship out, Captain. All right. There we go. Three out of four done. All right, let's pick up the cannibals, and we've got to do Fine. one more fucking meg. Yeah, um, there are loads of cannonballs back on this on the on the killer whale here um, that we can we nab for our ship. Aye aye, Captain. We're doing absolutely and... nothing. I've just hit level three. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing about as well as me. I was I was saying to Will earlier, like I play this game so much at work that I actually I haven't put that many hours into the proper retail. Like so. I'm not that. I'm really not that experienced in the in the wild, as it were. So do you? Well, you can't be as bad as me because I literally just bought this and downloaded it <laughs> did 20 you, minutes ago. Did you not acquire it from Xbox Game Pass? The the monthly I, subscription fee. <laughs> I wish I had done that. I apparently bought the Xbox version, which doesn't allow me to play on PC, and then tried to play it on PC, which was didn't work. And managed oh. to wrangle myself up a Game Pass, like, three-month... Even though I've already used, like, two, three-month trials already, I've managed to wrangle up another one. They're, they're <laughs> very generous. <laughs> but... So, yes, that's... I'm using what should be an Xbox game as a PC. It's... I don't understand the system. <laughs> I find it best not to question these things. Um... All I know is it worked, and I'm here. <laughs> Oh, uh, nice. Fred, uh, those aren't gunpowder barrels. Those are barrels full of, like, just shot and munition, uh, which we're just currently um, uh, helping ourselves to. I think we got the most of it. And then... Oh, yeah, here's the storage crate, so I can steal all the uh, the fruit and food. And yeah, then... nice. So, was, is, is the edgy shark the most difficult, or is the pink shark the most difficult? <laughs> so... The, the the well in this adventure they're all pretty much the same but there is another shark the shark that we're trying to summon summon that'll be a little more difficult uh, well on the plus side no one's going hungry on this journey <laughs> right i'll kick off the next one the crested queen aye aye um We've got we've we got food to put. Oh. Summoning the shrouded ghost is no easy task. You must find and kill four megalodons. Believe me, bells. We fucking know. <laughs> God, that last megalodon nearly wrecked us eight ways from Sunday. <laughs> it was a point where you were like, "Hey, the rats seem to be on the main deck." I'm like, "Oh yeah. no." <laughs> Because I don't know what it is like if you go under the water with a Meg, and I hope to never the fuck find out. <laughs> it's 
So we've got a new map. We've got a new effigy to trap the soul of this Megalodon. So Will, you're saying for uh, your birthday, you don't want a dunk tank with a shark? Absolutely <laughs> the fuck not! Also, that's how you get banned from the aquarium! Just, we're just boring. It's only happened twice, and by now I've grown out a new beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So the... Alright. Uh, food and cannons on board. Yeah, food and cannibals are on board, Captain. Lovely. Um, I'm going to show you this map, Will. All right, let's play another round. Who's that <laughs> Pokemon? <laughs> it's Pikachu! <laughs> so, That's more like Jirachi? <laughs> it's good pencils, this one. Ugh. Sorry, Sage Bell was saying that they were playing uh, gang based at uh, PDX LAN. And in one of the stages, a shark literally jumped out of the water and grabbed one person. <laughs> Alright. Let's have a look for that weird shape. So that's in the wilds, well. Oh, the wilds, which is. Uh... Oh, Bottom there we right. go. Marauder's oh. Arch. There you go. Oh, actually, let's see. There we go. Welcome to Marauder's Arch. Uh, and that is north northeast of our current uh, position. Lovely. Raising the anchor. All right, raising the anchor! The forbidden button. <laughs> One of the few rules we have on board uh, Deus is anchors are illegal. Anchors are illegal. Two bells. Two bells. <laughs> I'm actually going to turn out the uh, the lights of We Got Murdered because I don't want to invite mm. yes. more death. All right. Oh, let me give you oh. the let me give you the gentleman's tuck there, Captain. Thank you. And let's drop frontal. Whoa. Uh, Did you say northeast? Well. Yeah. Uh, North, northeast. Okay. Cool, cool. Oh, I'll. That's directly through the storm, so I'll go around the edge of the storm. Aye, aye, Captain. Why is there a trident on our deck? Uh, we got one from killing things. <laughs> Think of it like a, like a walking stick, and a cannon had an unfortunate love child. <laughs> a rickety. Nobuled child. <laughs> Nobuled. Sorry. Nobuled. <laughs> Probably. Phyllis was like, wait, wait, isn't that like a Baba Yaga thing? Uh, yeah, it's nobbly bubbly. It's nobuled. <laughs> We're all learning new words today. You know what? If we stay right out of the storm, we're still getting a... It's very bouncy yeah. out there. Yeah, I'm going to pick us up a bit more. Uh, and our... Our other mission today... Oh, oh, oh fuck me. Uh, aside from killing the Megs, uh, is definitely get Deus suitable attire. I can't remember in a storm... I remember that there's always a certain amount of water below decks, but I can't remember if it keeps... Stack him. You could you could sink in a storm, yeah, just from rain. Fucking we. Um, although Catfish is saying that Deus's avatar is thirst-inducing. Um, <laughs> congratulations, Deus! You've got your your first Sea of Thieves fan. I appreciate it, Catfish. Looking style in there. <laughs> I mean, I'm just pre-dressed for swimming around in the water. And I'm entirely okay with that, because I have no intention of going into the water. What do you want to say my odds are with a Meg with a flintlock pistol in the water? Um, <laughs> I, think, I think we should put that to the crowd, like, friends. Deus with no shirt on and a pistol versus the Megalodon. I think you take him. I think the the Meg might just die out of respect. Yeah. 
I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I'm just going to expire now. I apologies <laughs> if I offended you. God, I hear something out there in the waves. I've also not resummoned my dog, not because I don't want to hang out with it, obviously, but because it's... The sad noises are hard enough to deal with, but sad noise yeah. plus shark... <laughs> Fred, no. Sorry, Fred was saying, just circling back to our earlier conversation, which I believe you joined for a little spot of, about is it legal for me to start a GoFundMe page to kill the sun? Um, <laughs> uh, Fred was saying that if you want a thirst-inducing character, you need an anthropomorphized version of the sun, and I'm like, no. That's a hateful creature. <laughs> What did the sun ever do to you, Ella? Eh? I have a list. <laughs> um, but no, so the thing I was uh, chatting on while we were coming back was, so you've got the work server, obviously. Do you get mm. competitive on the work server at all? Like, not you personally, uh, but does does that happen? N no, not really, because it's like I said, we just have so many debug controls that it just it, it's just like you're like so right now. What I would be doing right now is either just teleporting to the place, or there's, we've got a debug control called Super Sailor, where this just the, the speed of the boat increases like 20 times and it drives like a tank. You're just using it on the two uh, thumbsticks. Or you can fly with Superman. Um, so it, all of that just goes out the window and you're like, yep, 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 and you're just dotting around. All right. um, um, so, Captain, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, mm. I think I spotted a, a sloop uh, northeast oh. east of us. It's on the other side of that big fuck off tooth island. Oh. Okay. So it, it it would be if it was waiting for us, it'll be on our starboard as we go to as we go to come round this. Does it have any identifying mark as well? No, I saw I just saw the shape of it as it was trundling out of sight. So, okay, okay. Well, if ideal would be if we can go around the, I guess the left side of this little group here, that yeah. would at least give us enough time to catch the wind and fuck off if they're very good at murdering. <laughs> I'm not saying that we're not good at being on the high seas, Captain. I'm saying I don't fancy our chances. You know, it, it's the, the session started so well. We we met our legend friend. He was immediately friendly. Yeah. That the first person we met just wanted to join us and have some fun. Everyone after that, murder time. Like. Yep. Oh no! Someone spoiled my plans to murder you both. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lizzie would like to point out uh, a development failure on your team's behalf. It is. Oh, no, we're good. Uh, it's a skeletal sloop. We're good. Ah, right, nice. Um, but no, Lizzie would like to point out the fact that the system you were discussing, the, the flight system, isn't called Super Sailor Moon, is an oversight, and <laughs> should be corrected. Um, that might be... Okay, are they on the map? That might be a Reaper sloop off in the distance. Oh. I want to check the map real quick. Oh, God. Uh, nothing's nothing's on the map, Captain. Oh, good then. Mate, are you flexing by actually playing an instrument? I've been yeah. playing this entire time. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> but since it's electric and not acoustic, you guys just can't hear it. Ah. All right, the skeletal sloop doesn't seem to be giving too much of a fuck, mm -hmm. but we are we are sailing towards the other vessel. Uh, are we still? Wait, are we safe? heading? There? Oh, we need to go north. We need to go north. North, north, north. Okay. Go around this island. Aye, aye, Captain. Yeah. So the ship in question is due east. We'll be avoiding them now, but yeah, we're all good. 
I like this. Being the, being the spot is a job I'm good at. Weirdly. You're doing a grand job, well, a grand job. Look, I've, I've got yeah, one... Yeah, and it's a straight shot north from here. Nice. Maybe a little bit of adjustment to the uh, east. Look it up. Minor adjustments. I've made it significantly slower. I'm sorry, my cat. <laughs> oh, and Clank, the sunsets in this game are utterly gorgeous. Yeah. Whenever so we're doing... Sorry, you go. No, please. I was going to say, whenever we're doing any capture um, of trailers, we usually do try and grab stuff at the golden hour. Now... The golden hour is different to the sexing ghosts hour, though, right? <laughs> those, yeah. are, those are two different. Okay, cool. Just, just making sure. Now I'm still <laughs> learning this game, so there's a lot of the the nuances and language <laughs> I still have to get. All right, so that's a fortress. Oh, actually, I think I see something on the horizon. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna get up to the crow's nest to see if I can make it out. Uh, Catfish Water Dancer asks, what if what appears to be an island is actually a Megalodon fin? Um, then once again, I need to ask the eternal question, how do I unpiss my jeans? <laughs> um, it's another brig way off on the distance, like right on the horizon. Uh, west, northwest of our position. Okay. Uh, they at least... For so far as I can see, Captain, they don't seem to have any intention of coming at us. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'll take that back. They have angled towards us. Interesting. I'm going to keep an eye on them from up here, Captain. Uh, I take it this island up ahead is what we're aiming for, right? That's the one. Uh, there appear to be a couple of, I guess, fortress towers on the yeah. uh, the starboard side, or whatever you call an island. Yeah, we we should be okay. We it's at the the point the pointy bit like closest to us basically is where we need to go. Aye aye. Pointy bit two bells. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're coming in pretty hot here. Let's uh, get the sails up. Aye aye, Cam. Deus, you get the front sail. I'll get the back sail. Oh, you're way ahead of me. We got this, we got this. Aye, aye. Uh, oh. It's a beautiful thing. There is. Oh, uh, complete sag, or? Yeah, let's get it all the way. Okay. Oh, uh, oh Cam, they are making loads a... of barrels. Yeah, and that ship is making a beeline for us. Oh, um. Captain, suggest suggest we bring up sails proper, uh, mm -hmm. and do another lap of the island. Yeah, I agree. oh god, yeah, see them. Hang on, let's have a look at their sails. Uh, Fireworks sails, Captain. Very pretty. Okay, okay. Wait, what? What have they got up on the the top? Have they got the friendship flag up? Hang on, Captain. We're the taking fire flag. from the uh, the island. It's a skeleton, and he's got a fucking measure. Shall we return fire? Uh, oh, fuck you, skeleton. All right, okay. They, they've got down. an emissary up. What have they got? Gold torter? No, Merchant Alliance. Don't you dare fire at us. We're not going to hurt you. Merchant oh, Incoming! Yeah. The loot. Oh god, right, okay, yep. Let's fail. Yep. Tails down. Nice, thank you. Alright guys, try and get a few shots on here. Oh, we are fucked. Alright, are oh, they on the ship? Oh, oh god. Shit. Oh, I'm dead. 
Shit. <laughs> Violence. Oh, I didn't grab fire bombs. Why am I like this? <laughs> Why am I like this? All they got from us was a staff, the cockwombles. <laughs> They got a lucky shot off on me because it hit directly where I was. I got to watch that in real time. I doubt... We should, um, we should spawn the Megalodon now. And it may attack their ship as well. Yeah, if we can, like, don't fight and make it to the island if you can. Yeah. I won't, because... <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, here's a cute trick. If you take out your lantern and raise it to here... The light is how you died. Oh. Yeah, and then you can use that to light the stuff around you. Are you joking? They actually sunk the ship that quickly? Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, I guess we'll find out how far away we were. Thing was... We are, we are pretty much on the opposite side of the map. Oh, no! <laughs> um, they've been basically camping that spot. Because what I saw was a shit ton of barrels in the water, but there was also explody mm. barrels, which they yeah. those don't tend to spawn, right? You can spawn, um, but hmm, odd. Yep. Those little fucking cockwombles. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. It is a straight as, sail to the east. As as John quietly makes some notes, be like, all right, remember them. <laughs> remember the vengeance. By the time we catch up with... Oh, that was a very friendly shark. They're, they're exceedingly friendly in this. Definitely taking me five minutes. All right. He says, having killed three of their largest uh, competitors. <laughs> Gotta let them know who's in charge. Fuck you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Suck shit, you fucking shark. Sorry, I'm not even drinking tonight. This is just my my general fear of, of sharks. Yes, hello, my boy. Uh you don't want them cannons. You don't get pills or booze. Or booze. The dog doesn't get booze. Just so you know, I do not feed the dog alcohol. <laughs> cool little place to set sail from. Yeah, this is nice. This is like a, the romantic spot. Yeah. And see of these. Right. It's called it's called Smuggler's Bay. I think we did a T-shirt where it was B A E. I was going to say, the the romanticism is really about what you're smuggling. <laughs> Forgot to note this. First death, two bells! Two, first death, two bells! First death, two bells! <laughs> Will, are you sure you're not drinking? Oh, God. I'm seriously considering it. <laughs> I, I don't have the money to do so, so I think that's the safety of it. Not because I can afford a box of wine, but I can't afford to go puff a box of wine. But having that ability of just being able to go, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, bring me wine. And the internet goes, yes. And then wine arrives. That is a dangerous <laughs> superpower. Because, um, I don't know, where's Rare based again? I've completely forgotten. So we're in the in West Midlands. Uh, there's a little village called Twy Cross. So it's just it's, it's about half an hour away from Birmingham. Okay, that's not awful. Uh, Captain, do we want a dinghy? Or do we just want to try and make it as quick as we can? I think well, let's just get there as quick as we can. All right. I, mean, I, 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 was about to say, I was about to say I want vengeance, but I don't think we're going to get that. <laughs> we were not ready. But if we see him there again, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll just, like, full sail, make him chase us. Mm-hmm. Because they're one of those crews I doubt we'll be able to beat them, like, cannon shot for cannon shot, because they were on yeah. us. Yeah. But we could make their life more difficult. Maybe set them <laughs> on fire a little bit. Yeah. I, and I, if we summon the Meg, if we can manage to do that, get that into the mix. Use oh. them as bait. 
Yeah. Like, Captain McCatton, that's not a bad shell. Like, if we can get close enough to the aisle, I'll bug out. Bring the bag, bring the thunder. If you look over to your left, you'll see Davy Jones's Coral Fortress. Ah, that's where he's been hanging out. Yeah. Oh, he's look just at chilling me. in there. My name's Davy Jones, and I can afford me own feckin' Coral Fortress because I've got a fancy locker. Bastard. <laughs> oh, it gives me a Coral Fortress. <laughs> I see, I told the longship this story multiple times, but now I get to tell you, John. So, mm. at GDC this year, I actually experienced. I didn't acquire it, but I, I, I observed true cursed gold. Oh. So there was this big, like, bullshit cryptocurrency NFT stand. <laughs> One of those, like, right. it's like a super expensive booth that says literally nothing. You know, yeah. it, it is in itself just a great big marketing asset. And I head on over, because I'm kind of curious as to what the heck this is, because they had flashy, like, pre-made CGI trailers for games that don't and will never exist. That kind of thing. Yeah. So I'm having a look. And in the middle... I don't want to try to do that. Uh, in the middle of this huge open booth with this massive, like, starship-sized window view screen, <laughs> it's like a little like a set of benches. And on the back of them are these, like, really high-quality black boxes. And within each one is this gold inlay design and a fake Bitcoin. Like a shiny gold physical oh God. coin. Yeah. Weird thing is, it was a D and not a B, but that's another story. <laughs> so we're looking at. This, I'm looking at this thing, and I'm like, well, that's. Wh why would it just be there with no one, like no one there to like pitch or sell anything to me or what have you? Like, yeah. there wasn't a queue. You didn't have to like take a business meeting from someone. They were just there, like help yourself. And it was in that Ooh. moment I realized that I was looking at literal cursed gold. <laughs> <laughs> like, to take one would be to, to have my soul snapped up by some weird crypto businessman or something like that. I don't know. And the thing was, I didn't take it. I didn't take it because, you know what, I'm smart, right? I mean, I'm a smart guy. Sometimes. Occasionally. I'm known to be smart. But then I started telling people about it. And then I started thinking about it, and I realized that that's how the cursed gold gets you. It's just because it's there. There's no yeah. magical force that makes you reach down and take that cursed coin. It's just you get thinking about it. It's shiny. It's shiny and it's there. <laughs> no one's stopping you. <laughs> you went goblin mode, Nobody, Will. going to know. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I missed some of the shenanigans that these mother hubbards have been chatting about. Uh, Lizzie wanted to mention Kyle's favourite island, which I don't think I sent you the video of it, but is unfortunately... <sighs> do you know, do you know Rum Runner Island? Rum Runner Island, yes, yeah, yeah. Um, that, that was redubbed. <laughs> redubbed on one adventure to Cum Runner Isle. <laughs> that, let me tell you, that adventure was... <laughs> That's a, that's a very different business like, it is. to be involved in. Like. Potentially just as lucrative, but that that one definitely happened. Uh, because then uh, Catfish was saying that um, the uh, the Romantic Isle, or uh, 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 the Bay Isle... Smuggler's Bay. We, Smuggler's Bay uh, is just south of Come Hither. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get wet, but... Oh my god! I tried to say it's going to get better before it gets worse, and I didn't say that. I said wetter, and now I have to... <laughs> it's going to get better, and it's going to get wetter. Now I have to close down <laughs> Twitch forever. It's been a good night. Uh, thank you all for hanging out. <laughs> uh, right. Is that ship still there? Well, can you see? Um, are we coming up on the aisle? It's, it's dead ahead of us. Look. Um... I'm hoping they've just fucked off, personally. Uh, no, Captain. They're still, they're still out there. I don't know if they've uh. seen us. 
I mean, I dropped lights. Oh, but we've got fucking Falgor being like. Yeah, hey, we've, got, we've got big glowy figurehead. Um, hey, what's up, kids? <laughs> Are the ones just in the arch? Or are they sat in the arch? No. Well, I mean, wait, is that them or is that? No, that's the back of a cannon tower. All right. <clears throat> no, they're out. Currently, they're out due to our north, from here. All right. So, Captain, let's go with the mm. idea. I've got the flare. Yep. Just give me a nice close flyby. I'll load myself yep, yep. into a cannon. So bring my starboard is right side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll bring it up around. So if you, Captain, if you can put the starboard side. Although... So if you fire at the port side cannons, well, because you're going up to that pointy bit there on our, that's on our left now. Oh, okay. Uh, I believe in you. Fuck. This sucks. <laughs> Oh, oh wow. not quite. All right, Captain. You, you do the thing. I'll get up there. <laughs> oh, I've got a fucking journey, don't I? There isn't like a cheeky <laughs> shortcut up there, is there? No. There's no. not. You're gonna have to go from the other side and run around the, oh, the kind of curve of the island. Look. And the snakes are already yelling at me. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Just feel us in the other room. Colonel, that ninja was Grey Fox. Not that kind <laughs> of snake. Um, so I hear cannon fire in the distance. So they might be engaged in a different fight. Uh, yeah, no, I think I see two. I see at oh, least one. The fight, I think they're maybe taking pot shots at that scaly ship. Oh, yeah. Okay, so they're fighting the skeletons. That's good, that's good. All right, you'll be able to, to see my, my my purple lantern. Yeah, they're shooting skellies. All right, I'll bring us around to the point where the, the Meg's going to spawn. Hi, right, Captain. You want to have up to Crow's Nest? Try and keep an eye on them. Thankfully, their lust for murder has gotten the attention of the skellies. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna light the beacon because fuck it, why not? Uh, looks like they might be circling around. Oh, looks like they've just sank a ship. So, oh, no, nope. really? Uh, so they might have got the. Oh yeah, you're not kidding. This thing is right at the the end, Captain. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I doubted you as you work on this game. <laughs> yeah, no, but <laughs> it really looks like they're making a round, so they're probably coming for us. Uh, in short that. order. They're on our six. Give or take. Okay. Oh, fuck you, ghost. <laughs> Alright, I've just gotta I've just gotta bust in makes me feel good a little bit. It's one level down, well, like one like if you look once yeah, you kill that. Alright. They're about to come round. Oh, I'm in shit. Oh god, yeah, they're right bang it, right, okay. Well, the sooner you can summon that Megalodon, the better. Uh, Ashen Guardian has arrived. <laughs> oh, God. On the plus side, he's desperately trying to quaff a banana and failing. So, <laughs> I'll take it. I'm up to closer five, four o'clock. All right, so you said I had to be one bit down. All right, yeah. I Captain, I see it. They're not following too closely, which gives me a little bit of hope, but... Yeah. Oh, they they're definitely up. just trailing. Fuck on you guys. <laughs> uh... They definitely didn't see Will go onto the aisle, that's for sure. Okay, here we go. Quest. Load Meg Signal Flare. It's going to come out right in front of them, which will be kind of cool. Yo ho, fuckos! <laughs> <laughs> They're making their approach. Oh, they are yeah. booking oh, it towards you. Up fast. Just yeah, they're going really fast. All right, El Bastado has been summoned. Oh, cool! I can see its face, and I hate it. Oh, cool! <laughs> there it is, looking like the worst fucking idea at sea. I'm just gonna... 
All right, they they popping shots at you lot already, right? Yeah, they're right up behind us. But keep on coming round, cause Big Pink's ready to fight. <laughs> All right, excuse me. Do you know where I can find a fucking mermaid? Sorry, merman. <laughs> Where do I get ammo? Um, go, if you go downstairs, there next to the like where you can change your weapons, there's a little uh, crate there to refill. And the plus, oh yeah, any chest? I don't know where I can get. Uh, down by the cutlass. It's the one with like a like a bunch of pebbles on the box. That didn't help at all, did it? <laughs> Same relation to the cage. Loki, Loki, don't watch. We've we've got we've got a double raid in of Loki and Shady Doctor. Uh, so to those of you who just joined us, what ho and welcome. Those fuckers in that boat are trying to kill us, but out there is a fuck off megalodon, which is also trying to kill us. Yes, did you find the ammo crate? I did not. Um, and I'm assuming we just got hit by the fucking megalodon. Yeah, yeah, we did. I'll repair. Oh, for fuck's sake. And they're taking pot shots out of... Well, I've been left oh, out for I'm not dead. But I think our ship is... Uh... Yeah, I'm trying my best to keep it afloat. Uh, I, I just need a mermaid. Where the fuck are you? All I could do is watch from back here. Oh, the, the Meg is going after them. Yes. All right, so the plan is working. Out of these fires. Oh god. Alright, I found a moment. Fire. We have. Oh, they're on board! Fuck off! Oh, he got me. He got me. Alright, I'm coming. Well, the ship's awash. Literally and figuratively. Is it? Oh, you weren't kidding. Well, I killed one of them. Nice. Uh, <laughs> at very least. So I'm just gonna not pay attention and just drift off. Okay. So to those of you who just joined us, what oh and welcome. Uh, I'm Will, it's lovely to meet your acquaintance. Uh, the disembodied voices you hear is my good friend, uh, Deus Jay-Z. Hello. Uh, and uh, John, who actually works on this game, who is a very good friend from a, what feels like a thousand years ago. <laughs> Ahoy. Um, uh, John heads up the cinematics team over at Rare. Oh. So yeah. God damn it. <laughs> ah! Look, I've said it once, I'll say it again. Shipping up to Boston does sound like a... <laughs> uh, the answer is yes, that is absolutely... Uh, that is absolutely a shark behind me. Oh. Hey, so, um, as I, I need to, uh, to, to give our, my youngest dog his, uh, his meds in just a second, uh, let's take a, a beat and a breather. Deus, if you want to get some clothes, have a look around... Live a little. Yeah, clothes seem like an appropriate idea. Um, to all of you who are throwing follows, thank you kindly. Um, my name's Will. Uh, I used to work in the games industry. Uh, in fact, I know John from when we used to both work at the Creative Assembly uh, before he went over to Rare. And I stream for a living, so follows and hangouts uh, literally make my job better, so thank you. <laughs> Um, usually I'd be down for chatting your ear off all about video game flavoured nonsense. Um, but at this particular moment, uh, we were getting wrecked by the biggest shark available and some player hunters. Uh, but I did get a commendation for slaying an emissary, so I'll take that. Nice. Yeah, today is shark fear. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna fly the Battletoads flag. Yeah. Sounds good. Um... Now, to those of you who have joined us, so like Yasin, uh, Shady Doctor, all of you, 
I hope you're having yourself an, a wonderful evening. Sorry, Loki and Shady, how was your stream? What were you up to? Tell me your tales. Lily Flowers, hello. Hillian, good evening. God, a lot happened all at once there, friends. <laughs> Because I'm like, if you go back and have a look at the uh, the video, I can see you, the two ships exchanging cannon fire, and then the Meg kind of like zigzagging between. But the mermaid was on the other side of the island. <laughs> <laughs> numbers is like wow, the utter disrespect. Hey, right, numbers, thank you for the bits, friend. As we fire. Don't mind me. I'm just there. Uh, I'm just sailing off. Just, but... just. Sailing off into the great beyond. <laughs> but yeah, don't feel like you need to rush to get back. We've got a bit of a sail, so you can just get a mermaid once you're ready. Okay, I will do. I will do. So, Deus, uh, John, do you mind if I leave you with these lovely people again? Sure. Um, Absolutely. To those of you who have just joined us, I apologise for, for nipping out immediately, but I need to give Amos' meds because our dog has problems. The kind he gets drugs for. And that's okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, I leave you with these lovely viewers. I'll be back in just a sec. Hey, Doc. We have a bit of a sail ahead of it. This is it's so frustrating because this is the last one we need to get. Although that ship has now moved off. They've put their Reaper's flag up and they are heading south away from that island now. Well, that's good. Yeah, so... If that's open, if we're able to get in there and get that Meg. So I'll take us, I'll head there. I mean, it's a long sail. We're, we're so far away. I'm wondering what pants to wear. Ones that show off my enormous thighs. <laughs> ones that are a little bit more stylish. <laughs> I want to see the enormous thighs, Deus. You can, but that's on my only fans. <laughs> so when it comes to uh, when it comes to being the head of cinematics, are you personally involved in the mocap or are you more or less coordinating like the entire team when it comes to editing, scripting? Yeah, so, um, so yeah, running the video team. So basically when it comes to the cinematic trailers, we have, I'll usually do, I'll usually write the script um, based on a sort of brief from the creative director and We've got another writer, I am Chris Alcock, who's done a lot of the work on the lore of Sea of Thieves. He's written two novels um, from the like the expanded Sea of Thieves universe, um, and then we'll take that, turn it into a little sort of script for like because they're fairly short cinematics; they're only about two minutes maximum. Um, and then usually, again, creative director Mike and myself will do. We'll direct the VO sessions with the actors um, who are at an external agency. Um, but yeah, when it comes to stuff like animation, we work with a, another partner um, in the UK called Real Time, and they do all of the animation and they'll they take our models and they take our environments and they're still doing it in Unreal. Um, it's just they're they're adding some extra spit and polish to it. Um, yeah. And then it's just a, it's like it's a long sort of process like that. We probably start a trailer. Well, we've just started a trailer now that will be out in... Six months. The, well, it, thankfully not as far as that, but it'll be out in the, at the end of July. So the, okay. the turnaround's not too bad. Yeah, I'd say yeah. that's uh, that's to be expected, just going down the line of production. Yeah, exactly. Um. But yeah, no, it's it, it's quite intense at the moment in the sense that we're doing one of these cinematic trailers a month on top of all of the usual stuff that we normally do for our other channels. Um, and it's we're not a big team. Like, the video team at Rare is only four people. Um, so it's, like, you know, we have, to, we have to be kind of 
everyone has to have a bit of quite a, a bit of cross discipline skills going on. Um, but it's cool. It's, it's again, like I was saying to Will earlier, like it's I feel so privileged to get to work on stuff like that. Um, it's always so fun as well. And it's yeah. been cool as well because, like, while I've been there for seven years and the majority of my time has been on Sea of Thieves, we have, you know, touched a few other things. We obviously released um, Battletoads um, two years ago now um, with the Lala Studios. The, we did stuff with the, the kind of cinematics there and the, like, the different marketing trailers for that. So that was fun. Hmm. Um, and obviously we've got another game in the works at Rare as well, a game called Everwild. Um, so there'll be more to see on that eventually as well. I've personally not heard of it, but I'm definitely going to be looking it up. <laughs> and uh, according to Hookshot, uh, the team at Rare is actually bigger than his studio. So it's an interesting one. Like Again, relatively, when you compare us to other Xbox game studios, we're not we're not massive, um, but like if we if we, like if you were comparing us to something like three four three or the Coalition or somebody like that, like they are significantly um, bigger than than Rare. Um, but yeah, it's we're we're kind of slowly building up. There are more people at Rare now than there like there have been um, certainly since I joined. Um, and yeah, it's it's honestly, if you ever get a chance to look at what the actual studio is like, like the location, I, again, I feel incredibly privileged to be able to work um, somewhere like that. Oh yeah, they were. We just recently, um, they're doing a lot to the, um, the kind of facilities at the studio at the moment. So we're <laughs> we've got we're out in the countryside. We're in the middle of nowhere, but it's a really kind of expansive sort of campus. So. They got. They've just ordered uh, like um, bikes and scooters and stuff like that, so that we can all zoom around the campus. And we've just got this new big outdoor tent area that they're using for all hands and different um, kind of bigger events and stuff. And even just the other day, they ordered and they had like a kind of mobile pizza truck come along and an ice cream van and all these different things just for lunch. Like, and it was like it's it's incredible. It's great. Yeah. Because Rare is a subsidiary of Microsoft, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're an, we're an Xbox game studio, yeah. Yeah, that that sounds. I worked for Microsoft for a, about a year and a half, and uh, mm -hmm. that sounds about right for what I've seen from them. Yeah. Right. Am I taking us in the right direction? I feel like I've gone off course a little bit here. Oh, you're not taking any of us in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> We're still unsure. Okay. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, again, uh, sorry for daddling off, and thank you both for, for keeping our audience entertained. Don't know about that, Will. <laughs> well, I guess let's not get crazy. <laughs> so I'm going to seem like the uh, how do I say it I'm going to seem like the ultra himbo in the fact that I do not know how to don a shirt <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe that's maybe that's just your character. I've been looking thing. out the vanity chest for the past like 5-10 minutes and I have not figured it out <laughs> maybe that's your bit oh shit we're under we're under attack yeah we've got a little Aggro scaly slip. I mean, Deus, you wanna you wanna flex a little? <laughs> oh, they've already given like, up. Cowards! Like playing guitar flex? <laughs> so, um, the Brigantine has departed Marauder's Arch and is now docked up at Galleon's Grave Outpost. All right, so now's our chance. Now's our chance, yep. All right. Uh, this Skelly Sloop uh, has aim like I... It's terrible aim like I've never seen. <laughs> Honestly, it just... It feels like they're serenading us. 
Um, and I do like the idea that canonically uh, Deus's character can't work out shirts. Or he tries to put them on and just they just he turns around too quickly and they just explode. <laughs> keep ordering the wrong size. Yeah. <laughs> Smile, you skeletal bastards. Give me something to shoot. Oh, oh wow, okay. I need to aim way wide. I am Himbo. <laughs> Become the pick of one. Oh, shit! Become way. Mine, pick uh, of We're actually going to need you on the ship, God. dude. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, Ooh. shit. All right, I'll get the holes repaired, Captain. You just keep us going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna grab some cannonballs. Get some return fire. Which one of these is the wood barrel? They're all wood barrels. <laughs> <laughs> all right, holes patched, Captain. Nicely done. Oh, fuck me running. Really? I just put. Not. All right, Deus, if you've got the holes. I got uh, it. That's it. Let him have it. Oh shit, are we gonna crash into an island? Yes, we are! Ah, oh, fuck! Oh god, god, not another one! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, we didn't come up with a ship name tonight! reason why we've been off right that's it <laughs> so to uh, our lovely viewership uh, and to all of you who have just joined us each week we try and come up with a different ship name uh, sh okay and shady was saying that their streams were good they did some chill co-op goodness um loki and shady doctor were playing children of mortar together <clears throat> oh shit yeah they added proper co-op for that um children of mortar is one of the most fascinating games because it's not a game told from one character's perspective. It's told from the perspective of a family. Uh, which I find entirely fascinating. Oh, here we go. Uh, Hillian would like to suggest the HMS Boned Brigadier. Or just the Boned Brigadier as a ship name. <laughs> Did we change color schemes? Because this now looks like a Bowser ship. Yeah, this is a. Uh, oh, it's still the battle towards one. Oh no, uh, Deus was um, was shirt shopping when you uh, when you redid the ship. Oh. Uh, we have lost our megalodon. No. Have we? Wait. We well, yeah. He's we we took too long away and he's 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 buggered off. Piss. So we need to go pick up the. We need to yeah. go pick up the thing. Fuck. Which is directly south of us. There's the Not shark buster uh, from Catfish Water Dancer. I don't mind the shark buster. Busting does make me feel good. Yeah, I should probably learn where the ammo box is. Oh, you know what? Whilst we're whilst we're having a natter, so, uh, so down. Where's my friend Deus? All right, so down here on the brig, so we've got the armory for choosing your weapons. Um, the guns are all the same. There's no. Uh, there it is. Yeah, here's your ammo chest. Wood is dead ahead. Cannonballs right here. Oh, we're gonna need more cannonballs. Um, has anyone tried setting the Megadildon on fire yet? Asking for a friend. <laughs> uh, Generally that works, but you have to have land advantage. <laughs> God. <sighs> Sorry, I know I'm flip flipping around conversationally, but there was just a moment this evening of watching you lot fighting the Meg from a distance where I knew fear. <laughs> I knew very real fear. So it appears 
It appears the uh, the chaos hours have begun early in our household. So, again, Fearless, thank you so much, mate. Friends, the fact that we even have a stream that is functioning this evening is because Fearless is playing, like, Dag Wrangler. I appreciate you, Fearless! <laughs> Dear I, says, how... I appreciate you! I know how energetic Am well, Amos gets. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Uh, is that a player brig or a player sloop? I can't tell. It's a sloopy sloop. It's a sloopy sloop. Uh, oh, so Ness says you can set the Megalodon on fire. It doesn't work super well. Okay, <laughs> but Ness, if my goal was not necessarily murder but spite, would setting a Megalodon on fire be a spiteful act? Not necessarily. I'd say it swallowing three of our ships is a, it's a pretty heinous act. <laughs> Do you think the Meg just chews down on our, our ships after they sink? It's like one big chew toy. Yeah. Give it a little nibble. Just a little om nom nom. It's essentially <laughs> the equivalent of a bone to a dog. Yeah. One of those little, like, uh, teeth-cleaning chews, you know? It's going to get all the <laughs> sailor out of those big back molars. And afterwards, it works as a toothpick. <laughs> Multifunction. All right. Uh, there is a sloop, but it looks like they've either just spawned or they're not doing anything. Yeah. So. As long as they don't come for us. Yep. So long, random sloop. So long. Shenanigans. I am not telling them that. Uh, Fearless is busting out some gloriously terrible jokes. Oh, did I keep my purple lantern? I did. For all that PvP murder. Oh, that's... that's weird. The, the sloop doesn't seem to be moving, but it's docked way far out from the island. Maybe they got a... Oh no, maybe they got a boat. Um, so yeah, so Captain, so big storm uh, southeast south of us. I think we're going to go round it, but it seems pretty gnarly. Yeah, yeah. I'm, gonna try, I'm trying to keep us around the edge of it. Okay, so cheesy question, but uh, do they give you any, like, special cosmetics or anything like that for being a, a staff member? Yes, they do. Although, hilariously, I haven't redeemed mine yet. Um, but we do have the rare sails, which have the kind of rare studio logo on them. Oh. Um, but, yeah, I, <laughs> we get given them when the game launched in and literally given, like, an Xbox Live, you know, 5x5 five five code. And... It means still uh, saying... Incoming! The... Whoa! That was quite a shot. Fucking yeah, it was. Is that I, from I, the sloop? I don't think so. It came from the island, but... I, I can't see shit in this storm. Um, brace! <laughs> oh. I'd rather not. My dentist said there was enough movement in my teeth. Yeah, I can't even get a clear line on whoever was shooting at us. Yeah, look at those guys. Make an eye. Make of the underside of our ship all damp. It's not lead. But that was a random grow a fungus colony down there, and they hate it when it gets too wet. <laughs> um. Another sloop to our uh, to our west, Captain. They don't seem to be neither here nor there. Hmm. All right, and uh, yeah, uh, 
bastard shark hunters approach dead ahead. <laughs> I don't know, I couldn't come up with a cool name for them. <laughs> bastard shark hunters. They needed a name. The megalodopes? <laughs> A uh, zombie dude from earlier tonight is checking in on us, saying, did you beat it? Oh, and we're like, God, really? Not, not uh, yet. Sadly, no. We came under attack by... I don't want to call it. I'm just going to say bad words. By <laughs> bad word players. Basically bad men. Right around the big pink Meg. <laughs> um, big pink. Not gonna lie, the water is very pretty. Fucking right! <laughs> We're back! It's like we never left! <laughs> okay, puppies. I love you both. What are you doing? You, you killed the Megalodon, right? Yeah, uh, super well, dead. About that. Uh, we just we really <laughs> thought we, if, we, if we could kill it again, that would be great. Pull the sails! <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, God. We're coming in very quickly! <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I keep aiming too high because I'm so used to using the grappling hook in Halo. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get you. Oh my word! Oh god! We do not have a lot of wood. We don't have a lot of cannonballs. Like we are doing this seat of our pants style. <laughs> Let's see what we can grab from the ship. Waiting for it to drag us in a little closer. Anchors are illegal. <laughs> yeah, we've got a new stock of cannonballs here at least. Woohoo! Oh, again, plenty the, of food. Just a sloop just hanging out. It must be expecting us to be the bastard. So I guess they're waiting. <laughs> It's this fucking we. You must find <laughs> we have work to do. Four megalodons. Once each is dead, megalodons. Like this one, Just to trap the beast's soul. When you return all four souls to me, we will be. Able oh, we don't to have any of our crates or anything, do we? No, oh. we're gonna do this the old-fashioned way, like nerds. <laughs> Because swimming is for nerds. It's that's it's scientifically proven. <laughs> um, okay, so what are we looting the ship for? Uh, cannibals uh, and I don't, they don't have wood, but they've got uh, fruit. Yeah. So it's just kind of run it across, pop it in the cannon barrel, pop some snacks in there. I mean, I've got Pringles here, but I didn't bring enough for everybody on board. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. I know. I'd like to vote. Well, vote that will walk the plank. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize Pringles were covered by nautical law. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are, and I'm very disappointed. I guess you could say that I am sea salty about it. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows how cool we are. Eh. Yeah. Walk the plank two bells. I just want to say, I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm carrying a pineapple, which makes me uh, undigestible to sharks. It's 
That's my defense mechanism. <laughs> Fall in the water, they'd be like, uh, mate, you're going to eat that? I'm like, nah, not with pineapple on it. Okay. So, in theory, all right, we're up to about 70 cannonball. Cannonball! cannonball! Yeah, we're up to about 85 cannonballs. The problem is Very wood. Good. Yeah. Also, lol, rockle now. Um, there's not enough wood between us. So, if well, we... meet me in the morning and we'll talk. <laughs> Sir! Long ship after dark. Bing. So, I guess if we see a feckin' uh, an island, we can drop off at. Um, the thing Tobias usually does is he leaps off to an island, goes over, picks up the stuff, and then takes a mermaid back. Yeah. Which sounds like some kind of complicated drug speak, but... <laughs> it's speedrunning LSD. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Lizzie. Uh, walk the plank, two bells! Two bells. I heard that from here. Yeah. Well, and um, I don't know if you've got... Um... Oh, dear, no! <laughs> it's alright, you can take a mermaid! It'll be fine! I promise we'll come back with enough bananas! <laughs> Yeah, that sloop was just hanging out, waiting for us to leave. Oh, no, no, they're having a bad fucking day. What, what, what the, the fuck? fuck happened? Oh, and I just fell off the ship. Oh, that was some of those, um... Do you know how you were talking about, oh, the explosive barrels ever just randomly spawn within the other barrels? God damn it, Will, did that happen again? It wasn't me! <laughs> what? Do we get hit by lightning? Did they just explode? <laughs> so that there were explosive barrels floating in the water there that we just didn't spot. So we just we ran just one over? Yep. Uh, <laughs> Dave's is patching the holes. I'm bailing us the fuck out. <laughs> oh, God. God. Spawn in. Just find the entire under deck. Completely flooded. How many holes are in the front? <laughs> Not anymore. One thing I do love about this game wholeheartedly is that when you've had a long voyage and it's been a good run, like, the state that your ship is in when you finally dock to unload all that loot. <laughs> yeah. God, I'll never, that I'll never get tired of. <laughs> hey, I'm going to check the heading. Any islands you guys are heading past, I'm going to jump off for. Yeah, that's a good check. Jump off. Looks right. like there's one he well, heading on west, so I'll take leave for it. That's a long swim, mate. Yeah, fire yourself out the cannon. Cap it! That's like a good idea. Uh, it won't let me unload it. You know what? That's one cannibals. way to do it. Oh, fuck! <laughs> That's alright. There we go. How do I load myself into the cannon? So aim it nice and up, and then look at the front of the cannon. Ah. Alright. I believe in you! <laughs> cannon, he's not dead! <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> Deus isn't dead two bells! <laughs> He's just very seriously wounded. <laughs> he'll he'll be fine. Just walk, walk it off, mate! Walk it off, wow. it's fine. Did not did not surf like the hairless chest that I had. You didn't manage to pull the old uh, the old Hafflehoff special. Just like scream through the water. <laughs> There was one thing that was hard, and it was the landing, not me. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows how cool we are, Captain. No one knows. 
Um, sorry, I missed a few suggestions for ships because of all the nonsense going on. Big suggested the Aquaholic. Varble suggested nice. the Toothy Hug. Oh. Uh, the Not a Cult Love Boat. Catfish, no. It's not a cult. <laughs> it's not a cult. That's just a fact. Where am I supposed to be looking for wood? Uh, barrels, crates, the whole shebang. Sorry, I say that as if you would know the entirety of a shebang. <laughs> oh, the capstan got blown off. Fuck. We've got three planks on board, and that's it. Yeah, and I had two more of those. All I'm finding is fruit. Uh, Hillian says they played this solo for a bit and got more freaked out. Uh, Sage Bell. No, it's not a cult. Oh shit, um, drop an anchor. I know it's illegal, oh, but yeah, barrels. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good. It is good. Ah, oh, fuck. Just, just wing this around a little bit. Just a little bit more. Just oh, they're sinking, they're sinking, they're sinking. No, no! don't go, don't go. Ah, oh, I don't think I'm going to catch them in time. Come here. They're going too fast. <laughs> Maybe we'll get one. Oh, come on. No, going too fast. It's not a cult. Sage Bell. Sage Bell, no. Very far. You're just ever so slightly out of my range, Captain. <laughs> I'm really far down as well. Like, I'm trying to come up before a drone. I don't hey. understand how it's Whoa, this hard God. to find any planks of wood. You'd think. <laughs> and yet, here we are. So... Like, capstan's repaired, but at what cost? I did not confirm it was a cult. I just... Shh. Oi, skellies. Vanquishing skeletons added to log. Yay! I have no idea what just happened, but apparently something good. Yeah, I uh, I blew up two skellies. Oh, go you. Who are carrying a very explosive barrel. Yeah, I forget what uh, I forget what the clever name was. We came up with those bastards. Oh. Boom bones. Oh, I can only carry five planks. I mean, it's a lot more than we have. <laughs> Second question: Do I take the dinghy? I have. Well, to get back to us, so you're you're gonna need to mermaid. So I'm not saying that you couldn't, but it would be a great many. <laughs> I want to say hours, probably hours. <laughs> Hello, Amos. What do you need, my boy? You have you have carnage in your eyes. And this thing could. The only issue I've got with that is, uh, I could fit so many more planks. <laughs> provided I can find any. It would take you a good long while to get to us. God. Um, uh, and this thing coming up, this is like a, a pirate cove hangout or something. <laughs> what, I'll tell you what, uh, Deus, come on back. Bec if... If the horizon's clear, we'll hoover up as much as we can from the island we're going to land on. Making my way to the mermaid. Walking fast. Waves are past. And two bells! <laughs> <laughs> so you can usually find a good amount of stuff at forts. So this fort that we're about to pass on the right, if somebody wants to jump off there and have a scare around. Uh, but I feel like if we can't if we can't run back and forts you guys see what I did there? Like, I'm with you, Captain, <laughs> if you want to raid Sharkfin camp. We now have a total of seven planks. Woohoo! Yeah, in fact let's, do, let's drop the anchor and let's, let's all just quickly jump out grab as much as we can here. Uh, 
Aye, aye, Captain. Woo. You used the cannons, didn't you? No. I used the momentum of... Oh, shit, this is like the, the, the baddies super island, isn't it? <laughs> oh, got cannonballs. <gasps> and a dinghy! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Hey. I just found a uh, barrel with a bunch of planks. Oh, right, there is nice. a shit ton in the, um, the dinghies. So, load it up, friends. This will be I'm our... I'm eventually taking some fire bombs, some chain shots. Never bad. <laughs> There's plenty of fruit. Plenty of goodies. Jobs are good. Un. See? And it was only thanks to the diligent work of our captain that we were able... <laughs> There's so much fruit here. Yeah. Okay. I don't Fireworks. Get, like, I don't get the hate on pineapples. They heal you for two. <laughs> okay. But think about it like this. In the Turtles and I believe also the Battletoads universe, a pizza heals you fully. And in this, a pizza is also... That's a pizza. A... a uh, Ooh, pretty. <laughs> uh, there are so many explosive barrels also in this place. This kind of scares me a little bit, I won't lie. Um, I, I know what, I was reaching for a joke there about, you know, full heal through the medium of uh, pineapple pizza. I'm sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't make the joke stick. Uh, <laughs> Alright, are you all back to the ship? I'm just um, dropping off some planks. We've now got 17 in the barrel. Going back for more. Uh, so Catfish, while you can only carry five planks, you can carry, I believe, uh, 10, 10 regular cannonballs and then an additional, I think, five special cannons? Not counting... Oh, are you shitting me right now? <laughs> there we go. Okay. I am not getting paid enough for this, my friends, let me tell you. <laughs> Shit ton of cannonballs and planks incoming. Cut in! Okay, I did find a gunpowder barrel and I don't want to put it aboard because I know what's happened all the <laughs> other times. I mean, you edited the video of the last time that happened. Actually, I didn't. I still have the clips of that one, though. Oh, well, sorry, I didn't want to imply. But, um, uh, John, so what happened is we found some gunpowder barrels. Mm. Brought them on board, stashed them by the, the front of the ship because we're driving a brig. And <laughs> um, we leave them there for most of the night, forget about them. And we ended up getting into a scrap with a. Uh, it was a combination like Xbox Battletoad boat. Right, okay. And they got one lucky shot on us. Like, they'd been playing. They were doing a terrible job of trying to take us down. But they got one lucky shot, hit the front of the ship, blew it in half, killed me, killed Kyle, sunk the ship. I have drastically overshot. Thank you, Tugboat. <laughs> I'm just trying to get back to the feckin' boat. Fuck you, Tugboat! Alright, I'm almost there, friends. I'm almost there. Oh, fuck me running. Oh, this is the <laughs> slowest! Yeah, I can see why you said, uh, use the mermaid. Go on, well, there we go. Alright, and then, I think if you open rowboat chest, isn't it... Uh, I can't oh, remember. look at all that. Wow. Yeah? I told you, Captain. Hey, nicely done. 
Thank you. I, I, I do try sometimes. We're not always a good. <laughs> <laughs> We've got, yeah, we've definitely got enough now. As long as no one comes along and on well, them just tempting fate. Yes. Yeah, we have thirty-seven uh, and more and fruit and veggies and fucking everything. <laughs> uh, well over a hundred cannonballs. I. This was a good shout, Captain. This was a good shout. Mm. All right, I'll get us back on the on the go then. Aye, aye. So, um, let's I get... might hop around the island for a couple more barrels. Oh no, we to... are we are set, good friend. If you could, uh, if you if you could help get the uh, the goodies stowed, that would be amazing. No, no, stop it. Not you, Deus. You're doing great. Uh, I meant me. <laughs> I, was, I was yelling at myself. There's just a little bit more in the way of cannonball shot and a little bit more in the way of fruit. And... Nice. Don't leave yet. I'm literally on the... Uh... <laughs> Get the, oh get the bloody What's the name of it? Port side? Port side. <laughs> okay, I'm on. All right. Yeah. Lowering front saw. Nice. Uh, and Beadora, I hope I said hello. How are you doing, friend? Uh, yeah, we've been playing Sea of Thieves for four and a half hours. <laughs> and John, like, again, thank you so much. Not just for joining us today, but, like... You're on UK time, so it's like four in the morning for you right now. Yeah, it's now twenty to five. Yes. I, uh, I, am not a good friend to talk to if your goal is to get good sleep. <laughs> I want to see this last Meg die. Well. Yeah. Because whatever happens after that, well, like I, we're not going to get. Five pirates to get a Five tonight. people. <laughs> I know. That's the that is the crazy thing, isn't it? It's like you've got. Oh man. Yep. Oh, what's Go. that noise? That's not good. Are we? Wait, are we here? Oh wait, no, no. That's the same noise as the spooky tornado. Oh, there, there just happens to be an Ashen Lord at this same island that we need to summon the Meg. Fuck me running! Alright. <laughs> I mean, that's going to be hard, but I think I can catch up. <laughs> <laughs> I've been training for it. <laughs> right, well, do you want to do the honours again? You know where it is. I can. Fuck, I not not as good a shot as last time. <laughs> M's popping in being like, you sinking boat, son? No, we've got people to do that for us this time. Yeah. Um, we've killed three of the four Megalodons, M's. But, but. Uh, the, on this last island, a group... Oh, shit. Uh, I might need at least some help. I don't think I can take an oh. Ashen Guardian by myself. What is the meanest plant? A tree. It's always throwing shade. Want me to come over? Uh, I've never dueled an Ashen Guardian before. Oh, fine. And he seems to be taking exception to my existence. <laughs> I'm getting stabbed! <laughs> Yay! Hooray! That's fucking teamwork! Oh, sweet! Shitloads of gold. Oh, Do shitloads of gold. Oh, no, the, so the gold we just get. Oh. Uh, it's only that little glowing skull. That's the one we get paid if we bring it back. 
do I pick this up or if you want to take it back to the ship <laughs> Lizzie you are an oh. terrible 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 uh, I want to say enabler but that feels wrong encourager <laughs> no um, Jesus H fucking Christ there's like a whole ass skeleton rave going on. Is that the Ashen Lord? Yeah, that's yeah. the Ashen Lord. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> Gonna have s oh, I missed it. Oh, what, me looking at the Ashen Lord? There it is. Wait. But this is where other Spartans show up because I've got the oddball, right? Oh, fuck! <laughs> this is what I get for looking at the fucking Ashen Lords and doing my fucking job. I fell through a <laughs> tiny hole in the fucking planks. <laughs> well, at least you're getting the full Will Stream experience. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Ben. C Triple Two's like slide whistle noise. Oh, now I got bitten by a pissing snake! God. I, I'm hitting like Basil Fawlty levels of failure here. Holy shit! Oh, that was a good shot. Just not quite good enough. Oh, but Beodora, how are you doing, friend? Hey, there we go. Beodora's hey, like. Hey, planks! And a oh. blunder bomb! Beodora wants to play all the games, but is asking how to pick them. Well, um... The Meg is about to be summoned. Oh, you did it. Oh, hang I on. Let me, let me get a view with it. Alright, there it is. There's the hole. Oh, it's Sorry, right by it. the ship! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Fuck! None of us are on the ship either, which makes it worse. I'm not gonna... Hold on, that... That's not a bad thing, is it? It's not gonna attack the ship if we're not on it. Right? Uh... Well, now you've pissed it off. Oh! Oh, fuck me running. It just took a bite out. Um, how do we get over there? <laughs> Alright, I'm repairing. Uh, is there a merman? No, because we're oh, too close. Fuck. Yeah, you're going to have to... You can do a little I don't have to do lunge. fucking nothing. Captain my captain. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, oh, no, no Darius! Darius, no! Get out of the water! No, no, it didn't see me. <laughs> I can smell fear, so it's going for me. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I can't even use this cannon to fight it. Uh, and I see the thing is, I can't yeah, run so. to the other side of the island. Uh, I mean, maybe I can poison myself. All right. Oh, it's coming in. I'm going to get some skeletons oh, to fuck up my nice. day. I'll be there as quick as the river sticks will take me. <laughs> because I am not getting in that water. Oi, skeletons! Come break my fucking knees! <laughs> oh, we've got... It's actually pretty good because it's in the shallow water. We've kind of got an amazing angle on it. Look. Oh, I'm trying to get there as quick as I can, okay. crew. I do enjoy uninvited guests. I need cannibals. Dear, cannibals. dear Warden Chi, if you could just. Oh, oh boy! Oh boy! Oh! I'll go there and repair. I'm white head under deck. Kill me! Sure we definitely took some damage. Kill me! Yeah, I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, nice, thank you. You lot are not killing me quick enough! 
Ashen Lord, more like Ashen Snores. All right, I'm on my way. <laughs> Ems is like, just jump off the cliff like a normal person. How about? No, whoa. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, is it? <laughs> Did you do it? We got it. Oh, piss. I'm sorry, friends. <laughs> it's all good. We couldn't face the shock, so he just decided to die. But the... <laughs> Yeah, more like an yeah. acid lord. Yeah, I'm an every soul, go steal its soul. Yep, go collect its soul. Well, Twitch dude, I'm sorry you saw my shame. Thank you for the follow. Oh, hey, fellow <laughs> crewmates, what's up? Oh, that thing. All right, so it's bugged out for me. Oh, is it? It's still moving. It's still <laughs> fucking... Oh, oh, it's it's <laughs> I Let's get some of that loot. I'll try and um, spin the ship around so we can harpoon it. Aye, aye. Oh, you can, can you get it from nice. there? Yeah, we got a good angle. Alright, okay, cool. Alright, nice. Hey. Alright. Skull for you. Lovely. Sir, so, some meat. Oh. oh. Hang on, I need to eat something, I've got too much. There we go. Oh, there's, there's <laughs> just a whole day. Is. That's our that's our treasure. The real treasure <laughs> is friendship, my captain. Uh, did we... Did yeah, we... I, know I need to go to the hospital after being impaled by a harpoon. <laughs> yeah, be fine. Welcome to the Sea of Thieves. <laughs> uh, did we get the soul? Did you get it, Dears? I'm pretty sure... Wait, no. No. I didn't dive down deep enough. You gotta get the so little... You gotta bring... Yeah, the you gotta bring out the effigy. Yeah. Oh, enchanted effigy. Fuck. Sorry, it's... So that's uh... in your quest, radio. There it is. Although, here we are patting ourselves on the back. I mean, actually, you lot killed that Meg. Go, you lot. I will admit, <laughs> watching it go after Deus while I was up on there was like watching someone else go through my greatest fear. So... Well, I, like I did say at the beginning of this, I would 1v1 a Megalodon. And I did that <laughs> shit. You know what? Day one. <laughs> Day fucking one. You dived in the water. And, like, credit where credit's due. Uh, also, Megalodon steaks. I kind of need to eat one just out of spite. I bet they're really tasty. So I've got I've got one on the on the grill down here. Um, yeah, the Ashen Lord did not break my face as quick as I was hoping. <laughs> oh yeah, I just. So it seems like the edgy shark was the one we had the most trouble with. Yeah. It's like, it's still playing the sinister music for me, which is unsettling. Oh, oh did you guy. actually did you actually activate the Ashen Lord? Did he did he appear, the big guy? Mm-hmm. Ah. Yeah, maybe we're just not close enough to go into proper bat battle music. Although, you probably had the battle muse going for the Meg fight. Hmm. Alright. Let's have a look at the map. Oh, I'm just realizing I didn't do what I, we should have done. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> You're scaring me, friend. <laughs> God. Uh, victory riff. <laughs> <laughs> you guys heard that, right? Heard. Heard. The riff. 
Sadly, no. 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 Oh, for God's sake. Well, I've snacked on Megalodon. We're going to return the last part. So once we've done this bit of the quest, will we be able to pick up where we left off for the last bit? Or would so... we still need to kill four Megs and then get five people together? <laughs> so because it's a, it's basically a, ser a shared server experience in the sense that you don't need to be in an alliance or informal like that. It can literally just be as long as there's five pirates in the proximity playing the song at the same time. It'll literally just stay on this server, but if you leave, there's no guarantee you get back on this server. Oh, no! Oh. Yeah. Uh... You uh, never know, Will. There might be two pirates just sitting there waiting. Being like, God, I sure do hope a crew of, <laughs> of three well-meaning idiots is going to roll up <laughs> and save the day. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. Well, exactly. Sunken Grove. Don't you do it, skeletons. Don't you do it. Mm -hmm. I'm watching you, skeletons. Um, there is a uh, skeletal galleon just south of us. They're just kind of doing wheelies. <laughs> or whatever the skeletal equivocant of wheelies is. Oh, yeah. Um, so, Hillian was asking, as a nub, which faction would be advised first? Mm. I mean, gold tortoise is probably your easiest, because... <clears throat> like it's a kind of non-combat obviously encounters like you're just going to find treasure buried on islands etc um so it's a, it's a good way to ease yourself in um and you know you'll find gold order loot on shipwrecks and just randomly around the world so yeah it's probably it's probably the easiest one to um get up to to level up in first mm. Merchants is probably like well, it's not the hardest, but it's probably the one that will take you the longest, just because of some of the voyages, ferrying things back and forth, collecting animals, etc. Yeah, I am not looking forward to that later on. Um, <laughs> and I will say, because Caffeine was saying that this game is such mood swings that you have folks like the Longest Johns who will actually go around in game and sing shanties. Yeah. Um, but then you have people who will like camp quests. But I think it's because there's nothing lost. It doesn't... I don't feel that, like, that Tarkov rage. Mm. Like... Uh, I, I still need to message Sadlin and work out what our plan is for tomorrow proper. But... Sorry, uh, that was mildly unrelated. Did you just... <laughs> Deus, no! We'll, al we'll always remember you! <laughs> Deus overboard two bells! I'll start swimming the other direction and a mermaid will appear. Wait, Twitch dude. Is that also zombie dude? Sings free association. <laughs> Was he in the chat? Well, um, Zombie Dude said that they had to go, and you know, we we're asking how we did on the Meg hunting. And so I sent mm. him a little message being like, we, we got two out of three. We finally got the fourth, so we're going to go hand that in. And I was like, oh, and if you want to see the adventures, like, here's where we are. So, hello! We were the other side of the idiocy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you had to put up with this. <laughs> Thank you for coming with. Yeah, I mean, oh god! I was like, wow, that's come, that's really loud. Oh, did you just that's fall off again? Yes. <laughs> <Stop it. laughs> that is a good note, and just decided, you know what? That's the end of my performance. See you guys next week. Yep. 
Oh, quest! Oh, quest. Dead ahead, Captain. Dead ahead. Um, yeah. So, Caffeine, I did not say a thank you for 200 bits, so thank you. Uh, and thank you for gifting a sub to Twitch dudes, because, like, they helped us clear, like, what? The first two, three megs? Mm. Theodore, your choice of whether or not I was pushed. <gasps> like, whether I or would... not we should mutiny Will into the, well, into the same waters as a Megalodon the next time. Theodore is showing up this evening, causing trouble, chaos. Oh, Caffeine says I missed a pun earlier due to concentration. <sighs> Yeah, I will say, like, unless we magically get two more people. Amos, it's okay. It's okay. Fearless is getting pizza. I've got to get to have fancy pizza. Puppies, it's okay. He's coming back up. Oh, sorry. His will's multi track drifty potato style. Um, the. Uh, unless there are people like there and waiting, and we should probably bring our adventures to a close. <laughs> what is the <laughs> yeah. the Let's get this last bit for the end, and then mourn the fact that we're two pirates short. <laughs> I mean, it gives us an excuse to try again in some time. Uh, and Caffeine yeah. wants to add, friends, what is the meanest plant? It's a tree, because it's always throwing shade. All right, uh, full sails! <laughs> we just have to not tell Tobias that we used the illegal button a couple of times tonight. <laughs> All right, fronts all pulled. Nicely done. To the ship. All right, just gonna. I'm just gonna push the no-no button. <laughs> Go on, well, you can you can do the do the honors. Oh, thank Please you. Do. All right. So here we are. Place the last effigy. The soul of the crested queen. Oh. See, the thing is now, this is the, this is the, the interesting point. There's now a beacon going up from us. So if somebody was like, oh, cool, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to get the rewards but not do the work, they could just look for that beacon now and be like, I'll head straight there. Uh, and, so, um, and all we'd have to do is get five people to sing the... The, the Meg yep. song. Summon the Megalodon, yep. Which is... Where is it? This one. Huh? 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 We're just two people short. Right. <laughs> I don't even see any ships on oh, the horizon. I see one. Oh, 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 where? Oh, it's a sloop. Uh, it might it be. It could have two orders. people on it. It could. Oh, it is coming straight here. All right, okay. Oh, um, we've let's... got a. Yeah. Oh. Wait, is it? Where is it going? No, why is it going that way? Oh, do we have any fireworks? Uh, I might. Uh, I think I do. This cannon works. One, two. No, we don't play Happy Birthday. That's the wrong summoning song. Here we go. Look, see the celebration. Know the party. <laughs> Please! We just need two people! <laughs> Fuck! And then we've got Scaly Galleon, Scaly Sloop um, from that direction. Anyone else? I can't make out from this silhouette if they're heading towards us or otherwise. They certainly haven't turned to... Yeah, they're heading away. Uh... Traitorous bastards! <laughs> well, someone on this server is going to just be able to wander right up here and be like, oh, sweet, oh, and just it? play the song. Well, oh, they've cool. got five just... people. Yeah, they've, they've got to go through the agony that we did. <laughs> oh, 
come on! Uh, I know you what? see us! Yeah. <laughs> I don't actually know Morse code. I'm just fl I'm just flailing. Uh, Catfish says, and for the fearless crew at the Randy One-Eyed Meg. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> shit name. Nothing else on the horizon at all. We're so close. We were so uh. close. <laughs> That's not one over there, is it? No. Darn. Uh, you can't win them all, Captain. Can't win them all. You're right. Because we've still got a few. And we did. Oh! We did kill four megalodons, so. Still pretty good going. Come on, come on. What have you seen? Uh, they're still within eye line. Come on, come on! I'll let off another firework. Please! Fred says, wait, you don't win them at all? You lack commitment! Look! Look at the fireworks! Friendship! You bastards! <laughs> they have not adjusted course. Darr. Dejected yar. <laughs> Oh well. Uh, we slayed some Megs. We slayed some Megs. We were slayed by other players. We had a great little pirate legend friend for the first uh, hour or so. We really did. And uh, that's again, so Twitch dude, like, thank you for joining us. Thank you for helping us out. Like, you know, the extra gun was definitely needed and got us through <laughs> my genuine fear. Oh, the final firework was Deus. <laughs> so long! Um, so, let me at least pretend to be a vaguely decent host. So, John, I want to say thank you for staying up so late to join us. This was so fucking fun, dude. Yeah, no, it was great. And I know we didn't get to Thanks talk me. Like, too, too much about Sea of Thieves, but it's just good to catch up with you. Yeah, no, it's been cool, man. And I will... Uh, I will bleep you in the future because this cannot be the last time we sail together. Like, <laughs> categorically. Um, Deus, thank you for jumping in for the last for the last hunt. That final Meg would have killed us without you. No doubt. Yeah, absolutely. No feckin' Thank doubt. you for the invite. Um, if anybody wants to keep playing Sea of Thieves or needs a crew or what have you, we have a bunch of people in the longship who play. Uh, I don't know if anybody's on right now, but... Yes! Uh, I believe Ultrazini is currently sailing the seas. Um, so, if you need someone, we got you. <laughs> and if you want to play the end of this adventure, if you server hop enough, you'll probably find that beacon shining in the sky. Yep. Um, so. <laughs> we've, we've set you up for success, friends. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and Twitch dude again, like thank you for the, thank you for the offer. Um, and <laughs> we gotta find a way to be able to plumb that through, because Discord is being a jerk and cutting off like a whole bunch of your notes. Yeah. I, I think I know a way that I can make it at least a little bit louder, and that's just bring my guitar closer to the mic, but. That's no a, guarantees. That's an adventure for another night, I think, because I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, I'm gonna roll some credits and say some thank yous, but like, John Deus, like, thank you so much, friends. No worries, it was great. Really uh, enjoyed thank it. You. Thanks for having me on. So, oh, catfish is like three cheers for John. Yay! <laughs> like I said, the last, the last bit of your work that I was in was the unboxing. Yeah. 
Everyone should go watch the unboxing if they haven't watched it yet. <laughs> Will's great in it. I'm a disaster, but I'm entertainingly so. Uh, <laughs> the outtake where I ate shit running around a corner is still funny as fuck. <laughs> I tried to run around a tree too fast. Uh, and the movie magic where it looks like I almost get like shot in the neck is incredible. <laughs> yeah, it was a fun one. Okie dokie. And to all of you who either found us for the first time this evening via raids or otherwise, or just chilled and illed and hung out with us, like all of you, thank you so much. Uh, to that end, uh, to that end, I would like to say thank you to the wonderful, wonderful Mother Hubbards. Because, um, yeah, I'm entirely supported by you lot chucking in bits or subs or donations or what have you. Like, that's why I get to do this. So... Thank you all. Uh, to that end, I'd like to thank the specific people. I'd like to thank Fire Straker, Bacon Avenger, Wolf Crad, and Caffeine, uh, Pun Spectre, Crux, uh, Asari Green Fire, Thrain, J Pop. I don't know why I'm doing the voice, everyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Vanderbeast, Some Numbers, Catfish Water Dancer, Plutonium Shores. Um, bits, still the biggest thing keeping me upright, so I'm very grateful to all. Your moderator this evening was Cappy, Lizzy Pell, and Rhymes with Moose. So close to a full house. So close. Uh, and for new followers, I'd like to thank Twitch Dude, Lily Flowers, um, Shady Doctor, JR Great, BYO Battleship. Um, I'm not going to say that one because I still think they're messing with us. Uh, Mad Link um, and Master of Devil. Thank you for following, and I do hope we get to hang out again. And to. Uh, uh, Dalagon Ash, Jack Strider, cult follower, um, Rhymes with Moose, Twitch Dude, whether you were tagged with subs or celebrating sprees, thank you. And we had shit tons of raids today. So the Shady Doctor, Loki Dark Light, Jack Strider, and Draconic Doomed, all of you feckin' thank you. Right. Um, this is definitely a you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Uh, all of you, again, if you need a crew, want to play Sea of Thieves tonight, jump on a Discord, check Arcade. Um, but from me, from John and from Deus, have a lovely rest of your evening. And good night, friends. Goodbye now. Oh, a boat does look like the mystery machine. Huh. Oh, look at you styling our way out. <laughs>